following stream takes place between 12 p.m. and 12 a.m. Events occur in real time. The clock is effing ticking. It's like that show 24. To two years of waffle streams. Two years, man. To two years. I like it. I like it. I do. Two years, baby. Two years, my guys. Clink. There it effing is. There it Clink. Is. Two effing years, baby. We've been here for a minute. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Steven, where are you going? Oh, my God. Steven, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're trying to do Welcome to Nineveh. If you ain't from here, then I'm not a friend of you. Welcome to Nineveh. We don't got clubs and we don't got cinema. Welcome to Nineveh. Better watch out, cause there is like ten of us. Welcome to Nineveh. Welcome to Nineveh. Catch me at the bait shop. Early bird gets the worm. I'ma get it when that bass drops. Y'all know I lake stock. We got fish in this bitch, rocking jorts in a tank top. Y'all spitting fake hop. I'm spitting hit cop. City folk can lick rock. Sheep, fish, cow, cows, bugs, bulls, beer, hens, such cool deer, man, chicken, and a big cop. Sworn to the corn, yeah, this dude is wacko. Sharp as a crown, yeah, that's exacto. Conceived in the leaves, born on a backhoe. Women haul hay and chew tobacco. I'm a, I'm a country boy. I buy turkey with my money, boy. Turkey calls make a funny noise. I just want lamb and something more. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Hold up, L let me unplug my webcam and plug it back in, I guess. I that's really weird. The green screen is back. No, the green screen's not back. This is just, uh, I always use this scene to stream from. I stream on top of the green screen background, actually. Um, what the hell? Webcam? What, what is going on right now? Uh, hold up. We're having some technical difficulties here. Let me make, let me make sure my webcam is plugged in, I guess. Uh, surely it's plugged in. I 
I don't understand. Did the ham spit finally uh, clog the arteries of the webcam, my guy? What's going on? Wait, is the light even coming on on this effing webcam? What is going on right now? Hold up. Let me plug it into a different USB. Let me plug this shit into a different USB. Maybe it's the USB, guys. Maybe the USB got clogged by dinky hair and uh, we need to uh, change USBs. Bro, I swear my webcam might be fried. Wait, no, 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 I, wait, wait, what? Where the hell, <gasps> where the hell is my webcam, guys? Where the fuck is my webcam? <laughs> This may be controversial, but did you try turning it off and back on? Wait, did I not get the audio for that donation either? Hold up. We heard it. Yeah, dude, I can't hear anything. What the fuck? What is going on? Okay, I can hear now. I can hear now. Pace, thank you for the $10. You said this may be controversial, but did you try turning it off and then back on? Yeah, actually, I effing did, you freak. Uh, have you ever heard of technology being clogged with ham spit? Yeah, well, it's, it's effing possible, my guy. It's, it's certainly possible. And uh, we've proven you want it me to today. Fix it? Huh? Do you want me to fix it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I Here, need hold, you to fix hold it. Hold it real quick. Did you do something to it? No, I didn't do anything, but I'm just troubleshooting. Yeah, I need you to troubleshoot for me. Hey. Hey, Ruby. It's the old unplug and blow. I plugged it into a different USB slot, too. Um, the webcam might have just pooped out just from you spitting so much ham into it. You know what I mean? I, uh, I broke the other webcam to bits, so... Why are you just clicking random buttons on the stream deck? Hold on. I'm fixing this bitch. Hey. Hey, Ruby. Hey, Ruby. Yeah, what are you doing, little Ruby, little Ruby? Wow, wow, wow! Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, Ruby. It's okay, I didn't mean to yell like that. I'm so sorry, I scared her when I yelled. All right. Oh, I think so we got sorry. it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think we got it. <laughs> Steven did it. He fixed it. Somehow the light is back on on the effing webcam. Um, I scared Ruby. That was effed up. That was completely effed up. But let's go. You know what? A rare Thursday stream doesn't come without Good technical morning, difficulties. Jack. You should check out the website called Sunor. You can make AI songs super fast with a single prompt, like write a sad hip hop Prom. song about Stephen Choir's anger management. The paid version is better, but there is a free version. The prompt, the prompt. Jack broke the webcam and made Ruby cry. Are you yeah. friends with Owen? Because you're Owen too today, my guy. My, dude, it wasn't my fault. I was trying to be a good uncle. I was holding her. I, I was I, I was bouncing her up and down, talking to her. And then I, I effed it all up. I effed it all up. I got too loud. I forgot that babies are sensitive. 
and um, they need to be treated as such. They need to be treated as such. Uh, you and Uncle Jack, you and Uncle. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you for the $10. Actually, thank you for the $20, um, Atticus. I appreciate that. And uh, uh, Laundry, Braden Laundry, thank you for the $3. Good man. And uh, Miles Cooling got that band band. New member, what do you do? Uh, I don't even know. Miles Coolin, not sure what he said. Um, he pissed the wrong people off, maybe annoyed the wrong people. But it was funny because after this guy got banned um, on um, Tuesday, yeah, after this guy got banned on Tuesday, um, Jack forgot the Lions, man. No, I didn't. What are you talking about? Um, but after this guy got banned on Tuesday, his girlfriend came in the chat and she was like, he was just trying to be positive. Why did y'all ban him? Please pay the $70 and let him be free. Um, but yeah, that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Um, never, I've never seen somebody's old lady chase after in the chat right after they get banned. And there's like, why would you do that to him? That is effed up, my guy. But, um, yeah, that happened. That happened. And nobody unbanned him. Nobody unbanned him. Got a girlfriend, but was up Amber's pussy. Well, that's pretty effed up. You know what? Maybe, maybe it was a fake account. I mean, it seemed real to me. It seemed real to me, but what do I know? What do I know? The stream needs a villain, man, for real. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, brother. You know, we need a villain. We need a villain. But uh, this is a rare effing Thursday stream. Um, cheers to everybody for showing up. It is, uh, it's good to be here. You know, sometimes when we do streams on these uh, days like, you know, Wednesday and Thursday where, we, where we're not normally live, um... You know, it allows me to sort of look at things uh, a different way, you know, through a different lens. And um, it's it, it definitely feels like a different day. Doesn't, it doesn't feel like a normal streaming day, so um, feels good. Feels good, man. Hey, what, uh, good to be here. Or thank, thank you for being here, What If Racing. He said that he hasn't been here in a while, but it's nice to see me streaming still. Thank you. That's very That's very kindly, very kindly of you. Room temperature water is a red flag. Bruh, it digests hey Jack, better good like to be that. Back. What the Let's F, not bro? put a rain cloud of hate over my head. Let's let bygones be bygones. Please. Hey, don't make me have a flash sale. Don't make me have a flash sale. But no, all jokes aside, it, it would cost $1,200 to ban Timothy again, and I highly doubt that anybody would ever do that. I highly doubt that, man. Um, you digest water. Uh, yeah, it, it goes through your system, my guy. It's, it's like the lubricants, uh, of, of the insides, my, my man. Uh, friendly mushroom wanting to know if mama choir is back in the waffle residence after her knee replacement surgery. Yes. Mama choir. She seems completely fine. Uh, she didn't seem out of it or pilled out or anything. She's just like, yeah, I have a robotic leg now, and um, I, I sit in this uh, chair that takes me up the stairs, and Mama Choir seems very chill. She seems very chill, and um, yeah, she looks like she's on the road to a, a very good, nice recovery, and I think it's only going to be a six-week six recovery, and she'll be back to doing what she's normally doing. Um, so yeah, pretty cool to hear. Pretty cool to hear that. She got the robo leg. Glad to hear your mom uh, is going to be okay. Yeah, yeah, she's doing well. She's doing great. Um, Matt Rodier, thank you for the sub. Also, there were a couple membership renewals um, while the stream was first starting. John3275, welcome back for 24 months in the club. He says, happy Thursday, Jack, Steven, and Waffle community. Have a great stream. Yes! Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, John3275, and uh, bless you, and I hope you have a great Thursday. Jody P coming in for six months in the Waffle Club. Congrats on your blue waffle, Jody P. That is huge. She says six whole months. My guy. Thank you, Jody P. Yes! 
for earning your blue waffle. And uh, Timothy has renewed his waffle membership as well. Doesn't say the streak, but man's got a pink waffle. He's he's sitting up there at the top. That's cool to see that the uh, that the streak continued, um, even though he was waffleless for a couple days. So um, congrats and 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 Mothy Mothman. Uh, I'm glad to see that you got your waffle back, Mothy. And that is effing sick. That is effing sick, brother. What happened to her knee? Um, I don't know. My mom just has bad joints. She has bad ankles. She has bad knees. Um, yeah. So she had one of her knees replaced. You know, knee replacements, they've gotten pretty good um, compared to other joint replacements. Um, so, you know, she went ahead and went for a knee replacement. She's probably going to need both knees replaced. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, my mom, my mom used to be really active when she was younger. She used to ride horses and stuff. Um, I don't know if the, you know, she effed her joints up when she was younger or what, but yeah, I think she's going to recover well. I think she's going to recover well. Who unbanned Timothy? The man unbanned himself. The man came in with a, uh, Man came in with a, a red wagon with uh, stacks of money on it, and he paid off his $1,200 bounty, plus some. He paid off, like, a little bit of it at a time, so people were adding to it while he was subtracting to it. While, while he was subtracting, so it, pretty, pretty freaking crazy. Pretty effing crazy, but huge support, and um, I know I kind of walked off the stream on Tuesday when Timothy donated all that. But I am extremely appreciative. It is, uh, you know, it's nice to have you back, Timothy. Timothy's a changed man. Uh, he is reformed. Uh, he is he can now now that he's paid off his bounty, he can finally be himself. You know, before he was he was a he was a husk of a man, and he is fully redeemed. And uh, let this be an example to all that um, redemption is possible. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you, brother. It's huge. Huge, man. Create a mom acquire fund with this money for when she needs that second knee replaced. Any woman who underwent knee surgery deserves a little financial love. Thank you so much, uh, Braden Laundry. I will put that $5 aside. I will slide that in the special mom acquire uh, second knee replacement fund. Uh, very thoughtful of you, Braden, and uh, bless you. Bless you. And uh, thank you for having my mother in your thoughts, my guy. That's very nice of you. Sounds like he had a whole arc. He's been around for a long time. Yeah, no, Timothy, uh, some people forget that Timothy definitely is one of the top donators of all time. Thank you. Also happy to be back. No more drama will come from me. I am here for the vibe and the streams. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you. And uh, cheers, brother. Cheers. Happy Thursday, everybody. Why are you wishing a second replacement on her? I'm not be, because she already needs it, JC. I'm not. I'm not wishing that her second knee goes bad. I'm wishing that she, you know, is able to easily, you know, financially able to get her second knee replaced because it needs to be replaced anyways. It, it needs to be done, like. You can only, they'll only do one at a time, you know, like I'm sure if it was up to Mama Choir, she would have just went for the full double knee replacement, uh, like a full psycho, but nah, she, she, she's getting one done at a time. So I don't know how long she has to wait, uh, in between or whatever. Remember when y'all get old, uh, you will appreciate your knees and your legs. Absolutely. You know, and times like these. I think about the uh, the knee over toe guy. There's a there's a guy on Instagram, and he teaches you exercises on how to strengthen your knees so that you don't injure them. Let's see if we can find knee over toe guy on YouTube. Yeah, look look at this guy. This is his whole fucking thing. He, his channel. Having entered my having entered my twenties. Sorry. 
He has 1.4 million subscribers. The knees over toe guy. The knees over toe guy. This is his whole fucking, his whole brand. You know, this is who he is. Does he have any shorts? Can we see some knee shorts? Um... The number one thing that allows me to do this is this, even though it looks like nearly the opposite. If we're gonna start a conversation on how do you jump higher, well, we better start with the number one reason people fail, the knees, not to mention the number one reason. Oh, is that what he does? Wind up with surgeries, he sits like this? Depression. So he does this? We gotta start there, we gotta confront this. And confront it, baby! Through a full range of motion, yes, you can get your muscle tissue. Confront that knee front. problem, baby. Factor. The knee does. Yeah. And the connective tissue. The yeah. Knee also but it's not an all or nothing. That didn't get me started, even though that's my primary loading exercise. Now, this. Whoa! Holy really shit! Whoa! To get. Whoa, bub. That. And it was walking backwards that got me off painkillers in the first place. So huh? This led to greater success there, and then there. The number one thing that allows me to do this. Is this, oh. even though it looks like nearly the opposite. Oh, man. If we're going to start a conversation on how do you jump. Bro, did you, did this guy goes fucking crazy. You can see he's got like muscles in his knees that other people don't, man. How to build stronger legs and more protected knees. Yeah, he's all about the knee protection. He's just like, you know what? Everybody is trained to work out their muscles and not their joints. Assisted I'm that to knee unassisted, guy. to loaded. That's it. That's the purpose of this post. Because so many people who can't do body weight without pain assume they have a zero of ability. I thought I had a zero of ability. I didn't. You don't. You've got something. Another great way from Mark Bell is to use a band across the J hooks of a power uh, in order to assist yourself. Now this yeah, is knees, baby. To answer the three most common questions. One, you don't have to have a slam for it. It adds stability. Two, heel up is not better than heel down. Heel up more knee, heel down more hip. I can currently train my ankle strength from mobility and my. Hear what he said, guys. Hear what he said. He said heel up more knee. He said, heal up more knee, guys. Oh my gosh. So so you got to go heels up. Heels up. More knee, baby. It's all knee. That's all knee, baby. Oh, I can feel the knee. You can really feel the knee. Oh, that's good. No knee replacements in my future. No knee replacements in my future. But yeah, don't be afraid to work out your knees like this guy said. You know, go deep with your effing knees. Hold them there. You know, let your knees uh, absorb the shock and the trauma. And um, yeah, heels up all knee, baby. Heels up all knee. Work them glutes. Honestly, that was all knee. That was all knee right there. Try, Jack, try doing a sissy squat. What is a sissy squat? Not, I'm not familiar with a sissy squat. Hold your knees close and your wee-wee closer. What? You were looking at my glutes? Well, that's just inappropriate. Exercise Mondays for Jack. This is a Thursday. Look it up. All right, let's look up what a sissy squat is. This right here is my absolute favorite quad exercise. <laughs> the sissy squat. Consistently <laughs> this is what added the most amount of size to my legs over the past year. I'm going to show you all of the variations that I've done, beginner through advanced, and how you can gradually introduce this into your routine safely. First, the most advanced version, the sissy hack squat. With the balls of your feet at the base of the hip and your body raised off of the backrest with your hips fully extended. Allow your knees to bend forward in the same direction as your toes. Bro, I don't, I can't do that in my room. Okay, I'll try. 
try my best, Here's bro. Here's the exercise that I first began using to gradually introduce this movement Wait. to my body, the Nordic leg extension. At first, just my body weight, and then eventually adding a band for added okay. resistance, gradually easing my body back into greater ranges of motion over time with my core held tight and my feet pressed down into the floor. I slowly okay, I can do the Nordic thing. I can do the Nordic thing. I don't think I can do sissy squats in my room, though, man. You need like ban. You need like some kind of support. You need some beams or something. What was he doing? He was like, was he going forward or backwards? I don't even know, man. Hold up. I don't know. I feel uncomfortable now. Don't be a sissy. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I've never heard of a sissy squat. You know what? If that doesn't work out my knees, then I'm not really interested in doing it. Forward and up lunge. Nah, things are getting weird. Things are getting weird. I'm starting to get uncomfortable. Exclamation point weird. It's like you're the bottom in Missionary. Wow. Welcome back to Timothy. A.K.A. Morthy. I guess it was all a part of the plan after all. Anyway, been a busy week. What ruckus can we start today? Rumor has it Matico has at cart Master Joe's house. Anyway, let's have a great stream. What's up for today, Jack? Hey, saucy boy! What's going on, my guy? It is so good to have you here, dude. And, um, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my God. Uh, things are going on in this community. Matica's at cart mama's house. Wait, is it true that Cart Mama actually got his sister pregnant, or is that just somebody like trying to defame him? Because that shit was pretty disturbing when he was donating that. But uh, yeah, let's just have a great stream. Let's just ignore all the weird shit going on. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play some Shadow of Colossus and um, try to kill a couple more of those big guys. You know, it is what it is. I think the next guy I have to kill is in a dried up lake bed or something. It was someone making a dumb joke. Okay. I was just, I just wanted to clarify. I wanted to clarify. How many bosses have you beat so far? Uh, like nine or something. Like, like half. By the way, guys. You know what I found out about myself after uh, playing Lies of P? After beating Lies of P? I do not care for the melee mechanics in Elden Ring. I I killed like four or five bosses in Elden Ring and I was so displeased that I restarted my account as a mage and I am an intel intelligence peer now on Elden Ring. I I legit can't stand the melee. I think it's terrible. Like I, that's so I can't enjoy the game playing with the uh, playing with swords. How do you manage to stream for long periods of time? Does it, uh, does um, Steven have to come in as well? Uh, Steven usually comes in here at about <clears throat> in a couple hours, and um, you know, I I don't stay on here for that long. I mean, some streamers sit on here for like twelve hours plus. I, I stream maybe five or six hours at a time. Jive said, what a take. I'm going to be honest. Um, so here's the thing. Elden Ring does not reward you for playing aggressively. And I have a problem with that. Because you basically have to cheese or kite or do some kind of BS strategy to actually beat the games. Uh, in my opinion, unless you're doing a dex build, like I, I think dex build is so easy that it's cheap. If you're doing a bleed build, then it, the game's going to be easy for you to beat regardless. But like, I'm talking about trying to do like a strength build. Like the only way, the only people love to talk about like the versatility in Elden Ring and the variety of builds. But if you're playing a strength build, the only way to play is to hit and run away. And I don't think that's fun. Uh, I would rather be able to parry and block. And when I found out that 
you can't parry and block like hardly any of the enemies in Elden Ring. That really like that hurt me. That absolutely hurt me. And I, I turned into a mage this quick. Like, you know, now I just run around maging. Waffle Artist King in the house to welcome Timothy back into the Waffle Club. It's been a long time without him. Also, I'm working on a collage of Morrigan in different outfits, and by the end of the year, I want to show it off to you. Interesting. Well, thank you, Birthday Catastrophe, for the 250. I hope you're having a good Thursday, my guy. And uh, much love. Much love. You're, you're always keeping me on my toes, my guy. Always keeping me on my toes. Jive said, if you are a poise-damaging strength build, it helps to be aggressive. Well, but, 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 but here's the problem, though. Every single enemy in Elden Ring has the same gimmick of not letting you punish anything and just non-stop attacking. Like, in Dark Souls and Lies of P, the enemies will do a combo and then give you a second to hit them a few times. In Elden Ring, they just, like, they'll put you in a tiny little fucking room and with an enemy that just nonstop attacks. Um, Elden Ring is crazy. I don't, I don't, I really don't understand, like, why people act like Elden Ring's a masterpiece. It's like, you can't heal, you can't block, you can't run, you can't, I don't know. Like, I just feel like I'm so, like, pinned and slow, and I, I don't have any options. Like, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just terrible at the game. See, and then people like Jive will say, never had the problem. Right, my guy. Right. You're telling me that you don't have a problem with the... So you must just trap everything or kite around and hit everything in the butt. I don't think that's very fun. I don't think it's very fun. But you can't just face an enemy and, like, reliably, like, break their attacks or, like, break their posture by guarding. Like, I don't even know. Maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Skill issue, I'm afraid. Right. You know, you know, when I found out that, um, I was giving up completely on trying to do melee in um, Elden Ring when I was, I, I looked up online, I'm like, well, how do you parry? I'm like, how do you parry? And people are like, oh, well, you know, you can, um, you can parry by using certain shields. They make it easier to parry. They increase the parry window. But then the more I read about it, you can only parry like humans, you can only parry like humanoids, which if I could parry like a big monster's attack or something, then I think that the game would be way better because it would allow you to build more momentum and play more aggressively rather than having to just run and roll from everything, which I think is just pretty lame. Some NPCs in Elden Ring told me that they don't like you. Like... You know what the big difference between Elden Ring and Lies of P is? Lies of P rewards you for playing aggressively, and Elden Ring rewards you for playing like a pussy. And each game has its place. I'm gonna con I'm gonna complete Elden Ring, and I I'm having fun with it as a mage. But um, it it's weird because I wasn't even struggling with melee. You know, people will say, "Oh, you know, it's a skill issue." Well, I was beating every boss in four or five tries. Wow. It's good to be back. Thank you everyone for welcoming me back. I am a changed person now and will do better from here on out. Anyway, do any of the waffle honeys want to send me some feet pics to welcome me back? My Discord DM is open for all. Thanks. There you go. There it is, guys. The floodgates Hi, have Jack. opened. Welcome back. Missed you yesterday. I'm eating Chick-fil-A and watching Stephen Choir No Compilation on YouTube. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Ben Fraser. I appreciate that $3. Hey, Jack. Can we bring back the steaks? You have some hot sauce there waiting to set Stephen's mouth on fire. Also, I hope you are enjoying the room temperature, reverse osmosis, fluoride-free, chlorine-free, reconstituted with trace minerals water. Yummy. I am. Thank you. Thank you for being so keen, Friendly Mushroom. But, um, 
You know, if Steven wants to do some stakes, I'm down. How about tomorrow? Um, I know Dark and Death. By the way, if you guys see Dark and Death in the chat, let me know. Because he's gifted me Tekken 8 and I haven't accepted it yet. And I want him to be here when I accept it. But um, maybe we could do some Tekken 8 stakes tomorrow. And the loser has to drink some hot sauce or something. Um, I would be down to do that. Especially seeing as we're not going to be streaming um, next week, um, I believe. Um, that would be cool to end with sort of like a hot sauce steak or something kind of chaotic. Uh, thank you, though, Friendly Mushroom. Appreciate that. And I don't know why people no streams at all next week. I think that's what Steven said. I think that's what Steven said. What are you doing next week? Um, well, my mom just had a knee replacement surgery. And uh, normally my mom helps watch after um, Rogi and um, Ruby. But since my mom won't be able to help as much, um, Bree and Steven and I will be need, needing to help out, you know, with, uh, with my mom more, you know, since she can't really walk around. Since she just got her knee, she just got, she has like a new fucking knee. She has a robotic knee, bub. But no, everybody's kind of got their hands full. Um, so we'll see. You know, I'm not completely saying that there's going to be no streams next week. But um, I don't, I don't want to promise something that we can't deliver. Because I, I don't know. I, this is just what I've been told. But I don't know why my room temperature water is being memed on so much. Um, room temperature water is the best. Come on now. Come on. JC, JC said, didn't they give her a knee scooter? Um, I mean, probably. Like, I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen my mom with a knee scooter. I, I don't know about the healing process. And she's probably su supposed to, you know, probably stay down for a while. I, w I would assume that fresh after a surgery like that, you probably just want to chill for a week. Right? Or, or, or probably longer. Y'all are streaming tomorrow, right? Yes, we are going to be live tomorrow. But yeah, I feel like, um, you know, I'm up on my high horse now with Lies of P. And, um, Elden Ring, the melee system has never made me rage so hard while I was doing well, like killing every boss in the fourth or fifth try. And still I was so mad. I've never been so mad in my entire life because every time I died, I was just like, no way. Like that was complete bullshit. Like, but Hey, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm absolutely crazy. Hey Jack, do you like Pokemon? Unfortunately the latest Pokemon games are so boring that I do not like the excitement in them. They are so lousy and I prefer the older games much better than the newer ones. The newest ones are so vague and stupid. Um, do I like Pokemon? Yeah, I liked like the first, like the first couple generations of Pokemon. And I even played uh, Black recently and I kind of enjoyed that. But it just feels like Pokemon lacks innovation. It feels like they're afraid to try something new. And people are just bored with it. I mean, me personally, I feel like, um, you know, the game barely even has a story. Um, the gameplay is extremely repetitive. You're just battling trainer after trainer. They don't even give the trainers any, like, unique names or personalities. These are just the most cookie cutter, copy paste trainers ever. So to make it even more generic and soulless. And then if you look on the high end competitive side of things, once you actually put in hundreds of hours and you get good, the, the competitive meta is terrible. It's cancerous. It's luck based. It's for people who truly hate themselves. Sorry. Sorry.
But um, Plague Parker was uh, asking in the chat, what do I think about the new $700 heirloom in Apex? You're memeing, right? So heirlooms used to be $200 in Apex, and then they came out with a $300 heirloom, and now apparently there's a $700 heirloom. It's real. Is it live in the game right now? Can I go? Can I get on and look at it? I'll tell you what I think about it. This is a real thing. Next week. Oh, okay. Stupid Apex. I hope Pokemon and Legend of Zelda I hope, uh, will redeem. Yeah, maybe. You know, I have more faith in Legend of Zelda. Pokemon seems like they've just doubled down on their nonsense, to be honest. Um, I want to see the new $700 heirloom in Apex. I can't even believe this. The next heirloom is going to cost $700, and I feel sick even saying this to you. It's Apex not even cool! A brand new universal heirloom to the game, similar to the Buster Sword heirloom during the Final Fantasy event, but it will be the most expensive in-game item within what? Apex. What? Thanks to Krail Rindo, we have insider information on the dagger that should be coming to Apex Legends soon. The heirloom will be customizable, where you can change its style and parts around however Get the you want. However, fuck out of here! that this heirloom itself will be free for all users, but of course... According to Kraft, <laughs> you'll we'll be locked behind 36 cosmetics and items, just like the box skin during the Final Fantasy event. If you want to have everything unlocked for this heirloom to customize it however you want, it will cost you a total of $700, which is absolutely insane. It appears that Respawn is doing this because Universal Heirlooms make more money than Legend-specific heirlooms, which is why ones like Newcastle, Mad Maggie's, and others have been scrapped. Apparently, this is not Respawn's decision, but realistically EA's. The next Bro, this is so fucking stupid that they're coming out with the these $700 universal heirlooms because number one it looked stupid I don't care if you can change the colors of that little fucking thing it looked retarded okay like I'm not gonna lie to you I bought the last heirloom the Final Fantasy heirloom it's a giant fucking buster sword that you can use on any character that was a tiny little fucking thingy for $700 EA what the fuck are you smoking? What? It, the craziest part is that so many characters don't even have an heirloom yet. And they're coming out with these $700 heirlooms. That is crazy, man. That is absolutely crazy. And I know people will say it's a free game, but it's like $700. That is, doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, I know about... Have I been watching the news on the hacker? I saw that the uh, <clears throat> the ALGS Apex events got hacked by like a hacker, but I didn't. I haven't been like keeping up with it. What's going on with it? Wait, how much was the cloud sword? The cloud sword was like between two and three hundred, depending on your luck and how many materials you had. And I mean that was crazy too, but like. The normal heirlooms that are character specific are 200 and you can only use them on one character. The cloud sword can be used on every single character. So, I mean, it justified the higher price, I guess, but 700, it literally doesn't even make any sense. It sets a stupid precedent for other games. Well, I don't see other games doing this kind of shit. I feel like Apex is kind of in a league of their own where they charge like so much for microtransactions like that, you know? I can't think of another game like that, that people are like that. It's not even like CSGO or we're at whatever, where people are trading. You can't trade these skins. Like you have to buy them from EA. EA needs to drop that game and focus on Titanfall. Well, I mean, when people are buying $700 heirlooms, they're never going to make another Titanfall. What are you guys' opinions on speedrunning? I think speedrunning is sick. 
Uh, the other night, I was watching the uh, Mike Tyson punch out speed run. Pretty cool one. I love watching the uh, summoning salt that he is. What's up, Jensen? How you doing, man? Chilling out here, brother. All right, well, I'm about to pop up Shadow of the Colossus. Um, play some of that game. Been really loving it. Jack, do you still play NBA 2K? I have never played a sports game in my entire life, but thank you. You want to try speedrunning Luigi's Mansion? Well, you should do it. Just got to watch, uh, watch the world record run and see what the world record holder does. Toad Beamer said, nah, these AI thumbnails are so strange. Now, that's a real picture. Like, I will admit the last couple uh, thumbnails have been AI generated. That's a real photo. I actually took that photo this morning when uh, Steven was climbing up the Waffle Mountain in the backyard. You had better record it and upload, Jesse? Yeah, yeah, he, he, he should for sure. <clears throat> Am I enjoying the story of Shadow of the Colossus so far? Well, it doesn't really have a story, Timothy. Um, it's pretty ambiguous. It's pretty mysterious. But it's uh, pretty straightforward. I mean, like, there's not a whole lot of dialogue, not a whole lot to work with. But I do like the little story that there is. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I do. I do like what they're doing. BTW, I'm sorry about Mama Choir. I hope all is well with her. Thank you, Ben Frazier. And uh, don't be sorry. You know, she has a new knee. She is a cyborg now. And um, she will have uh, superior functions once once she heals. Thank you, Ben Frazier. Appreciate the $3, bub. She has a new, she has a new knee on life. God damn it, Timothy. All right, let's open Shadow of the Colossus. Jack, are you going to produce any new rap songs in the future? Um, you know, if the duty calls. If the duty calls. It's okay, Mothman. Don't worry about it, Mothman. We're straight, man. It was a knee slapper, man. That was a knee slapper. Addo! Addo! I hope your mom decides to get surgery for her knee. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope Plake's mom. Does your mom have a fucked up knee, Plake? You know, I, I will say, if you're gonna get some kind of replacement... You know, my mom's had fucked up ankles for a while... I think ankle replacements aren't quite up to the technology of knee replacements. Knee replacements are fucking top of the line, man. I'm telling you, they're really good. The knee replacement surgery, it is uh, it is some good stuff. Addo! Oh no. I need to close steam. She keeps putting it off. Yeah, I mean, you can only put it off until you can't, you know? I'm sure she'll end up getting it, though, Plague. But let her, know of, uh, let her know of my mother's success story. Jack, can we please flash sale Amber? Chelsea, chill. It is a Thursday, and we are all just trying to have vibes here. Um. Yeah. Arrow. Yeah, give the drama a couple hours, guys. Give it a couple hours. Jeez, you effing polecats. Yeah. 
My god. Alright, which way do we want to go from here? Free my boy Miles Coolin. Man, I don't know what Miles Coolin did, man. <laughs> Miles Coolin got caught up in the crossfire, man. He was just trying to be positive, man. Jack, I know you're a big fan of board games. So does that mean you like D&D? DND's not so Okay, but on a real note, do you still watch One Piece? Hey Jack, have you played the new Contra Operation Glugger game? It's pretty fun, I just beat it on hard mode, you should check it out. I have not played the new Contra Operation Galuga game. No. Is it good? You said it's pretty hard, my guy? Thank you, Shams. I appreciate your support, though. That's effed up that you would make a mockery of D&D, &D, man. d and is a very serious thing, dude. Yeah. That's a very serious thing. <laughs> Thoughts on One Piece? I've never watched it, you fuck! I've never fucking watched it, you piece of shit! Arrow! Arrow! Better get started. There's over a thousand episodes. Yeah, I'm good, my guy. How about I'm good? Yeah. Bro, fuck all that. Whoa! Adol! Oh, this hill has conquered Arrow. Arrow can't go on any longer. It's not like a horse can jump or anything. Mothy, in a very condescending way, said, Yeah, just stick to Studio Ghibli, Jack. Mothy? Yeah. Ooh. God. I just want to grab your neck. Yeah. I just want to pluck your little powdery wings off, you effing moth. Pluck his brows, if anything. Ooh, shots fired by Chelsea yeah. Lynn. Yeah. Not everything should be taken as condescending, Jack. Well, why did you put a period after it? No, 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 no. I want Timothy to explain. He didn't just say, yeah, just stick to Studio Ghibli, Jack. He said, stick with Studio Ghibli, Jack. Period. Because it's a sentence? It's actually more of a fragment. But, um... No, I see what you're doing, Timothy. Timothy's like, oh, you know, I'm unbannable now. I, I get it. I get it. I see you, my guy. I see you. No, I'm serious, though. It's like when Jesse's mansion says something with a period. I'm just like, whoa, dude, are you okay? Like, is everything all right? And y'all know what you're doing when you put the periods after what you say. Don't, I don't want y'all to sit, there, sit here and pretend like y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about when you put a period on the end of something. And it's like, you're just, you, you know, it's not that deep. You're not writing an essay for your college class. You're just chilling in Waffle Pone's chat and we're all friends here. You know? It's and, and you can't convince me otherwise too because I played RuneScape for 15 years. When somebody starts putting periods uh behind the shit that they after the shit that they say in RuneScape, yeah, yeah. you know that they're about to report you or something. You know some shit's up. Makes you raise an eyebrow. Here we go with RuneScape. 
NC, stop flirting with me. I'm trying to play this game. You fuck. This is for Doxxing Jacob and Lee. Oh! Oh! I thought you were going to say, uh, free my guy Mills Coolin. I thought you were going to free my guy Mills Coolin, though. Man. Thank you, Chelsea Lynn, for the 70 dot. Here's the rest. Flash sale. Get her out of here and Discord, too. No more joining just for the call-ins. $256! My guy, what? Y'all are insane! Y'all have some mental disorders or something in the chat! You, the, the chat has officially lost it, guys. The chat has officially lost it. Um, Chelsea coming in with $70. And Saucy coming in with the extra $186 to Tomahawk Amber in the back of the head. Goodness fuck. Goodness fuck. My God, that is so effed up. That is completely effed up. Saucy boy saying, don't make sure she doesn't even come in for the call ins. Um, Saucy boy doing his thing. This man did a Kurt. He got her out like it was nothing. Call her Amber Turd. That's what we do, Amber Turd's about to herd the llama back to your mama's house. While Saucy Boy is pulling a Norman Bates wearing his mama's blouse. That's how we do and why I rap on stream. That's what Saucy Boy do, he craps on dreams. Craps on dreams like Amber Turd the scamber learn Amber Alert. We're gonna need an Amber Alert for Amber Turd. And that's how we do. We'll call her Amber Poo to make it PG. And y'all gonna see me on the TV. You gonna bail her out? It's gonna cost the boy. You wanna jail her out? So for the Amber Unban. <laughs> what? J Rock, Joseph Rock, coming in with the L spam, unbanning his girl instantly. Wow. Wow. Wow, Joseph has been waiting for this day to prove his loyalty. My God. The big $300 donation coming in from Joseph Mother Effing Rock to free his girl. That is insane. What? The chat has lost it, everybody. Guys, the chat has lost it. We are descending into madness as we speak. My God, Stephen is speechless. Um, the three hundo coming in from Joseph Rock to free animals. Birds of a feather, most will flock. Three hundred dropped by Joseph Rock. What's gonna happen? This is getting really scary. No! Oh stop! My god. Bro, stop! Oh my god! Stop! Stop! Bro, oh my stop. god! Stop! This right, chat! Stop! Oh my god! Guys, all right, oh everybody, stop! Stop! Oh everybody, my no, god! Everybody, chill! Everybody, chill out! What in the guys? F my god! This was just gonna be a chill, oh my a chill god. game stream. Everybody, calm the f down. 
Stop. What the F? Saucy Boy with the $301 to reban Amber. I'm like John Cena. I see no one. Checkmate, said Saucy Boy, and dropped 301. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, what in the actual mode. F, that my guy? That is full psycho mode, bro. Oh my god. Like, the chat has lost it. Oh, I thought that like $900 in was the a... first tower. Oh, That's a new record. What the we hell, We just passed man. Sigajon. Is that a new record? I mean, I, I don't trust anything Timothy says, really, but um, it might be. It might be. That might be a record in Timothy's journal. I don't know. Um... What the hell, dude? Saucy boy! Saucy boy showing insane support. $500 of that was fucking saucy boy, man. Fuck the 303! Saucy boy, this is the 301! Saucy boy come in like he don't see no one! Jesus Christ. Amber man. heard? Nah, Amber scurred! Thank you so much, Saucy Boy. That is incredible. Uh, J-Rock, thank you incredibly. Joseph Rock, Chelsea Lynn, that is freaking crazy support. That 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 is psycho support from the chat. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. So, sorry if I'm scaring Ruby. These, these are noise-canceling headphones. I can't tell how loud I am. Waffles rise! I'm coughing prime! That's how we do in this, even if it is an awful rhyme. Are you guys fighting again? No, Captain Chris. Uh, uh, me and Steve, no, we're not fighting. I don't know who you're talking to, but thank you for the five. Um, we're not fighting here. Everybody's getting along. It's the chat, man. Uh, we're, we're just chill. The chat is freaking out. The chat is a, it's having an all-out war right now. This is getting scary. This is getting effing scary, dude. Saucy Boy is dropping nukes over here. Add to the Goo Bounty. Oh my god! What do- Bro! G Edsa! Dumping the 50 in! He said add to the Goo Bounty. Jesus Christ, man! Y'all need to chill the F out! I'll write it on the board, but holy crap. JCJC with the five gifted waffle members. Thank you, JCJC. Uh, very, very nice. Um, much love to JC. She's always being very kind, very sweet in the chat. That is like $25, but better. Thank you for that grassroots support, JCJC. Much effing love. Um... Gino saying 376. What did she is she adding that? Add it to the bounty. All right, add it to the bounty. Add it to the bounty, they say. Add it to the bounty, they say. Add it to the bounty, they say. $376 on Amber's name. I'm gonna fit her in on the board here with Miles Coolin. Cause I you know what? Free my boy Miles Coolin. Free my boy Miles Coolin, man. That's that stuff, man. Ain't nobody Check soft in this bitch. We don't use no downy. Here's 50 cents. Add that shit to the bounty. Man, there's so much drama in this community. The dry erase marker's running out of running out of ink. Y'all need to chill. Add to it. Okay, all right, I am. Give me a second. I'm writing it. God, I feel I feel like I'm like down in a hole, like 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 on top of Amber Amber's coffin, and people are like throwing money, and they're like, "Nah, bury her quicker. Bury her quicker. Put the dirt on." A dollar here, a dollar there, but who's counting? While well, Joseph's at the bottom in goo drowning. You know, I'm just trying to give Amber a burial service here, and y'all are acting like it's a horse race or something, and you're placing bets. This is getting dirty. This is getting real dirty, guys. You know what? I'm not gonna re Steve Stephen. You know what? I'll put I'll put it up higher. I'll put it up higher. 
I definitely want to leave plenty of room on the board for Amber's huge bounty. Because that's effed up. My boy Miles Coolin though, man. Miles Coolin didn't do nothing wrong, man. He was trying to be positive. You know? That's the last thing I remember about Miles Coolin, man. He was trying to be positive, man. He was out there on the street corner and somebody shot him up for no reason, man. He was trying to be positive. That's what happens, my guy. We don't want positivity here. My boy Miles, man. That's effed up, dude. I don't know what he did wrong. He was a good man. He you don't try to be bro. positive up in here, my guy. You don't try to be positive up in here. We feed off of the, the toxicity. That is how waffles are formed, is toxicity, my guy. And that's how we do. Pressure creates time. And that's how we do, my guy. All right. Amber is up on the board with a big bounty. The 381, my guy. The 381. It's disgusting. It's absolutely sickening. Guys, we've become monsters. We've all become monsters. The board got hungry, and Saucy has fed it. And Saucy has fed it, my guy. He is feeding the board, my guy. You, you, and Ed's a dropping 50 JC with the... With the five gifted members, my guy. Hey, when you write something on this board, you need to go over it more than once. Or you can't see it very well. I was sighted. Huh? I was sighted. You were what? I was sighted when I did it. What does that mean? Excited? Sighted? I was, I was excited. Amber with a $381 bounty. God blessed her soul. But now she's buried in goo. Rest in peace, Amber. She's Rest in peace. In goo, man. Rest in peace. You got a ticket, Ray? A ticket for what? I get a ticket for what, my guy? Did I add Aza's five onto there? Aza, I got your five, right? Rest in goo. Okay, I just want to make sure. You said you're sided. Ick, I meant excited. 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 But that is effed up. That is effed up. The donation bar just went from zero to uh, a thousand in the blink of an eye. Out of pure hate. Amber. Forged in hate. Amber wanted to be free, but Saucy said no, no, no. Amber sucks. Add to her bounty. Oh, wow. you guys are dirty. Spitting on her goo grave. Get You're going to spit on her guy. on her shallow goo grave. You're going to spit on that. R.I.G. Rest that in goo. That is at that man. R.I.G. Rest in goo, baby. That rest is, in goo. That is, that is awful. No, that is awful. Yeah, my guy. No, that's not funny anymore. Yeah. But I thought it was funny until that last ten dollars. It's not. It's. It just got dark. It got really dark. All right, G. Rest in goo, baby. This is making me so happy. Me and Bree tonight gonna make a new baby. Whenever Steven does one of those rhymes, then he sits back and he reads the chat with that look on his face.
She does look like a lot like Brie. The the uh, the older she gets, definitely see more Brie. <coughs> oh, ah, that sneeze had to charge up. Ugh. Jack, let's kill some Colossuses. Let's F and do it, man. Let's F and do it. Steven's kids look like Steven did none of the DNA work into making them. Not true. Rogi literally looks identical to Bree. I'm sorry. Identical to Steven. Rogi looks exactly like Steven. Um. All right. What is this auspicious ring here? Yeah. What is going on over here? Is that how he looked as a little kid? Yeah, no, literally identical. And like, I guess if you're around Steven a lot too, you just see Steven and Rogi. Yeah, Steven and Rogi are twins. Um, all right. I'm in this dried river bed. Do I, is there enough sun? Is there enough sun to shine my guiding light? My guy? What's up, Matt? What's up? What's up, everybody? What's up, guys? Yo. 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 Does he call him mini me? Yeah. No, he doesn't call him mini me. Oh, here it is, guys. You want to see a big bad monsters? It's the big monsters. This is the boss you got stuck on, champs. Really? Before before I clean this shirt, because I wore this yesterday, full screen it. I want to show them. Uh, I believe this was Tim Leonard. It didn't say on the package. Someone sent me this shirt. I think it's Tim Leonard. Uh, the Sekiro shirt. Look at this shirt. Sekiro. Shadows die twice. Hesitation is defeat. Look at that front. Look at this effing shirt. It was Tim. This shirt is so comfortable and so nice. And then look at the back of it. Fight the Headless Ape. How many times have you died and come back to, to life for my sake? And then it shows the giant headless ape. Well, the guardian ape. That's when he still has a head. That shirt is badass, bro. Dude, this shirt is so badass. I, dude, I can already, I already know Sekiro is going to be one of my favorite games. And then, one of the, the, the arm of the sleeve is the mechanical arm. You have oh, game that's sick. With like the attachments to oh, it. Oh, that's badass. And then the other arm. Says immortality severed. And then it has like Japanese writing. But yeah, this shirt, Tim Leonard. This is a, this is like one of my new favorite shirts, my guy. This is one of my new favorite shirts. I effing love this shirt. I don't, is this like official... I don't know if it's like an official from software brand wear. I don't know if it's a. What's the tag say? I cut it off. I can't remember. You but, cut it off. I don't want. I don't want a big white tag on my thing. But. Some autistic stuff right there. What you? Oh, you leave the big white tags on your shirt. I don't cut tags off my shirts. They don't bother me. That's autistic. autistic. Not cutting the tag. I'm not autistic, so they don't bother Dude, me. Dude, most people cut the tag. Well, if you off cut it off, then it'll be like sharp, and that, that's no, where it'll nothing, start bothering you. No, there's nothing sharp. You. Not if you, you cut it down to the. Oh, well, you know what? The tag actually, I didn't cut it off. The tag is at the bottom. The tag is cutting at the bottom. tags is full psychotic. No, what? If you're gonna do it, you have to rip it off, like NC said. Well, rip, cut. You know what I mean. Oh, I mean, I'm just saying. I, if you I, cut I, the yeah, tag, I, I, you're, I, you're you're crazy. I ripped it off. Whatever. No, they get all sharp and like bothersome when you cut them. Yeah, I don't know if it's I don't know if this is official merch, but it's awesome. It's awesome. It has the quality of official merch. It's like a cactus on your back. And now I don't cut it. I don't cut it. Yeah, yeah it but, is. Uh, I'll uh, I'll see you guys at like two o'clock. Um, 
Glad to see the stream's already popping off. Thank you, Saucy Boy, Josh Flores, JC, um, J Rock coming in with the 300, my guy. Chelsea Lynn with the 70. It's been insane, my guy. It's Edza. Y'all are popping the F off. I'll be back. Andrew said, go away. And go, go, uh, go fuck yourself, Andrew. Go fuck yourself. Okay. I hope you, uh, I hope you get sent to prison for a crime you didn't commit and you get violated, Andrew. How about that? All right. See you guys. I'll be back. <clears throat> All right. So Celestial Dragonite saying that he played the remake of this game and my God, this is the boss that made him almost break his disc in half. Am I in store for some bullshit? Oh no. Take down the Tortuga. Okay. I hope you get molested, Andrew. This boss annoyed, annoyed Skynet as well. Let's see what it's all about. Let's see what's going on with this boss. Plague Parker said he did the Tortuga in two tries. Yeah, we'll see what the Tortuga is all about. Alright. Well, I can't hold on to the tail, I don't think. Piner said I played through a Plague Tale. What a good game. Yeah, that was a good game, right? I, I need to play the second one. You know, I've just played the first one. Let's see. Does the tail do anything? I could fling me up there. I don't think so. Look, all of these bosses, they try to retreat. It's like, it, it emphasizes that I am the bad guy. They love to emphasize that I am the bad guys. Silent Hill 2 Remake might be coming out in May, not confirmed yet, but rumored. Okay, cool. All right, Mr. Tortuga. All right, mister. Um, he just shoots me with that every time. I can't even dodge it. Okay. So you can't approach his front. It seems like the tail is the only thing. You can... Can't you check the weakness with the sun? There's no sun in here. So his tail is like kind of buried in the ground. So this game is just fighting giant bosses over and over. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, well. Yeah, I guess I'll try to get him out in the open because there's nothing I can do over here. I'm just dying. Why is my horse running away? Come here, Arrow. I'm gonna die. Let me jump on top of you, bub. I'm about to die. Okay. All right, we're alive. So I think I'm supposed to lure him to the geyser.
Alright. Come to me, turtle. Come to me. Oh my god. Is my horse injured? No, arrow! You dumbass. Poke the turtle. What are you doing, Mr. Turtles? Come to me. Andrew, I hope the person you love the most betrays you in the most brutal way imaginable. Every negative aspect of your life is about to be put in perspective by the pain and emotional terror that you will be put through. That was me, Andrew. I'm watching the stream right now and I donated that. That was me, by the way, buddy. Arrow! No, Arrow. All he said was, all he said was, never really had a problem with me, but. Jack, can you add this to her bounty? Also, Damn. this just literally made me quit the game, so GG. Hey, GG, man. GG to Amber. That is effed up. Saucy Boy just casually, casually pulling up with the backhoe and dropping some liquid cement on Amber's shallow goo grave. Thank you very much, uh, Shams, for the $50, the big 50 from Shams. Um, thank you, brother. Thank you, man. That is $441. Damn. Four. Four. All right, there it is, man. There it is, uh, Shams. Pretty effed up if you ask me. But uh, none of my business. None of my business. I've got Colossi to kill. I have Colossi to kill. Please add to Amber's bounty. Jesus Christ! Nikonos! Nikonos, my guy! Thank you for the $10. I will add that to Amber's bounty. Absolutely, Nikonos. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, my brothers. Pretty effed up, if you ask me. 
But I am but a bystander. I am but a bystander. Thank you, Nikonos. Thank you, Nikonos. Jeff says that he might have to get surgery. For what, Jeff? God damn it! Stop fucking bullying my horse! Piece of shit. Let Arrow live. Still not talking, Andrew? I will make this corner of the internet a very uncomfortable place for you to rest your head. Isn't it funny how two simple words can end all the wonderful aspects of your life? I suggest you stay silent the rest of the day. Alright, I gotta figure out how to beat this fucking Tortuga, man. You have a cyst on your kidney? I'm sure everyth everything's gonna work out, though, Jeff. Everything's gonna work out, my guy. Okay. Did that do something? Oh, wait. What? Climb up its belly. What do you mean climb up his belly? Well, I go inside of the geyser? Oh, I thought that the geyser, like, weakened them. I thought that's what the god said. What, I'm, like, riding up the geyser? His weak spot got revealed by the geyser. I didn't see that. His weak spot got revealed. The geyser flips him over. Uh, he has never been flipped over. He's been standing on the geyser the entire time and he it hasn't done anything to him. What do you mean? Skynet said that he's just played this game and that's not what happens. Well, I don't understand why people pretend like they know what's going on. That's so weird. Like it's already like wow, you really are staying like, silent. 
you prissy little bits each. I would actually have a little respect if you fought back. Your silence is a sign of years and years of being a backseat living emotional tourist. You think being passive is comfy? Not anymore. Wait, was that, was that supposed to be a window for me to attack? Aim for the legs that support the body. Of the floating colossus? Huh? Okay. Oh, I see. Why, why is it doing that with the camera? Why, why is the camera doing that? Well, I can't hit it if the camera's gonna do that. Okay. 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 You're being sensitive, Stephen. All I said was go away. Oh, and here you are, man. donating. Still not going away. Do what I say and go away. This is Jack's segment. What? Good grief. Well, at least it's easy now that I know what I'm doing, but Jesus Christ. I need my horse, man. What are you doing, horse? This makes me want to go finish the game. Yeah, honestly, Shams, I think you were just having a bad time because this boss ain't that bad. It's not that bad. That's kind of annoying. That attack's kind of annoying, but it's not. It's not super terrible. Okay, get off the horse. Get off the horse. Brandon Ramsey with the 20 gifted waffle members, my guy. Thank you, Brandon Ramsey. That is huge. Coming in. Much support from Brandon. We'd love to have you here, Brandon. Thank you, my dude. Waffle Gang for life. Come to me, big dog. Come over to me, big dog. I don't know why the fuck you're shooting at me, big dog. No, 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 big dog. No, big dog. Oh, it's pretty annoying. Okay, maybe I'm standing too far away. I just need to stand in the right place. Come on, you turtle. You turtle bitch. I bet you're too afraid to, to do something to me, turtles.
Okay. That's fair game. It's fair game, my guy. Um. Oh, he just flipped that time. I guess he's already weak, man. He just flips, bruh. The bow gave you a hard time here. You know what the key is? You can't use auto lock. You have to free aim the bow. If you try to auto lock, your camera fucks up. Now, Plague Parker, I'm not hating on you, my guy. I was just reading what people were saying in the chat. Oh, shit. How do I keep falling off of that? Are you serious? Come on. I don't know. What the? Dude, what? What? The furry belly. Bro, no. I I can't even. Like, what? I, I couldn't even move. I couldn't do anything. Jesus fucking Christ. Brandon Ramsey. Oh, it hasn't come in yet. Okay. This boss is pretty damn annoying. That was my bet from the other day. Sorry that took a little bit to get to you. Hey, it's also all good. having a small party this coming Saturday at 4 p.m. Pacific. Wondering if you want to join in? Party? How do I join in on your party, my guy? Thank you, though, for the $10. I appreciate that. Uh, Brandon Ramsey being a man of his word, paying up his bets from uh, from earlier this week. I knew you'd pay up. Uh, pay up. Thank you, man. So is he just going to fire at me a million times from far away? Is he going to try to come towards me? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Is, 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 is he just, he's never going to come towards me? He's just gonna stand there and keep spamming that attack until I die. I mean, what are we doing here? Hello? Hello? Why is he not coming towards me? Dude, this boss is so special. Flip him over! Hello? Is he gonna flip on top of me? Is that why it's not flipping? What? Oh, are these feet not, not injured? Okay, I injured the other two feet. Oh my god, bro. Jesus, fuck me. I'm dead. Brit Up said the poor horse shouldn't be in the in the situation. I agree, Brit Up. I don't know why the horse needs to be part of all this. You know? I have no idea why the horse needs to be involved. What is going on? Why is he still attacking? What? He completely ignored it. What? What was that?
It seems like Jack is in the same place every time I watch this. Well, it's just because you, you're you're a, you're not a true gamer, so you just think all video games look the same. You know, it's like when a dog looks at humans and they just see like a bunch of the same people. You know, they don't like distinguish our faces like how like how a human can. Dude, why do I keep fucking falling off of that? My guy refuses to climb up this! What?! What is going on?! Dude! What the fuck?! Bro! I totally see why you rage quit. The problem is not flipping the turtle over. The problem is fucking climbing on the stupid fucking turtle, bro. What? He just ragdolls. I can't, I can't even get there. So can't you reach his belly from the ground? No, Michael. Michael, stop. Like, bruh, why does he just keep fucking shooting me? God, I hate this boss. Piece of shit, man. Bro, I'm shooting him in the spot! God! It's fucking bugged! Holy shit, man! Watch. I'm not even gonna make it, a, make it there in time to even fucking climb up this stupid ass thing. Ugh. Uh, 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 oh, oh. I mean, okay, okay, we're on. I'm glad that I'm not the only one who had this fucking experience on this boss. What the fuck? Okay. So when he gets up, I should be on him now. What is the camera doing? Hello? In what? universe could I fall off there on what fucking planet the physics must just not even work on this fucking pl like how did I fall off of that he got up and there was a ledge for me to sit I was on top of his fucking shell and I couldn't see anything when it was happening
How did you not stay on there? Uh, apparently I did something wrong. I think it's just a skill issue. It looks like a skill issue. I'm so fucking unamused by this boss, it's unbelievable. Immediately cripples me and my horse upon spawning in. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. This boss is stealing my sanity. I thought Elden, some of the bosses in Elden Ring were poorly designed. Christ. I swear it's impossible to avoid those attacks, by the way, if you're on the ground. You have to be riding your horse with a spastic camera. I mean, come on, like it's hitting him. Just give it to me, man. Like, you're not gonna give that to me? It's fucking hitting him, bro. Come on. Like, let's, let's be real here, like. He's just gonna camp on the edge where it's not hitting him? I mean, I, I can't avoid the attack. There's nothing I can do. gonna die he's not walking where he's supposed to he just sits there and spams laser beam so, completely unavoidable full sprint I'm dodging there well, I'm sorry but wait what just happened there what was what was that why did he get stunned and then instantly step off of it like what there's no way that this was intended man to get shot like that immediately before I can even react My horse is just running off aimlessly. Oh my god, bro. This boss is so fucking terrible, dude. Like, holy shit, man.
boss is fucking cancer, bro. This is absolute cancer. Thank fuck that boss had one weak spot. Uh, if that boss had another weak spot, I was gonna be so fucking salty, man. I was gonna be so salty, dude. Oh man, GG, brother. GG, brother turtle. Fuck that boss, dude. I got I got unlucky and I just hate that boss. Let, let's be honest though. The problem with that boss is how you have to line it up so perfectly on the geyser and how it doesn't cooperate. If, if it cooperated or if you could hit it in the head or hit it anywhere with the geyser, it'd be way easier. 
But that was just fucking so stupid. Jesus. You have to line him up perfect, man, while he's doing unblockable damage. All right, that was the ninth Colossi down. There's no way that any of the fights can be as bad as that one. There's no way. That was definitely the, the, the one fight that I did not enjoy. That was really dumb. Thank you for the $10, by the way, Brandon. Sorry if I was in the middle of that boss and I didn't acknowledge you properly. The next foe is an isolated sand dune. It tracks, its tracks are well hidden. Okay. Shaking the earth, its gaze is upon thee. Okay, it's a sandy boss. Is it like an underground boss? Okay. Yeah, there's a 0% chance it can be as bad as the last one. Because the first eight bosses I, I thought were really good. That boss was just not. And it was just one problem. The geyser thing. This next Colossus is my favorite. Hell yeah. My favorite so far has been um, the flying one. The flying one was really cool. I also thought the water one was pretty unique. People keep asking, or I guess Brit Up keeps asking what my sweatshirt is. It is a Tim Dillon show uh, hoodie. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's all embroidered. It's really nice. Super warm. My room is pretty cold today. Um... Yeah, I think it was actually a limited time exclusive merch drop. So, um, good luck getting one. Who's that? He's my favorite stand-up comedian. Yeah. Yeah. You'll find it on eBay. All right, good luck. Did they ever stream Red Dead Redemption 2? My brother did. Now, I'm not annoyed with you asking about my clothes. I'm just saying this was like a limited time merch and it was like a $70 hoodie and it's super nice. So I don't know how many he even sold. But I've seen Tim Dillon uh, twice live. His live comedy is really good, and I uh, I also listen to his YouTube channel and his uh, his Patreon podcast.
Damn it, horse! Why can't you be like the horse on Elden Ring? Jack, can mods get an employee discount on banning people? Baby bottle, baby bottle, no. baby bottle, baby bottle, no. baby bottle, baby bottle, baby bottle, baby bottle, baby bottle. I would say it's a big enough benefit not being able to get banned. Alec Baker, welcome back for three months. He says thanks. Go. Yeah. The poor horse doesn't deserve this. Well, then feed him a carrot or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, if the game if the game gave me some carrots to feed him, I would. But uh, the game makes me starve him, yeah. so there it is. I have to starve and abuse my horse, and then after he breaks a leg, I'm gonna turn him into jerky. He's not your horse, he's mine. Alright, that's effed up. Take that back. Yeah, it's a horse riding simulator. You know, I gotta say the horse riding though in this yeah. game, it's kind of relaxing. I think it's a nice way to unwind in between boss battles. The Elden Ring horse is better. Yeah, it is, yeah. but there's more, there's a bunch of enemies out in the Elden Ring world who are trying to kill you and they're trying, they're trying, they're trying to F you up. Uh, in this game, you can kind of just peacefully run around uh, unmolested. Rage quit incoming? Really? I like the camera they use here, right? For a PS2 game, that's pretty intelligent. Pretty intelligent camera. Arrow, come here. What if a threat was to your left? Well, you know, this game isn't about horseback combat. So they can get away with putting the uh, horse to either the left or the right of the screen because you're, the horse is just for the adventuring part, you know? I think he passed it. Yeah, I think I did too. I think I did too. Somehow, I, I didn't get the cutscene there. Arrow! Arrow! Do not pass the boss this time, Arrow. Do not pa pass the boss. Go to the light, Arrow. Go to the light. Watch, this is going to be uh, Revenge of the Turtle. Turtle Boss 2.0. Oh no, it's a snake! Oh hell yeah! I love uh, sand snakes. This game's relaxing to watch. Thank you, Chelsea. I'm glad you're enjoying watching this game. This game's relaxing to play. It's going well, Shadow Wolf. How you doing, man? It's an effing snake. Oh no, guys, it's an effing snake. How am I gonna stop the snake? Oh shit! He's got fur. 
The snake has fur. This boss is scary. Yeah, this is pretty scary. It's the effing tremors, man. It's the tremors, dude. He's gonna get the horse. I'll use the horse as bait. He's coming right for me. Oh shit. Oh my God, bruh. He just took all my health away. That, he didn't even hit me. All right, well I need to get out of the sand, dude. This guy's gonna kill me if I'm in the fucking sand. What the effin' what the effin' heck, dude? What the frickin' heck? So I saw there were pieces of fur on him, but when I got near him, he just fucked me up. Oh my god. Bruh. He doesn't care about the horse, man. He only wants human blood. Oh, I'm dead here. So can I just grab on it, or...? Okay. Well, that ain't the strat. Uh, apparently, you can't get you can't get anywhere near it. Okay. He just one-hits you. And comes right towards you immediately. Okay, I've got to be doing something wrong. Uh, there's got to be something in the environment or something that can help me because I can't just take this guy on. There's literally nothing I can do. What the fuck? Oh my god, he's right on me, bro. Holy shit, he's right on my ass, dude. He's- Oh my god, look at his eyes! Oh my god! Look at that fucking ugly bitch! Oh my god! What the fuck? Bro, did you see its eyes? Bro, did you see it? how ugly that thing was? It looked like a fucking uh, Majora's Mask boss. Holy shit, that was an ugly motherfucker. Wow. That was hideous. I didn't expect it to have eyeballs like that. Right on the front of its face. All right, yeah, we get it. We get it. Arrow? Oh, you dumb fucking horse. Jack, I heard your Oh, you dumb tomorrow. fucking horse. So I will now sing a song oh. for you. The wheels on the bus go. Yeah, that's great. That's just wonderful. Okay, there he is. That's pretty cool. That's pretty fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie. Holy shit, man. I'm just sitting here talking about how there's no horseback combat. And then there's the most epic horseback combat of all time. Holy shit. 
Wow. Oh, look how my horse propelled me up there. That was so fucking pro, dude. That was so professional right there. Oh my god. We're fucking climbing the snake, man. Oh shit. He's wa he's wobbling. He's wobbling. Um, what am I supposed to do? Oh no. All right, I'm, I'm on his head. I, I don't want to go any lower, I'm gonna fall. No, 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 G get back on. Oh, wait, okay. Okay. Oh shit, he went back in. Arrow! Come Arrow, now. We can't play games. Let me jump on top of you, Arrow. Arrow? Bruh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is scary, dude. This is effing scary, man. Yeah. Oh, no. Turn around. My God! This is a cool fucking boss, man. Oh my god, dude. Holy fuck, bro. That gets your heart racing. <laughs> Jesus fuck. I have to take a piss, man. That, whoa. That is insane. That boss is fucking cool. That is my second favorite boss so far. Wow. What a cool game. What a cool effing game. someone that sits at home and, and, and pets and strokes animals all day, rubs people the wrong way so much. Is there irony in that? I think there is, yeah. I feel like there's some irony in that. <laughs> what up, everybody? How we doing, my guys? Let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. Let me tell you what happened to me. Bro, what the hell? What abomination are you eating right now? 
Look, I was in a rush. I could tell. Guys, look what Steven's eating. Look what's for dinner, guys. Can anybody guess what this is? Well, I just want to see. It looks like oatmeal with protein powder and apples in it. Can anyone guess what it is? No, you're wrong. Oatmeal, no. Not even close. That's not oatmeal? This is beef stew. Bro, shut the fuck up. This is beef stew. Look, Timothy got it. He said beef stew. That's crazy. No, this is oatmeal. This is oatmeal with protein powder and apples mixed in it. And hemp hearts. I have hemp hearts in here, too. I'll take a bite. I haven't tried it yet. Let's see if it's any good. Not bad. Not bad. I hate protein powder. Not good. It depends on the protein powder. 99% of protein powder is crap. Gold standard whey and all nah, these. I don't like that shit. Aldi's protein powder is good. I don't too. like that whey shit. No, oh, man. Aldi has good protein Gross, powder. Gross, man. Aldi has quality protein powder. You tripping. Mmm. Mmm. Did you use reverse osmosis water? I used um, macadamia milk. Look, it doesn't look good. Whey is good. I like whey. I like whey, I do. To me, to me, it's like, I don't sit there and rely on it and, you know, put it on everything. But it makes my Greek yogurt taste like chocolate pudding. And it makes my oatmeal taste like uh, cocoa weeds. So... I Hopefully. wish it tasted like chocolate pudding or cocoa weeds. No, it does. Bro. It depends on what protein powder you get, dude. If you can get pro good protein powder, bro. But why the apples? What do you mean? You never put you never put chopped up apples in your oatmeal? Come on, man, that's good. Extra fiber. They're filling. Jive said, Jack, you would be bigger if you had a couple scoops a day. What do you say to that? Just like uh, eating more, eating whey isn't gonna just make you bigger. I'd look like swollen, yeah, I'd, I'd be like swollen and infected with the way. What's with the bell pepper in there? Now don't you put that evil on me, Shams. Don't you put that evil on me. But um, let me uh, let me tell you guys what happened yesterday. So my mom came home from the hospital and she was still on a pain blocker to where she still didn't feel any pain. They gave her pain pills. They gave her uh, oxycodones, and she didn't need them though, at the moment, because she was on a what? pain blocker. And, it, and uh, they told her, they're like, you probably won't feel anything. It'll probably be numb until the next day. And my um, my mom is an alcoholic. Is a recovered alcoholic. She hasn't drank in a long, long time, but she's a recovered alcoholic. And they say, you know, hey, pain pills can kind of sometimes be like alcohol in pill form and it can kind of make someone want to relapse. They're, those are really addictive. So being a good son, I told her, I was like, look, before you take any, let me, because it recommended she takes one to two of them whenever she feels pain. I thought, I told her, I go, I'll take two of them. I go, I'll take two of them of these oxy, oxycodones. Um, I'm not a pill guy, by the way. I'm, I'm not, wasn't, I wasn't one of those kids in high school that like did pills all the time. I was like, I'll, and I'll see what it does, and I'll say, you know, I'll tell you if, like, hey, this might be, like, a dangerous thing for you. And she said, I love you, son, and I said, I love you, mom. And I took two of them. Wow, what the fuck, Steve, let me get one of them then? You're lying, Jive. Jack, am I lying? No. No, I'm not lying. And I took two of them. They are 10 milligram. They are 10 milligram pit, pit pills, so I took 20 milligrams of uh, oxycodone. Um, for the first half hour, I felt nothing. And I, I kind of expected that. I was like, I feel like these are gonna be like super light, even though it was like a knee surgery, so, you know, whatever. You can't take other people's prescription pills. Wes, you're being a, you're being a party pooper. You're being a buzzkill. But, um, you can't just take people's prescription pills. I mean, I, I, it's, I wasn't taking her heart medicine, my guy. They're, you know, they're pain pills. I know, I know what I'm doing. And um, bro's addicted to pills now. No, 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 no. On the contraire. On the contraire. After taking those, 
I don't know how the hell anybody could ever get addicted to that shit. It was terrible. It was absolute. I know I've seen people in the chat, oxies, yeah, yes, oxies, o opioids, oxies. Dude, let me tell you something. Especially you young kids like you Edwin T's. They're probably a low, do a low dose. No. I, I wish it was a low dose. It was 20 milligrams. It was 20 milligrams. I don't know what that equate, you know, if you're some pill head in here, that's probably nothing. But let me tell you something. She got knee surgery. They wouldn't give her a low dose for a knee surgery. But let me tell you something. What did you feel like? So at first, it felt like, you know in like a movie where someone's running from a bunch of natives, like a tribe, and they use like a blow dart, and it like knocks them out? It kind of felt like that, like like how I imagine that would feel for like the first 10 seconds before you actually pass out. It was kind of nice. It was kind of like, yeah, I feel kind of chill, kind of like slow motion a little bit. And then it quickly turned to terror. Um, I was itchy. I kept wanting to go to sleep. That's all I wanted to do was go to sleep, but I couldn't. Because Why you aim upwards, Jack? When I try to aim at him, it fucks up. I couldn't go to sleep though, because I have fatherly duties. So it's like, you know, maybe if you want to take those and then just go pass out somewhere on a couch, it might be okay. But yeah, I, dude, I was itchy. I, uh, I felt nauseous. Um, I, I couldn't get comfortable unless I just wasn't moving. Um, Breven said I looked pale. It was, itchiness is the worst, because if you don't have actual pain you're treating, the medicine just messes with you. But I was expecting like a nice high. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, this is what all the kids are doing. You can't be a father on oxys. You can't. Like, I I thought, oh, I'm just going to walk around today with, like, a nice buzz. Dude, like, like I had, like, a couple drinks. I thought it would be like I had, like, a couple drinks. It was Matthew Perry had built up a tolerance of 60 of those pills a day. Bro, they're not even fun. It wasn't even a good time. Like, let me tell you guys something. This, you could look at this as, like, an anti-drug campaign. It wasn't even a good time. I never, ever, ever, ever want to do those again. And I regretted it so bad. Are you still feeling the effects? I still feel a little weird. I still feel a little weird. A little. I mean, nothing like I was yesterday. Yes. I, 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 feel, yes. I feel slightly a little, a little weird, but um, no, it's over. It was for, yeah, it was for science. Yeah, right now I just have the withdrawals. Right now I'm just withdrawing from it. But no, bro. I don't know how anybody, anybody could become addicted to that. It was, it was terrible. It was absolutely awful. I, I don't know, man. The, yes. the, they're downers, so you'll get sleepy. It's like you're sleepy and itchy and kind of nauseous and there was nothing fun about that. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get how anyone could become addicted to that. Really weird. Really weird. So yeah. Yes. So I learned something about myself. I Good for the pain, but made me feel weird when I was recovering from a broken collarbone. Yeah, the, the feeling is not good. The feeling is not good. You know, they're, opioids. Oh, the most addicting thing on the planet. Oh, opioids are so addicting. It's like, not for me, bro. That was terrible. Sham said that boss didn't look too bad. You know what it was? Is if you try to hold down L1 and target lock the boss while you're doing the archery, it fucks up your archery. So don't don't use the target lock once you're once you're trying to shoot it, or it'll fuck everything up. That's what I've been that's what I learned from that boss. Maybe they do that on purpose to make them less addictive. Yeah, that's what the pharmaceutical company's trying to do. They're trying to make their pills less addictive. Nah, bro. They want them to be as addictive as possible. Glad you only took the pill and didn't freebase it. Freebase it? What? Like snort it? I mean, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go snort it on the back of, on the uh, on the back of the toilet. Hold on, Rogi. Hold on. That is crushing pills. No, that means inject. <laughs> what? Uh, did it feel like an edible? No, no. You know, okay. You know what? 
it felt like an edible if you were having like a bad high. That that is actually a pretty good comparison, Shams. An edible. It felt like you ate way too many, like way too many edibles, like way too many, and you got those weird like body sensations. Like it was so not good. It was so not good. And yes, my mom is taking them now because you know she's actually feeling the pain of the knee surgery. But she's taking like half a one. And she said before that she doesn't like she doesn't like the feeling of pills either. I don't know how people like that, bro. Try mushrooms. Yeah, I'm good on that. I'm good. No, that means smoke it. How, you, you can smoke pills? You can smoke a pill? Damn. That's going to be me in two years, bro. That's going to be me. Just lean and buff and... Guys, screen cap this. This is going to be me in two years, man. I'm going to have that build. I'm going to have that build. I might have to start popping some roids. Um, after a, after a year, but hey, you like that thumbnail, Shams? There's a, quite a few people saying that they like the thumbnail today. Look very powerful. It's pretty easy to make this one. Look very very powerful. See, look, if you're really buff, you can pull it off. You can pull off a bald head. Uh, you know what I, I think really works about this photo? Why I like it. Is because it's, and serve it's a complete side profile of the face, but the face swap is still so good. Yeah. It's like, I did not give face swap a side profile. It yeah. just interpreted what a side profile would look like. The waffles in the background, it looks more like morel mushrooms. Yeah, it does kind of look like yeah, a morel. Uh, waffles. Looks like he's about to hike a football. It does. I keep thinking it does. he's about to hike a football. Yeah. I keep thinking that's what it is. Yeah. Even it's like I know it's not, but in my brain, in my peripheral, I keep seeing him hiking a football. Some people are saying that's giving them Andrew Tate vibes, tryptophobia. Uh, I see the tryptophobia. It is kind of upsetting. Defensive tackle stance. Look at the hands. <laughs> Look at his fingers. Well, I mean, how do you think that he climbed all the way up there, bro? He's got claws, dude. <laughs> He's got fucking giant hands. He's got like alien hands. Huge, yeah, huge meaty fingers. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you know that is, um, I believe that's something that a lot of climbers have in common, is that they have like low body weight and big hands. Yeah. Like that would be. I mean, I mean yeah, that would be ideal. The bigger your hands are, the easier it is to climb. Yeah. And strong forearms. Jesus Christ, how are the donations so high? Bro. Saucy boy came in. Fired at Amber. Got Amber on the board. Joseph came in, tried to counteract it. Saucy boy came back. Then people piling on to it like Chelsea Lynn and Edza. I believe Chelsea was the first shots fired. Oh, really? Chelsea dumped in 70 and she was like, I want to get rid of Amber. And Saucy instantly came up behind her with the rest of the wow. money. Wow. Yeah, Saucy came rushing behind her with like $185. Yeah, I mean, they, they like rushed. Like they've been like, it's funny. We're the streamers and there's shit that you can tell has been like, people have been like planning for weeks and then they just kind of come in kind of grab grab um amber just rush her out really quick uh joseph tries to get up and save his girl sauce we wax him in the leg with a bat incapacitates him tell, tells him don't be a fucking hero and then they get the fuck out man that was wild don't be a fuck that's what that's what that was saucy boy straight up grabbed joseph rock and said don't be a hero <laughs> that's what that was man <clears throat> poor joseph dumping 300 to save her for one minute yeah, man, that was. I thought when he dropped the three hundred one, or the or when he dropped the three hundred, I thought, okay, that 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 was that. That I did not expect the clap. Back oh well, I, I didn't know how. I, I just noticed the syrup dripping on the bottom right hand corner. Yeah, you know, more that? like caramel. Yeah, there's syrup dripping. Yeah, it's very beautiful. So how much to unban Amber? If you want, okay. If you want to free Amber, if Amber is your homegirl, if she's part of your hobbit hole, it is. it will be $452. For, so she's still, I mean, look, look, it sounds crazy to say, but she's still savable. $452. You can be her hero. 
You can be her hero. I will say a regular, uh, a, a waffle mountain is easier to climb than a regular mountain because it has so many grooves and grips in it. But once you get near the, near the summit of a waffle mountain, uh, there's lots of syrup and you will slip and lose your grip. I keep thinking you're going to say something about Amber and then you, you go on about the, the waffle mountain. Damn, I want waffles now. Oof. When was the last time you've had a waffle? Oof. I like waffle cones better than waffles. Are those really like interchangeable? A waffle cone? Like a waffle is like too much, man. Bro, bro, it's like too bro, much bro, shit bro, bro, to Listen eat. to what you're saying right now. A waffle is too much? Yeah. We're the waffle guys. We're supposed to... Everything's waffle. We're oh, yeah. To, fuck. I mean, we, what are you talking about? Oh, shit. No, I mean, right. clearly we've talked off no, screen. that's not we, good for the brand. We, we both prefer pancakes. No, that, I know that, we both talked about that. Dude, that's not stop, good for stop, the stop, brand. Stop, stop, yeah, that's stop, not good for stop, the brand. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, guys. So that was just a joke. Uh, Jack was actually the one that took the opioids yesterday, and he's still kind of... Well, a little loopy. He's saying crazy stuff. Um, yeah, that wasn't cool. Yeah, no, that wasn't brand friendly. That wasn't brand yeah. friendly. Yeah. Yeah, now the next stream's gonna have to be a mukbang waffle stream where we just eat 500 waffles to prove our loyalty to the waffle gods, my guy. The waffle gods. Now, I like waffles, but I feel like something, like, different has to be done with them. You know, like, one time I made a, uh, I made a purple sweet potato waffle, and it was just miles better than a regular waffle. An ube waffle? Yeah. Made that good, good purple sweet potato Super good. Maybe if I dyed my waffle a fun color. You know? What if I, I put lavender extract in the batter and then I dyed the waffle purple? One time I literally made Brie breakfast. This was when we had our own place. And I made her... She said she wanted a ham omelet. And I made her green eggs and ham because we had green food coloring. And she was so disgusted when I brought it because it's just a plate of just green eggs and ham. But I tried to make it look like as similar as it did. You know, it's like a, like the little whole ham and like the, the scrambled eggs with cheese. But it was all green. And she, I swear to God, she refused to eat it. No. -uh. Well, well, at first. At first. And she was just like, because she's like weird about like food coloring. And she's just like, she's like, it makes it look unappetizing. She's just like, why would you do that? She goes, you made great eggs and great ham. And now you just made it all green. She goes, it just, it just looks gross. Like, it looks weird. And, and and I was like, come on, come on. She's like, no, no, no. Just like Sam I am, she was refusing to eat the green eggs and fucking ham. And You're then, lying. I swear. You're bring lying. her up here. Bring her up here. Bring her up here. Bring her up here. And then finally, she took a bite. And just like Sam I am, she was just like, all right, that is good. And she ate the whole thing. Swear to God, bring her up. Bring her up here. My, you know what? I'll call her right now. You don't believe me. Call me a liar. Me a liar. All right, I believe you. I All right, believe that's you. what I thought. I was about to call her up, man. No, she still brings that up. Did you chase her? No, I didn't have to chase her or say like, "Hey, will you eat it in a box with a fox?" But she did. Uh, she did eventually. She did eventually eat it. Is it just eggs and ham, but green? Yeah, I just made eggs. I made ham, and I put green food coloring on it. That's it. What's the name of the Dr. Seuss book where there's a... Uh, oh, it's the cat in the hat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Like, because I, I, I think it's so funny. Uh, sometimes Steven and Rogie are going around the house and they're looking for all the uh, cat in the hat monsters. They're just like, oh, is there, no. a, is there, is there a wasket in the basket? No, that's, that's walk it in my pocket. Oh! That's what for some reason I was thinking, well, cat in the hat. No, no. okay. And no, yeah, you're right. All his books right. rhyme. All his books rhyme. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no. There's a, yeah, there's a Dr. Seuss book called There's a Walket in My Pocket. Yeah, there's a Walket in My Pocket. Yeah. The most underrated Dr. Seuss book ever. There's a, there's a Wazit in the closet. There's a Nink in the sink. There's a Goofbrush on my toothbrush. There's a, there's a Zug under the rug. And it's all these creatures. And me and Rogie go around the house at least a couple times a week. And we have the book and we like hunt for each monster and try to... I think that is my favorite Dr. Seuss book is there's a walking in my pocket. See, I, okay, I like it because Rogie really likes it. 
and we have a game about it, but it's a pretty dumb book, man. It re it really it, it it's. And it, what 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 Dr. Seuss books do you like better? I think Green Eggs and Ham is a better book. I really? think Gr Green Eggs and Ham is a better book. Uh, you know what else is kind of a dumb one? Uh, one fish, two fish. Like it doesn't make any sense. Why so, why is walking in my pocket a dumb one? It's not it's not dumb. It's just kind I think of. It's, I think it's kind of like fun and imaginative. It's yeah. It's, I mean I mean yeah. and it, I mean. Ro it even stuck so much in Rogie's brain where he's thinking about the monsters as he's walking yeah. around our house. Well, I, I like it because Rogie likes it. I like yeah. it because Rogie likes it. I just remember being a kid yeah. and kind of feeling the same way Rogie does where it's just like, like kind of just like lurk, yeah. lurking around for yeah. the monsters, you know? The Zug under the rug is the one that got him curious because that was, that was yeah. kind of the scary looking one and he had to go check to make sure there wasn't. And he was just like, hey, well, let's look for all of them while we're at it. Redfish... Bluefish is kind of mid. It doesn't make any sense because you think the book... Okay, it starts off like one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. This is a blue fish. This is a red fish. This is a smart fish. This is a dumb fish. And then it stops talking about fish about halfway through and starts talking about other creatures. And then it just like gets caught... It's weird. Like, I need to bring it up here and read it sometime to show you guys how it kind of like trails off. But um, maybe I need to do a Dr. Seuss book tier list sometime. I Maybe mean, I should do a Dr. B Seuss book tier list, my guy. It meanders. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of odd. It's kind of odd. I think uh, Mr. Brown can moo is a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. No. You should show Rogi Rogi Seuss's early early work. Oh, the creepy painting. You know he likes creepy stuff. He would probably like it. Dr. Seuss was an asshole. Well. All geniuses are assholes, my guy. All geniuses are assholes, you know. Tearless Tuesday, maybe we might. I, I'd have to go back and really uh, refresh my memory on his books. Andrew just came in and said, "Is it too late to apologize, Stephen?" It's never too late. It's never too late. No, the racist cartoons. Oh, the racist caricatures? I don't remember that one. He did racist caricatures? What did he do, like, the black? Did he do black? Or Typically with the racist caricatures, they either give the black people and they make them really black and give them, like, giant lips and, like, big bulging eyes. Because they all said everyone was racist back then. Yeah, it was just, like, the thing. Or they'll do a Chinese person and they'll give them, like, literally two slits for eyes and then, like, the giant buck teeth and make them be, like, ching chong ching. It was, like, Japanese because, okay... Yeah, but, but but Zell does have a point though. To 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 modern standards, everybody was racist back then. Mm -hmm. You know, that is true. To modern standards, but things have changed a lot over the last twenty years. To be honest, yeah. You know, you used to be able to call people a whole slew of names without them thinking that you were personally attacking them. No. You know, there's a lot of words you used to be able to say. Like what? What do you mean like what? There was a lot of words you used to be able to say like I what? I mean, I recall in the freak out videos you using the uh, faggot word all the time. I still say faggot. No, you don't. That's a fun one. I mean, I don't sit there and just try to... Now, um, I'm not reminiscing over the Call of Duty days because, I mean, people were saying, like, the N-word in Call of Duty days, and the N-word is still not okay. I'm talking about other words, you know what I mean? Like, when people, like, remember when, like, there were, like, more racial jokes, but nobody, like, took personal offense to them? Right. I got those kind of days, you know? My only problem with racial jokes is they usually just weren't funny. That was usually the issue. Okay, wait. Are you talking about... So, okay, there's two different... There's racist jokes and racial jokes. So, like, the race... What I consider more, like, just straight-up racist jokes were, you know, maybe, like, a couple of guys hanging out and they're like, you know, uh, why don't you go to a black guy's garage sale? Because it's all your stuff. Stuff like that. You know, just, like, racist jokes like construction workers tell. Then there's racial jokes... Which are more like Chris Rock or somebody like cleverly putting together sort of... Yeah, I don't sit there and distinguish. I'm talking about jokes that have to do with race. I'm not sitting here and well, trying... There's, a, there's, there's different categories, bub. 
There's different categories. <laughs> well, I mean, it's either funny or it's not. <laughs> that, yeah. that, those are my two categories. Uh, here's a joke. Is it funny or is it not funny? And that's basically how I, dr how I delineate. Cause it's like, I hate how people try to police like what you're allowed to joke about. It's just like, well, is it funny? Yeah. That, that, that's, that's my point. How do you guys feel about jokes about white people? If it's fine. I'm completely open to jokes about white people. I just have a really hard time thinking of one that's funny off the top of my head. I've heard, I've heard funny ones before, but like, I feel like, I don't know if it's like, cause white people are just harder to offend or there's just such a broad group of people. But no. a lot of, I feel like a lot of white jokes aren't that funny. Well, well when you say jokes, it, it sounds like more of just like a one-liner, which I typically don't think are funny. But I can think of a lot of things like Dave Chappelle said or like Chris Rock said about white people that are hilarious. Why are you trying to like like split hairs when it comes to like... Because the what, what's a, a joke. What's a joke? Like, bro, we're, ta like, we're talking about... Like two white people we're talking going about, to a bar. We're talking about... No, no, no. Look, 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 look. You're, you're thinking about it too hard. Somebody says something that's funny. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. I don't typically think jokes like, are funny. I don't, I don't know why we're thinking about it so hard. I don't think jokes are typically like, funny. Like, just because it's a humor doesn't mean it has to be in a joke, standard joke format. Or, I don't even know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Race can be funny in the right setting. You just have to be funny, man. You just have to be funny. Well, when Chris Rock jokes about race, it's a racial joke. Yes. But when the KKK makes a joke, then it's a racist joke. Yeah, probably. The KKK? Yeah. I don't know. Pro I'm probably. Just, I'm just it probably is a racist I'm joke. I'm just saying, though, like, like, <laughs> like my, my bottom line, though, is just, like, either something is funny or it's not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, you're thinking about it entirely too hard. Like, I, I hate, so. like, that's my big problem is with modern comedy is how hard people think about the ethics of comedy. And it's like, no, 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 no. We're not talking about ethics. We're talking about what is funny. No, I'm not talking about ethics either. I'm talking about the structure of a joke. I'm talking about well, I know, but whether it's like a, about, hey, two black guys go into a bar and blah, blah, blah. Or what if does it's, that have to do with anything? Or if it's like a funny, like Dave Chappelle. Two black guys go into a bar. Yeah, like that type of joke. Like a, so what like if a, it's funny? I don't think any of those jokes are funny. So it's uh, it's impossible for a two black guys walking into a bar yeah. to be funny. For me, yeah. I never find that funny. I never find those old school, so with that, old with, timey, so without even hearing punchline. The, without even hearing the punchline, that setup cannot be funny. No. No. That is not how, funny. How does one come to that conclusion? Because I've heard a million of them. Dude, I've okay. worked with guys who know a million of those jokes. And you don't and think that a funny person could come up with a funny... No. Two, you don't think Norm no. MacDonald could come up with a funny two, two black guys walk into a bar joke? He probably could. I mean, he would well, you're he sitting here saying, you're sitting here saying that, well, those jokes aren't funny. And the way that you say it almost makes it sound like, well, those jokes aren't okay to say. No, I said they're not funny. I don't, I don't, the ethics, Well, you were care. talking about the difference between racial and racist. And, uh, you, if you say two black guys walk into a bar versus Chris Rock, I, I, I literally don't even know what you're trying to say. The difference is a racial joke or a racist joke. There's a difference. Something is funny or it's not. Yeah, I agree with that too. Right? I agree with that too. So then why do we need to think about it any harder? Yeah, 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 exactly. Jive hit it on the head. Norm would take that two black guys walk into a bar joke and make it like an anti- He would okay, like- An anti-joke is still a joke. I know, but I'm saying 99%- That's, no, that's, that's I, Norm's, well, that's what Norm you're does. You're talking about a top tier dude. I'm talking about 99% of the time when someone just has those little joke book jokes, those little two guys walk into a bar, uh, uh, knock, knock, you know, those are Who, typically- Who's telling you these jokes? Bro, the factory, construction, uh, I heard that shit all day. I, it must have just been the jobs that you worked. Like, I heard like, that, I heard it, the- People weren't telling me a bunch of two guys walk- I worked in construction it's and I haven't heard 50 year old that. white guys. It's 50 year old white guys who work at factories who sat there and all day in my ear, all day in my ear, my guy. That's what I heard. Thank you, Emily. That's very sweet. Jokes in the factory are lame. Yeah, they typically weren't good.
typically weren't good. Stephen, you're a good son. Take care of your mum cause you only got one. Best recovery wishes to Mama Choir. Thank you. Thank you very much, my guy. Zell really wants to know what the punchline of the barge... You've never heard that setup before, Zell? Like, two... I don't think Stephen knows what he's talking a, about, A Zell. priest and a rabbi walk into Zell, a bar. Can two we just Polish move forward? Walk... Let's be honest. She's never... You've never heard that, Zell. Zell, let's be honest. You've never heard that? Stephen has no idea Wait, have you never heard about. that setup either? I know exactly what oh, you're okay. talking about. Well, Zell's, Zell wants to know, like, I don't have an actual joke for it, Zell. There's not an actual You know, joke. factory jokes. All right, let's just move on. This is really hitting home for Jack. I just... This AI image is infinitely more ripped and lean than Squirrel Boys or ever will be. Ever, bub. Ah, oh, thank you, Hillers. Skynet said make one. Okay, I can make one. All right, all right, you know what? Everybody wants to put me on the fucking spot. Okay. Two black guys walk into a bar. They sit down, they have a conversation, they order drinks, they pay their tab, and they leave peacefully. And then a white guy comes in. So that's a joke. So yeah, you know what? So I, I so realized a, after I told so that's that. A, so that's a joke. So, I, I did so, not mean so it that, like that. So I did a, not mean so, it like so that. So the fact that they were civil. Oh, uh, I did so not mean it like that. Bill you know what? Like normal people is a joke to you. I did not mean see, it like that. See, I did not. Do you, guys, see, do you see what I, I, swear do you see what I mean? God, where, guys, I did not mean it like that. Do you see like I, what I mean where I'm coming from when I say <laughs> Steven doesn't even know what he's talking about? He's just shooting himself in the foot right now. Either something's funny or it's not. And that joke was pretty offensive. That wasn't a joke. I was purposely not telling a joke. I but thought it, you were telling a joke. It ended up being... See, look. And you told a really offensive joke that I thought was pretty offensive. Are you offended? I'm offended for the black people in I, the chat. I, you know what? I, on God, I did not even mean it for it to say... It wasn't even offensive. It was cringe. Thank you, Zell. See what happens, thank though? You. See what happens when you think about comedy too hard? It's like, either it's funny... Or it's not. Let's not sit here and try to think of hypothetical examples of two black guy walks into a bar. Like, it's just like, is it funny or is it not funny? That was not funny. It wasn't supposed you to be You see what I mean? It wasn't like, supposed to be a joke, though. It was. And no, it wasn't. Comedy is as simple as that. <laughs> where it's just it wasn't. Like, it, that wasn't funny. That wasn't supposed to you be a I mean? joke. That wasn't funny. What was that supposed to be? I was purposefully going to not tell a joke and then in the end i realized i was like wait a minute i just see what i did i didn't pur i didn't purposely do that so if we've learned anything i did not purposely is that do that stop thinking about comedy stop thinking about the ethics of comedy and just say stuff that's funny i think i was proven right in this whole example wow oh. I really came full circle for it. I actually blame Skynut for telling me to make up the joke on the spot. I blame him. I blame him. See, I, something like that would have never slipped out of my mouth because I don't think, I don't overthink shit like that. You know what I mean, it's like, Steven was just like, his, his mind was like drowning. Like he had no idea what was even going on or what he was saying. Dude, it's hard to make up a joke on the spot, man. You it's missed hard. the joke? It's hard. It's hard. You, you don't want to hear it. It's hard, man. Oh, oh, JC, JC missed the joke. Yeah. I just lost a lot of people, JC, JC. Jack's turn to tell a joke. Yeah, all right, Jack. Steven was trying to tell a joke that was an example of a joke that's not funny, and he ended up sounding racist. Like, <laughs> I, like, I couldn't, like, I was, you know what? It was so weird. I was purposefully playing it so safe that I sounded extremely racist. It was weird. I can't believe that just happened. I can, like, I swear to God, I did not purposely do that. I was purposefully going to be retardedly safe, and it ended up not being safe. Yeah. That's how it happens. Jesus Christ, man. That was bad. Ox yeah, you know what? It's the oxies. It's overthinking it's shit. It's the oxies, man. yeah. I thought this was a safe space. Me too. Me too. Slasher CW. Continuing his membership for 26 months. Said, hope you all been doing well. Still going strong, my guys. Hell yeah, Slasher CW. Thank you for 26 months, my guy. Thank you, Slasher. That's wild. That's wild. Appreciate you, my guy. You went too far left, Steven. I, 
Bro. Two black guys walk into a bar in a predominantly racist town. They take a seat at the table and wait for the bartender. The bartender never shows up. They assumed it was because the bartender was a racist. Then they realized that the bar was closed. See, it's hard to tell. <laughs> it's hard telling a joke, isn't it, man? It's hard. <laughs> That's why it should just be funny. Zell just said black people barely tip. I've never worked. I've never been a server, so I I have I don't I don't I don't know about that, Zell. I don't know about that. You know, is that true? Is that for people who have worked in the service industry? Is that true? I've heard uh, Asian people don't tip well either. JC JC confirmed that that's not true. Well, Zell, do you tip well? Famous J James said that is true. Not gonna lie. Black guys tip me well in the dispensary, LMAO. She said, I do. Well, there you go. There you go. And you're black, so black people tip fine. That's an individual thing. That's an individual thing. You know, Pace doesn't tip. Hmm. It's true. My friend who was a server told me blacks well, don't tip. <laughs> I, uh, I worked in the tip and service industry for quite some time, and the, in the restaurant industry in general. And when I was a cook... And I worked at the most like liberal, tolerant, diverse restaurants in the inner cities. And I remember watching the servers take turns. Um, like when a, when there was a black table, it's just like, oh, well, it's your turn. Whoa. In the most liberal area. Jesus Christ. Downtown Indianapolis in the liberal arts district. Nobody said anything racial, but it was just like an un it was just like an unspoken thing where it was just like, well yeah, we're gonna take turns with all with that. Because because of the low tips? Yeah. Wow. I mean anybody who's worked in the service industry But in that doesn't United, make wait, you were and that, wasn't it like a nice restaurant? Yeah, it, like I said, it was it was really nice. It was diverse, it was liberal, it was very inclusive. Like I think pretty much every single person I worked with voted for Obama. Like every single person. So they all voted for Obama. But they voted for Obama, but then they took rock took, paper scissors. Then they over. rock paper scissors for who had to serve the black table. Jesus Christ! I'm not kidding. Well, no, wait, guys, wait, let's guys, not forget. Let's I'll not just forget. tell it how it is. Who brought this I'll up? Tell to begin, how it who is. Who brought this up to begin with? Zell. Zell was the first person who said black people don't. Tell. I'm just saying. Who is Zell? Is black. I'm just saying. And you know what I have seen also? Some black people tip really well. Because they know that it's a stereotype. Mm. Some black people are like, you know, look like, you know, they're almost like apologizing for other black people. I right. swear. It's crazy. Right. I saw it when I worked, uh, when I delivered pizza. Is it like when an Asian guy gets like really buff? Like, yeah. Yeah. It's like, it, what? <laughs> sure. Uh, it, I remember one time I delivered pizza to, to a black guy and he was teaching his children to tip me. He would have his children, his young children tip me to teach nice. like, hey, look, like you tip. Yeah. You know, because some people really hate the bad reputation. They hate, no. you know, that people say that about right. black people, you know, right. so, you know, you can't, you can't just, you know, discriminate entire uh, against an entire group because it's like some people are trying to prove that wrong. Right. Some people are like, well, no, I'm one of the best tippers because... Of that stereotype. Or like the white people that try to prove like extra hard that they're not racist. It's like they go really out of their way. Right. To show that they're not racist. And, and they also like don't want to, they don't want to pass that, that quality on to the next generation. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. They're trying to be a good uh, role model. And I, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Hmm. But you know, uh, one time, um, I don't even want to tell because I don't no, even want to no, tell stories. Yeah, I don't even want to tell yeah, stories, yeah. but everybody knows it is what it is, man. Like, it, like it's funny because if you work in the restaurant industry, everybody is so non-discriminatory about it. No servers are not sitting there like saying racist stuff about black people because they don't because certain black people don't tip well. It's just people embrace the reality of it. And right. people will talk about it openly too. No. Like even with black people, I mean, there's black people in the chat right now. Some black people agree, some black, black people disagree, but no. you know, it definitely is a topic. No. Greg said, okay, next topic. Oh, was that too, uh, wasn't even an edgy, 
Was that really edgy? Was that Aza edgy Flores subject? said Aza Flores said that his experience, uh, Eastern Europeans and Mexicans don't tip well. You know, some of mm. the best tipping groups that I've had have been Mexicans. I don't know what it is, but I've had really, really positive tipping experiences with Mexicans. But maybe that's just me. Steven, do you tip well? I tip very well. I don't go out I don't go out to eat very often. I look at that as a going out to eat to me is a treat. It is a special occasion. And so I tip very, very well when I go out. If I went out to eat, I I feel like the people who don't tip well are people that just go out to eat constantly. So if they, I, I think they look at it from like, wow, you know, I go out to eat five days a week. If I don't tip, I'm going to save thousands of dollars a year. I don't eat out five days a week. So I can't. How do you, uh, how do you feel about people who come to our country and they think that they shouldn't have to follow the rules because they weren't born here? All right. So let me tell you something right now. I said I was never in the service industry. I was in the service industry. I was a, a server for like three weeks. For like three weeks, I worked at a bistro. It was called Something Something Bistro. Um, this tiny little restaurant. Served pretty good food though, actually. Pretty good food. And I served white people, black people, Mexican, Chinese, everybody. I never ever made a correlation between black people not being good tippers. I never noticed that. I always thought black people, white people, Mexicans, they all tipped fine. I will say though, and I'm just saying, one time, a group of like 10 Asian dudes walked in. It was like 10 Asian dudes and like three women. We had to put together like five tables. It was such a big party. And they all had like suits on. I think they were all like engineers or some shit. They were like, they worked at like Cummins or something like that. And they they all, probably figured that gratuity was included. Included, you know, a lot of times when you have a, a big group, well, hold on, hold on, you want to do auto gratuity well, wait, wait, so wait. that they automatically have to pay. Their bill ended up being, it probably ended up being like a three hundred dollar bill. It was like three hundred dollars. Should you have know. put auto gratuity on that. I, they all tipped. They all tipped, like, a quarter. 75 cents. I've had experiences like that. Yeah. Maybe a dollar. Maybe like a nickel. I ended up making like three or four dollars off of that $300 table. Like they all straight up like went in their pockets and found like the loose change. I swear to God there was pennies. There was fucking pennies on that table. And um, yeah. Yeah. So that was the only experience. I'm not saying it's because they were Asian. But I'm just saying, when I look back at when I was a server, that was the only experience I ever had like now, that. Now, do you think that these people who come to America, you know, they spend all this money and time and come to this country, do you think that they're pleading ignorance? Or do you think that they just think that they shouldn't have to follow the rules? Well, pleading ignorance. Yeah, they're just like, oh, I didn't know. I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's a little bit of, I think, especially the ones that have been there for so long, when they come here and they hear that, like, I think in their mind, they're like, that's not my responsibility. I'm paying for my bill. I'm not paying for you. The restaurant should be paying, paying you. Go get a yeah, better see, job. See, I, I, think that's I agree with Baba Booey. I think it's a little bit of both where they know that our tip, they know our tipping culture and they're choosing to ignore it because they think that they understand the way. And yeah. I think that's a real problem. I think if you're not from the United States and you come here uh, and you don't want to tip, don't go out to eat. Brandon Ram Just don't go out to eat. Brandon Ramsey said, a good friend of mine from high school says in Asia, tipping is sort of a way of saying you need to find a new job. Damn. No, but like, you, you know how I feel? When I go to another country... I follow their customs and their culture. Wow. And if you don't, if you want to come to my country and you want to disrespect my customs and culture, then I'm going to disrespect you too. Jack care to play a quick best of three match of Millie. 10 members. If I lose one member, if I win, oh, you, I'm down, you know, better to go against big dog. Now I'm down, you? Brandon, dude, I'll tell you what, Brandon, I know you're going to play Jack. Afterwards, though, consider me 
I'm still like, I'm like withdrawing from the opioids, dude. Like, like beating me right now would be like kicking a kitten. It would be easy. It would be easy, my guy. You could, you could, you could take me down easily right now. My, my, my guard is down. My brain is in slow motion. No more tip talk. Time for the Brandon show. True. You like, I genuinely think though Americans are way too polite about how foreigners deal with our tip, our tipping situation. It's just like, oh, well. What, what can you say though? You know, like, if, like if you you're get like, nasty to them. If you're the server, yeah. I mean, won't you get fired? No, like that. That should just be our that. We should have a backbone as a people to just be like, nah. Like you guys aren't welcome back. No. You know what I mean? Like take to like the country or like, to the restaurant. Like do what Marco Pierre Pierre White would do. Marco Pierre White would say, well, you guys aren't good guests, so you're not really welcome here. No. You know, yeah. like, and it is what it is. It's like, there is such thing as a bad guest. You know, the customer is not always right. I just, the customer is often wrong. To me, it's like, don't you just feel like a piece of shit? Like if you, if you don't leave a good tip, like, don't you just, especially if it's like you had a good meal, it was good service. Everything went, went well. No, they think it's fine. Don't you feel just like a fucking, well, in my country, that's fine. Shit? So it's okay, mate. Like, damn, dude. Some people have no shame. You know what? That's what it is. I have a lot of shame. Like, I feel shame. I feel embarrassment. Like, it's just crazy. I, I, I just it's couldn't. just crazy how when an American goes over to Europe, we just let Europeans talk shit to us and run us over. And then when people come to our country, we do nothing but respect and admire them. And they just treat us like garbage. And like, I just don't stand for that type of shit. You know what I mean? Like when I see a, a fucking, when I see people just walking over, you know, culture and acting like they don't have to do what everyone else does, I think that's fucked. Like, I don't respect people like that. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Americans are way too polite to foreigners. Two black guys walk into a bar. They sit down, eat their meals, pay their bill and leave peacefully. Then they both robbed a convenience store and died in a shootout with the police. Uh, Norm? That does sound like a Norm McDonald joke. Yeah. You know what, Norm? It wasn't funny. That, you know what? That it, wasn't, it wasn't funny, but that was in the spirit of Norm McDonald. That was in the spirit of Norm McDonald. That was in the spirit. No, nothing can silence a room like Norm. Yeah. Hi, Stephen. You want to know bad comedy? Amy Schumer. Would still smash, though. Yeah, I think I follow all that. Bad comedy, not funny, but I would still smash. Yeah, yeah, I think I... Yeah, I'm, I'm in line with that. I'm in line with that. I agree. I agree. Absolutely. In fact, it kind of reminds me of the whole radio bit of Norm Macdonald talking about Ugh, how... There's been too much Rachel talk. I don't know, even talk about that. Save it for Friday. Okay, you know what, Save it right. for Friday. Don't, don't even you're talk right. about it. Don't right. even talk about it. It's, but it's but Nor much. Norm has done comedy like this before. Yeah. Norm, Norm has done comedy like this before. Yeah. And I'm not going to get into it just because I don't want you get to guys, guys to think that we're like fixated on this because it's just a topic of discussion. And then when we start talking about something, the chat amplifies it and echoes it. And yeah. I'm trying to play Melee against Brandon. Yeah. Let's just say Norm... Norm knows how to make people uncomfortable, and that's what's funny about him. Yeah. There's something funny about people being uncomfortable. Yeah. You know? You can't you can't discount the value of people being uncomfortable. Anyways, nice light blue shirt, big dog. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, my guy. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It is a nice blue shirt. Nice light blue shirt. Appreciate that, my guy. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Bro, wear the Sekiro shirt. I wore it all day yesterday. It's filled with my opioid sweat and shame. That's my opioid shirt from now on, Shams. That's my shirt of shame. Now, I'll, next time it gets washed, I'll wear it on stream. I'll wear it on stream, man. For sure. For sure. Is that J JHNSB shirt? Yeah, JHNSB actually did send this shirt in, man. JHNSB did send this shirt in. It's a Carhartt shirt. Very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. I had never had a Carhartt shirt, but I really like them. They're made. They're built to last. You know what I mean? They're built to last. You know, sometimes people will goof on like super name brand, like oh, that's you know, like Adidas or Carhartt and all this shit. It's like you know what though? 
You buy one shirt like this, it lasts for for years and years. Or you could buy a bunch of shitty shirts that constantly get holes in them and rip and fade. And it's like you probably equals out to like the same, dude. <laughs> yeah. fuck was that? What was that shit? Mini! Choose your character! <laughs> they suck on sweaty days, though. Don't they stick to you with sweat? I mean... Captain Falcon! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Steven, will you be climbing Versus today? God, Zero. I wasn't going Ready? to, but uh, Go. yeah, I am. I got so pissed on Tuesday at that fucking part I'm on in the climbing game. I thought, you know what? I, I have to, man. Skynet said, apparently black people aren't good at Smash. Thoughts, Steven? I completely disagree. I completely There's a disagree. lot of black people who play Smash. Are there? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Steven, did you see Dan Schneider's apology video? Apology video? Isn't he in jail? Isn't he in jail or something? No, but he should be. He's not in jail? He's not in jail. Oh, I saw that. It was wild. It's in response to the Nickelodeon docu that came out this week. Oh my god. He made an apology video? Show me a move. Show me a move. I'm gonna have to check that out later, man. I already feel about Drake Bell and others. I already feel gross from it, but I'll watch it. I, I already feel just like the sticky, sweaty grossness from the video, but we'll still check it out. He had a foot fetish. Why are people so fixated on his foot fetish? He was a child molester. Like, who? He, a foot fetish? He, he molested children. I think his foot fetish is kind of a, uh, an afterthought, isn't it? I'm telling you, quiet on set will intrigue you, Steve. So don't pour it like that, Timothy. I'll check it out, though. I'll check it out. It will intrigue me. He did weird foot stuff on all the shows. I keep going back and forth if I want to watch that or not. It's like... I don't know. Rest in peace, Nickelodeon. You know what, though? Honestly, I watch... Most of the Nickelodeon shows I watch were like the animated ones anyway, where nobody was molested. Like, you know, like Spongebob and Fairly Odd Parents and uh, stuff like that. Cat Dog. I didn't watch too many of the uh, live action shows. Although I did watch Strange Josh. I will say that. There's a weird John Wayne Gacy connection. I still not see what that's all about. John Wayne Gacy. Why is everyone being sus? Uh, and Jack, you're the most sus guy in the chat, man. You're the most sus guy here, brother. Plague Parker, I don't know if you're trolling Plague Parker, but uh, Brandon is not owning me. He is Zelda, and I am Captain Falcon. That's not Peach. I know that the pink dress princesses look similar, though. You little polecat. Versus Zelda. Ready? I always got a Drake and Josh vibe for you guys, lol. You go, Versus Zelda. Ready? Go! Why, why is he backing out of Fountain? What are we doing here? We played Pokemon. He's trying to take me to Temple. We're not playing Temple, bro. You're just going to have to get good at the game. Nobody who's good at this game plays Temple. I'm sorry. It's banned. Like, 
It's just straight up a competitively banned map. Versus Zelda. Ready? Go! Brokus is trying to take me to the temple. Show me a move. Jack, stop gaslighting Europeans. Nickelodeon's game shows were amazing. What were, was one called Temple Run? No, it wasn't, it, uh... Omex Temple or something. What was that one called, guys? Legend of the Hidden Temple. Legend of the Hidden Temple. Oh, I love Legend Go of the Hidden Temple, team. bro. Go Barracuda Team. That sh I wanted to be on that show so bad. Yeah, that was a cool show. Go Purple Parrots. Dude, you rooted for the Purple Parrots? Nah, it was all about the Barracudas. Wasn't there like the green monkeys too? Was it the green monkeys? I never liked Full House. Full House is an abomination. Full House is an absolute abomination. The only good thing about Full House is the theme song. Everywhere you love. Oh, oh, get wrecked, son. Get wrecked. What is wrong with Full House, Steve? Oh, it was a comedy that wasn't funny. It was a comedy. I mean, they had a laugh track and everything. It was supposed to be funny. And there was absolutely nothing funny about it. It just tried to be cute. And uh, it was bad. It was just bad. What about Family Matters? I never watched that one. The song was, yeah, the song was good. What about Attic House? Show me a move. Boy Meets World, never watched it. When I was a kid, I mostly enjoyed animated stuff, man. Like, I liked, like, Spongebob and all, like, the Nickelodeon cartoons and all the cartoon that Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I like the so older stuff, like Johnny Bravo. That was my shit. Uh, I just wiped the floor with a man. I just wiped the floor. There you go, I think man. it's not you, Brandon. It's me. It's not you. It's me, man. You know what, Brandon? You know what happened? Elden Ring pissed me off. And it like it, it lit this fire inside of me. I've been like riding on that Elden Ring rage. Yeah, Jack Jack refuses to do the mail. Jack is a, a strictly magic uh, purist. I am a magic and summoning build. Yeah, I am an intelligence build. Yeah, you think the the melee is garbage in Elden Ring? It's just not for me. Brandon Ramsey, thank you for the ten gifted waffle memberships, my guy. Good man. <laughs> I Give appreciate man, that. Notice how, notice how he didn't try to double up today. He didn't. He didn't. Well, I, I didn't. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to sink you like that, man. I think it's kind of effed up because I didn't even have a yachak yerba today. I just had hot yerb. Wow. I had a hot yerb. Wow. I think he's saving it for me because he knows I'm withdrawing from the opioids. Oh, he's, true. He's wanting to kick the lion true. in the balls while he's down. While the lion's down with his legs spread, he's wanting to because he knows I'm weak right now. Brandon knows he could F me up right now because because of the opioids. Micah withdrawal. said he avoided Ed, Ed, Nettie like a plague. Why? What? Wait, wh why did you avoid it like a plague? Micah, that Did you like not like the way it looked or something? That was like one of the best ones, dude. That was like cartoon Because I, I could see someone yeah. saying, oh, it was an ugly animation. God, it was so good though. I could see somebody saying that. Dude, though. Ed Ed Nettie. Right. I mean, was obviously S -tier. it's the best, but that was S tier, bro. 
I'm think, just surprised I've never heard somebody like say that. He said he guessed so. He probably never really gave it a chance. Yeah. And like every time he saw it, he was just like, ugh. Yeah. Like, why do those Kanker sisters look like that? God, it was so good. I get it. I totally get it. Though. I knew I knew a lot of parents that hated it. See, Skynet said the same. He said never watch it because the art style looked gross, but bad choice. Oh, man. Eddie yeah. Eddie was such a good one, dude. It, it aged well. Yeah. I'll tell you another one that aged really well that shocked me. I watched it in like the last year. I rewatched it. Dude, Dexter's Laboratory is funny oh, yeah, that's as great one. fuck. Yeah, Dexter's it, Laboratory, dude, that's S tier too. It is so goddamn funny, though. Mm -hmm. Like, it shot... I don't remember it being so funny. Right, there's a lot of like, adult humor. It, it's it's incredible. There's a lot of adult humor. Samurai Jack is really good. Yeah, I like to watch that, mm -hmm. like, late at night. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a, like, uh, I'm about to go to bed type of vibe. You know what show was always too ugly for me to enjoy? Like, Ed, Ed and Eddie was, like, purposefully ugly, so I enjoyed it, but... A show that like tried to not be ugly, I think, but still just what as told by Ginger. Oh, don't talk about that. As show. told We're by talking about Ginger, good shows. man. We're talking that about was good an shows. ugly show. I you know what? It might have been a good show. No, it wasn't. But every time I would try to watch it, I looking at the people, I just wanted to vomit. Brandon Ramsey said that he loved that uh he loved um not sure which one he's talking about, but he said um he Courage the Cowardly Dog was his favorite. You know, it's funny because I remember when I was a kid, I used to say that Courage was my favorite as well. I, there's something really, like, alluring about the creepy stuff to me. Yeah. You know, it's probably for the same reason why I like uh, Majora's Mask so much. Yeah. You know, I, it's just something about that creepy vibe. It's great. Yeah, Cur Courage is a good one. Rogi likes Courage the Cowardly Dog. You know, Silent Hill, Silent Hill. I probably love that game so much just because it's so, like, it's just creepy. Yeah. Brandon, were you wanting to do a best of three, my guy? I think he backed out. I think he Wow. Left. Do, do I have Brandon scared of me now after last game? I, I knew I shouldn't have gone that hard. I think I think I think I scared him after, after last game. this set that Brandon and I, Brandon and I ha had, yeah. it's like back to the drawing board. Right. You know, cuz it's like, okay, I kind of rocked him without even really trying that hard with Falcon and like your Martha's beating him pretty consistently. Yeah. So it's like he might need a character change. Right. You know, I'm, I'm thinking, Tim, uh, not Timothy, uh, Brandon might be to that point where he needs to uh, switch characters. Yeah. And I'm just going to say, he said, if you want to play one match for five, I'm down. Let's okay. Let's do it. Yeah, cool. Let's do it, Brandon. Uh, NC said, did you show Rogi the scariest <laughs> episode of Courage yet? Well, that depends what your definition of scariest Return is. the slab. Is that the scariest, though? Return. Yeah, that is. Return the slabs know, is scariest, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it is. As, as a kid, for sure. Go. Choose your character. Versus. This is just one match. Zelda. Yeah, he said Ready? one match for five. Go. You know, I think it's really cool that Brandon has, like, got into Slippy and he's been one to play Melee recently. Mm -hmm. You know, because, yeah. man, I hate Brawl so much. <laughs> I really do. Really? I, really I do. genuinely just hate that fucking game. And I think I, it finally got through to Brandon. I think I, I finally broke through and I was just like, bro, it's just, it's bad. It's a bad game. Sham said Brawl is the best match in my opinion. I've, I mean, there's a lot of people that think that, man. There's a lot of people that think that. I understand why. You know I understand what's, why. You know what's funny? Wait, Jive. I gotta know. Jive. Do you really, like, love Elden Ring's melee combat, or were you just memeing on me earlier? Dude, that's not a meme. That people love no, Elden Ring's no. meme. Why would no. that be a meme? I'm just, I'm just asking, because Jive likes to meme. Jive likes no. to meme. I guarantee you not meme. I love it. He I said, know. I think it's good. Okay, because here's what I wanted to say. Because when I was criticizing Elden Ring's melee combat, Jive was like, well, it must be a skill issue. Right. I beat all the bosses in four to five tries. 
I have a boss. Yeah. Everything that I fought, I beat in four or five You times. only fought two or three bosses, didn't you? But like, hey. I wasn't struggling. I was steamrolling the game. I was steamrolling the game. I just didn't like the play style. See, I, I, I'll say I'm I'm probably six or seven bosses in, and I love the combat. Jive said if you want to block or parry, make a shield build. But you can only block or parry humanoids. And you can only block or parry certain attacks. It's pretty much a super niche thing that's obsolete for majority of the game. So it's like I could create a whole buckler parry build and it wouldn't even it wouldn't even matter because most of the bosses you can't parry their attacks anyways. It's more realistic. You shouldn't be able to- I'm in right. oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now Jive's me, man. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. So if someone, if, yeah, if, if a 30 foot monster has a giant hammer and he smashes you with it, you should be able to parry but that. Like, but like, pe but, but like, Elden but that's Ring, more weight Elden Ring isn't like a realism game. I mean, uh... No, 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 no. Because because I heard the, the guy who the guy who developed Steam like the CEO of Steam Gabe Newell or whatever mm -hmm. he went I learned listened to Gabe go on a whole debate about how realistic if you're saying you want a realistic game you don't understand the first thing about video games like you don't you just don't even understand anything right. if you're like oh well it's good because it's realistic it's like no thank you for like, the five brandon thank you very much my guy appreciate well, you well, why do, so so if you like if you like that big monsters beat you down so much because it's so realistic why don't you like the l why do why don't you dislike the things about elden ring that are unrealistic because i could i could write you a grocery list of things about elden ring that are unrealistic but you only seem to care Money about monsters. it when it applies to a specific argument I just think it makes sense if some giant thing is smashing a giant hammer on you that you can't just like parry that. I mean, that makes sense that you would have to roll out of the way. I mean, like, it. No. Okay, so the game that's fine, but you just have to realize what kind of game you're making. So it's like, from a design standpoint, you have now created a game that rewards defensive playstyle, which that's fine. Like, if you like a defensive uh, melee combat, then I think that's great. I like aggressive melee combat, and I like combat that rewards you for playing aggressive in a correct way. Play I way. haven't found that in Elden Ring. And I, I've, You'll love I, I, I've read the entire Reddit. I've read everyone's opinions, everything everyone had to say, and you can't. I can't play the game with melee how I want to play the game. I'm not able to have fun. How long have you been playing it with Magic now? Uh, I just started this morning playing it with Magic. And you enjoy it more like that? Way more. It's just mm -hmm. way more fun. Okay. You know what's fun about using Magic and Elden Ring? Number one, that's what makes the game unique, is that the Magic is so accessible, and you can cast a lot of spells and actually kill bosses and like carry yourself through the game with Magic. Are you going to do summons? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And But what's really cool is that there's different spells for different uses. So it's like, oh, you have a really aggressive boss, you know, this spell is better. Oh, you have a boss that's kind of stationary, this spell's better. Right. Um, you know, etc. cetera. No. I like Dark Souls 3 the most. I've heard quite a few people say Dark Souls 3 is their favorite. Like, the bosses are, like, the best in that one. I have no idea. I've never played any of the Dark Souls. I would say, if, if I could parry the big monsters in Elden Ring, and there was more of a window to punish them, if they didn't just swing aimlessly 24-7, I would enjoy the game so much more. Yeah. I really would. Like, it just feels like it was just, like, not that thought out. Like, it's just the same Dark Souls combat system, but with way harder bosses on Elden Ring. Which yeah. is just, your character doesn't feel like he's strong enough. I'll say, I'm, like I said, I'm probably, I probably killed four or five, maybe six bosses so far. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm doing no summoning, no magic. Just I have a giant sword. I'm you know it's I, I, I never block. I only like roll. I I, I just. It's roll. so funny because the first time that I played Elden Ring, it was the first Souls like that I actually sat there and played for a minute. No. I felt exactly like how you did. No. I was like I'm a purist. I don't use magic and summoning. 
I'm enjoying the game and I love it. And I felt exactly how you do. No. After playing Dark Souls One and Lies of P, I'm a different. I'm a different player now. Hmm. I'm a different player. I've played dex builds. I've played defensive. I've played bleed builds. I've played poke and run away. I've done it all. I've done all that melee shit, and it's just, like, not fun to me anymore. Damn. You need to play Sekiro, man. Oh, That's I know a, I would love Sekiro. That'll be your favorite. I think that'll be your favorite. I'm, I will like Liza P more than Sekiro, but... How do you know that? you never played Liza it. Because Liza P has, like, a, like a better story. Oh. I'm just saying, I, like... Well, what? What do you mean? Like, has a better story. Yeah, Neo Wiz comes up with like better story design than than FromSoft. Jeez. FromSoft FromSoft isn't big on story. Damn. I'm just saying, Damn. like, like I, I I I value the story of a game too. Is that crazy? Yeah. Like, Damn. I don't think Dark Souls like has much of a story. Like, Se Sekiro, Sekiro is the one I'm talking about. Sekiro has a story. Okay. It's not like I would be surprised if it's better than Liza P. Maybe. I'd be surprised. Maybe. I think you'll like the combat better in Sekiro. I do. Go for all the endings in Sekiro. Maybe I will. But no, it's just, uh, I will say now that I'm on the enlightened path and I'm an intelligence build in Elden Ring, I'm loving the game. I'm loving the game. I'm kind of treating the game like... How, like, a level one defense pure who's a mage and runescape would. I'm like, well, I want to complete the hardest quests at the lowest level. You know what I mean? It's like, well, I want to have access to this spell, but I have to travel across the map as, like, a, new, as like a low level. Right. You know what I mean? And I've already done that. Like, I've already um, gotten a really good, uh, like, staff and some spells just by being low level and doing a lot of exploration. Yeah. I thought Elden Ring has a good lore. It's just not in your face with cutscenes and dialogue. I've actually heard a lot of people say they love the story and the lore of Elden Ring. Honestly, I mean, I've talked to some NPCs. I mean, I'm still really, really, really early in the game. I really haven't caught on to much yet. I'm Bro, not gonna lie. Like, I, I haven't caught on to much. I'm just really enjoying the gameplay. Like the from exploring. from soft tries to be so cryptic and ambiguous with their story that I end up not caring about the story because it's like, well, just explain it to me a little bit instead of being so secretive and everything is just this mystery. I kind of like and, that though. I think that's kind of like, cool. And, and like, but that's their style of making games. Like, and, I, and like, like, I can't think of certain, another game that does that. Right. That, that, and like, like do that. and there's a certain charm to it, but it gets to the point where I'll talk to somebody and I literally don't give a fuck what they just said. No. Like I pat, I click through everything that they said and it's like, well, yeah. In like, Elden Ring? Yeah. Really? I really like Damn. Like and I try to pay attention, yeah. but it's like, well, y'all aren't making any sense. Like right. in my opinion, I, I try to listen to it and it's like none of what anybody says makes any fucking sense at all. Damn. Like Damn. It, it, maybe I'm just dumb and it's really hard and it's and it's easy to follow and I'm not following it, but like yeah. <laughs> I mean that might be it. It, mu it must be a brain problem. It might be it. Just like how me not liking the combat or the melee combat is a skill problem. Yeah. Maybe. You're too dumb and you're too I'm dumb. I'm too and dumb and I'm too unskilled <laughs> to enjoy the game. That that's the I'm gonna go put my oatmeal on the Yeah, the if you have any criticisms about Elden Ring, that's what the fan base will come to the conclusion of is that you're just too dumb and you're just suck at the game. You suck <laughs> it. But mostly it's mostly stupidity. <laughs> it's mostly just being dumb. <laughs> Yeah, you're a tarnished. That's the story. Every single person that I walk up to is like, yeah, you're a new tarnished. Thank you? What the fuck is a tarnished? Now, I know what a tarnished is, though. A tarnished is just some nobody, but I got one of the flicks of the golden, of the, of the, El the, the, the Elden Ring or whatever. Did I say you're dumb? No, that's not what I'm saying. I watched the intro, though, you know? Uh, all of these, like, fucking demigod royal people 
all got like uh, their share of the power from the ring or whatever. And I was like the only commoner that um, was able to get lucky and that, that little gold piece of gold landed in my hand. Um, I get the story. There's just not a lot to work with. You know, I need a maiden to guide me so that I can become powerful. I get it. I get it. But what was up with that witch lady? The witch lady at the Church of Ella. What the fuck was she talking about? I have no idea. You know? Couldn't tell you. Jack, did you read my DM about my uh, how my life may be ruined? I was starting the stream just as I pulled up your message, Tim. And I have not read it yet, no. I have not read it. But I promise I will read it. I just don't, I just don't want you think, I just don't want, I just don't think you want me to talk about it on stream, probably. Everything's going to be okay, though. Everything's going to be all right. I haven't even read the message yet. If you do that's fine, it sucks ass. That's fine. It sounds like a personal thing. I don't want people in the chat to get involved with, you know, something that's stressing you out in your personal life. Well, I'll just I'll leave it between me and you. I'll leave it between oh. me and you. Uh, but I think somebody's suing Tim for some reason and Tim's Tim's a little stressed out about it. Uh -oh. Everything's gonna be okay. Hey, we got your back hey, we got Atticus Finch, man. Tim said okay. I mean, unless you want me to read this shit on stream, Tim. Two different parties. Yeah, I, I I don't even know about it yet, but I can read it if you want. Pray for Tim, my guys. Pray for Tim. Poor Tim. Effed up world, my guy. Effed up world. Sham says, Tim, I got your back. We all got your back, Tim. We all got your back. Whoa, Amber's in the chat? Eliminate her. Amber said, okay, so what happened? Ooh, this is awkward. Uh, you wanna, wanna show her the board? It's a little, uh, Amber. Ooh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. Oh my God. Oh no, baby, it wasn't supposed to happen like that. Oh no. She finally got up. Yeah, man, she's taking one of them California naps. Man, I feel bad for Joseph Rock, though. I feel bad. You know, he was trying to step in and, like, defend his girl. And it just backfired immediately. I like said, it backfired so he hard. He got cracked on the leg with a bat and Saucy grabbed and said, don't be a fucking hero. That is fucked up, man. That is fucked up. I do feel bad. I do feel bad. SMH 300 for nothing. I wouldn't say that, NC. Now, I wouldn't go that far. You know, it supports your boys. It's a money wasted. All right, y'all need to calm down. No, it went to a good cause. It went to a good cause. It did. Look, we're setting aside money to replace Mama Choir's second knee. Yeah. Okay? I think everybody just needs to calm the fuck down. Um, to turn your lower body into a cyborg is not cheap. Yeah. It's not cheap, guys. Yeah. Uh, let's not let's not beat around the bush here. It's crazy. You know, we're not making it out of Lincoln Logs. You know, this is like um, high-tech stuff. Wait, did the, did the new Stardew update happen? I believe so. I don't huh. know. I thought was, I logged in. It I was didn't... supposed to happen a, a couple days ago, I thought. Um, hmm. But, I mean, it, it might be behind in Nintendo Switch world because, you no, know. No, Nintendo Switch world. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, that's for, like, you know, yeah. people who wear helmets, so. Yeah, casuals. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the new Meat Canyon Cassia video yet? No, uh, but that is a tradition with us. When There's a new Meat Canyon when uh, Meat Canyon drops a new video, we typically watch it. So uh, I'd be down to check it out. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, my guy. Let's check it out. Let's do it, my guy. Did you fight Brandon? Did I black it out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I blacked it out. Four stocked him. Blacked it out. All right, let's check out the new Meat Canyon, my guys. It's called Fat Shaming a Streamer. Wow. This is like, oh, you know what? 
Just picture me I don't as know this who guy. This is. Picture me as this guy, my guy. Oops. So yeah, I don't know who the streamer is either, but let's check it out. It's only three minutes. It's only three minutes. Who is this supposed to be, by the way? Ca Cas Casio, the streamer? Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. You never heard of him? No. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Fork Floyd? Oh, yep, you're banned. Who said Snack Carlo? Get that guy out of here. Ace Ventura, okay, banned. <laughs> Meal Talica? Oh, bro, bro. <laughs> oh. Tyler the Inflator? Oh, bro. Huh? Timmy, what's wrong? My phone! It's too heavy, Mom! It's too heavy! You. Okay, so here, just well, hold on. I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you. Just hold on. Phoenix, Arizona has sunk it in on itself. Government officials have not released a statement as to why this could have happened. But billions of lives have been lost. My monitor just fell through the floor watching this guy? Okay, buddy. Banned! ただいま You're getting too big. If you grow anymore, you will implode the earth and destroy humanity as we know it. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Banned. Y'all called the military? Are you serious, bro? Come on, banned! The density of this madness, it, it's reaching critical mass. If this continues, it will create a chain reaction resulting in a black hole. Not only humanity will perish, but a very galaxy as well. <laughs> It was our fault. So why is his phone heavy? I don't know. We provoked him, and now we're all going to die. No, 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 sweetie, don't say that. Don't say that. We did this, Mom. We did he's this. Fat. Because he's so fat. I have no idea who they're making fun of, and even if I did, I don't think it would be funny. Like, this whole video is a... <laughs> he's fat. Like that's that's this is three minutes of <laughs> he's fat. Could you apply this to any fat guy? That's what the issue is. That's Man, dude, the fact that like this video went over well, damn, Meat Canyon can just like print money now, man. That's crazy. Okay. What the fuck? I want to see what this guy looks like. What's his name? Cass Cassio. I mean, is this is this guy? I mean, everybody's fat. I mean, it's 2024 America, bro. Everyone's fat. I mean, is this guy really that fat? There he is. He, look, he is wearing a very similar looking... Uh... Let's pull up a picture of him. I mean, this dude must just be giant. Every picture is like, it's just his head. Where's his body? I mean, there's... He don't even look that fat. She's an average fat guy, yeah, man. Like, he... What are we talking about here? All right, moving on. Yeah, he's just a fat dude. That's bizarre. Okay. He's just a fat guy. Huh. Sometimes the Meat Canyon videos, like, hit harder than they've ever hit. <sighs> like, when I watched, like, the XQC video or the, um... 
Who's the fucking guy who hosts um, Family Feud now? Steve Harvey. The Steve Harvey one. Some of them are just like fucking 10 out of 10. Yeah. And that one to me was just like... Yeah. What? The, I think the good ones outweigh the mid ones tenfold though. Yeah, they like, do. There's way more good ones than there. And these and his videos actually take like effort and shit. So if he, when he drops a mid one, I'm not just like, oh man, he fell off. He fell, you know, it's just kind of like, yeah, that one just wasn't very good. That one just wasn't very good. And that was definitely one that wasn't very good, in my opinion. In my, but keep in mind, I never watched that streamer before, but that kind of seemed to be the, uh, you know. I like the pumpkin spice latte one and the Steve Harvey one. The Steve Harvey one was fucking hilarious. The um, uh, Andrew Tate one was extremely... The fucking Andrew Tate one was great. Yeah. Uh, the one where the guy has trouble taking a shit in public... That one was amazing. They turned it into like a, a Japanese horror. Uh, that was amazing. Um, I mean, he mostly, I mean, Me Canyon, nine out of ten times hits the target. Just that one, one very good. That one, one very good, but whatever. The Ron Jeremy one is my favorite. I don't think I've seen that Ron Jeremy one. Filler episode. Yeah, everyone, dude, I guess I look at it even if like a. Uh, you know, there are shows that have millions and millions and millions, billions of dollars pumped into them, like The Simpsons, and that show sucks now. So it's just kind of like, hey man, if a show with, with, with hundreds of highly paid writers and billions of dollars pumped into it, Meet Canyon, it's okay. It's okay to not have everyone be a 10 out of 10. Play the Steve Harvey one. Eh, we've played it. I've, we've played that one a couple times on stream, actually. I've seen that enough. I've seen it enough, you know. Hmm. Bob the Builder, I vaguely remember that one. I remember the uh, the uh, Blues Clues one being really fucked up. The Blues Clues one was pretty fucked up. Some of them are just like super. I feel like there hasn't been like a really dark one in a while. You know what I mean? They're all dark. No, but I mean some of them are like. Well, some of them are like really fucking. Bro, because he dark. got like, got in trouble for the Looney Tunes one, didn't he? Yeah, that one got taken off. I remember he used to be edgier. Yeah, used to be a little edgier. The XQC one. That one wasn't even that dark. No, no, I'm I'm talking about dark at like the um. This isn't even one of my favorite ones, but I thought the uh, Willy Wonka one was really dark. That's not one of my favorite ones, but that was a really, really dark one. If you remember, remember uh, uh, Charlie's grandpa. It turns out Charlie's grandpa like sold Charlie to Willy Wonka to be like a masseuse boy. Remember that? Yeah, that was a fucking dark one. I remember that. Wasn't even one of my favorite ones. The pickleball one. That one was okay. That one was okay. The Toy Story one was dark. The Space Jam one I thought was just hilarious. But that I think the Space Jam one was the first one I ever watched. The one with LeBron James and all the Looney Tunes are wanting him to bang Bugs Bunny. That was a or no no no, Bugs they're all wanting Bugs Bunny to bang to like bang uh, LeBron James. That was a funny one. That was a funny one. Look up the SpongeBob one. We've seen we've seen them all. I mean we've seen them all. SpongeBob that's like a that's an old one. That was like one of his first ones. J. Roy. Steven, you should make an OnlyFans, but instead of posting explicit content, I want you to post pics of your Jay-Z crack pipe lips. Much love, heart. Thank you for the five, uh, J. Roy. Uh, no. No, that's, um, that won't be happening. That will not be happening. Thank you. Thank you. People are saying the Toy Story one. Do you remember a Toy Story one? I don't remember. Let me, let me pop that up. I don't remember a Toy Story one. It's not. I feel like I would remember that. It's not ringing a bell. Me Canyon, Toy Story. Two years ago. Let's check this one out. Yeah, I don't remember this. I never watched this one. <laughs> and goddamn. I want you to move. I want you to move for me. 
if you don't respond, I'm gonna start killing all of your friends here. Move for me, Woody. Move for me. Do you think that I'm fucking playing? <laughs> I saw you, Woody! I saw you in the toys playing with Sid! My toys were alive, and they were playing with my next door neighbor. And not me. <laughs> my childhood. My whole life was knowing <laughs> that my toys were alive. But they didn't want to be alive around me. <laughs> no, they're not, they're the hero, <laughs> Move for me! I knew it. <laughs> knew you were alive, Woody. Woody, I knew it. I, 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 I. <laughs> you have cancer, Andy. When we reveal ourselves to be alive to humans, they contract cancer. You got cancer, Andy. Sorry, pal. Didn't you ever wonder where Sid went? He moved. He, Mom said he moved. He moved to heaven, Andy. <laughs> he got cancer and died. I know that you just found out that you have cancer, but it feels so nice being able to talk to you finally. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do this? I don't want to, Andy, but you forced my hand. I had to look out for my partners. It's like looking into the face of an angel, Andy. It's too much for humans. You don't come back from infinity, Andy. <laughs> oh my god, bro! <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I can't believe I've never seen this one. This is. This, See, is, this is like instantly one of my favorites. See, when, when, when I said they used to be darker, this is what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, they used to be way darker. Everything was, you've got cancer, you're being raped, like literally everything. Hey, I got a second channel called. Jesus Christ. It's like, I'm going to give Andy cancer. All right, that. Make him cough up blood. That one, <laughs> that one made up for the new one. That made up for the new one. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. See, that was a good one. <gasps> Holy shit, that was fucking funny. That was a good one. Jesus Christ. You don't come back from an <laughs> I love how that was the only line that Buzz Lightyear had uh, in the entire fucking thing. You forced my hand. <laughs> it's like uh, looking bro. into the face of an angel. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, Woody was giving me like Timothy Wagner vibes there. <laughs> She's like, we had to give you cancer, Steven. There it's was nothing else we it. could do. You forced my hand. You forced my hand, pal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that was a good one. I like that one. I like Timothy that one. said, wow, Jack. I like that one. <laughs> Watch the Willy Wonka one again. I don't even think the Willy Wonka one is that great, honestly. It was just dark. Like, I remember thinking the Willy Wonka one was just okay. It was just, but it was very dark. It was very, very dark. You know. To infinity and beyond, buddy. To infinity and beyond. I'm trying to make amends. Timoth Timoth oh, Muffy. Muffy said, I'm trying to make amends here. Then kind of like a sweaty, smiley face. The sweaty, smiley face kind of almost makes it like a threat. Like, hey, I'm trying to be a good guy here, but you're about to force my hand. Wow. Wow. Shave your face again, Steven. I, I always say no, but then I, I will. I will. Don't forget, Timothy, you're not unbannable. It's just that I'm the only one that can ban you now. Yeah. Yeah. Some people forget that. They get they get kind of power hungry once they get like that twelve hundred dollar shield, and they don't know. What would he have to do though for you to ban him? Again? He said, "Yeah, but we're good, right, Jack?" Yeah, no, no, we're good. We're good. It was just that you just said something that was kind of weird in the chat, but it's okay. I feel like, you know, we're all just trying to have a good time here and stuff. And, ah, oh, you old polecat. And that little buckery oh, down there. Ah, you old polecat. That little buckery down there. 
What's somebody's bounty when Jack bans them? Oh, you, there is no coming back from that, actually. Mm, wow. Oh. Muffy wants to know what he said. Now, we're all just having a good time here. Yeah, we're all having now, fun. Now, we're all having a good time. We're all having fun. We're all having fun here. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Hubert! Thank you for the subscription, my guy. Thank you. Just remember, Timothy. We're coming back from infinity. What Starker, the Wonka movie or Squirrel Boys sold? Do a poll. You know what my vote is. Or how about the lies that you continue to spread, Hillers? How about the lies that you continue... Oh, yeah, I'm dark. You've gone way darker than me, bub. You've gone way darker than me, uh, Mr. Hillers. Come on, my guy. Come on. I will put up a poll, but it's not going to be that. I thought you said you were going to play both or something. And you I had me make you. I specifically asked you like 10 different times. I am. And then you had me make a thumb. Oh, which one you're playing first? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I just want to see where people's heads are at. Just curious. No. Just curious. No. I thought you quit Skyrim. I did not quit Skyrim. I played it like a week ago, bub, and I got a bunch of arrows. I'm ready to. I'm trying. I'm ready to go on, man. So it's like an ultimatum. It's just like, well, I'm gonna play climbing game, or I'm gonna quit Skyrim, and I'm gonna quit Skyrim. No, I'm playing both. I'm playing Skyrim and climbing game today. I just want to see what the preference is. I'm just curious, my guy. I'm just curious. That's sad that you decided to give up. Finish the climbing. Finishing the climbing game today, man. I'll tell you what, bro. The climbing game, so we can hear you rage. Dude, that spot I'm on in the climbing game is so effing annoying. It's driving Steven, crazy. say sorry to Andrew. All he said was go away. Andrew? Ah, it's really hard, because I can apologize, but I don't mean it. I don't mean it. Did I say, what was, okay, what was the worst thing I said? Okay, Andrew said, told me to go away, which is hurtful. And then what did I say to Andrew that was so bad? Did I, I mean, did I not, it, I... From what I remember, it was kind of a tit for tat. From from what I remember, it was kind of a tit for tat. I don't think I went above and beyond the context of the conversations. Nothing bad, Steve. I didn't say anything bad. Yeah. I didn't say anything bad to Andrew. Yeah. He told me to go away. Then I said some stuff. And now we're even Steven. It got blown out of proportion. It did. It did. It got way, 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 way... Blown out of proportion, my guy. Absolutely. Me and, me, and, me and Andrew, we're cool now. Man, Me and Andrew, just a couple of dudes. Just a couple of dudes, my guy. Absolutely. All right, so 51 votes. I think that's enough. Uh, the silly climbing game once, so that's what I'll play first. It's official, the climbing game. Yeah, I will be playing the climbing game first, my guy. Why not? Why not? Let's let's flush this turd. I have a feeling this happens. I don't know if this happens with you in video games. It's not even just video games, but other aspects of life where you keep trying at something over and over and over and over and over and over, and, over, and then you just go to sleep and wake up the next day and you can do it almost instantly. You ever get that? You do what now? Where you try something over and over and over and over and you keep <laughs> failing, and then when you go to sleep and then wake up the next day and then you can do it pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. That happens to me with video games all the time. I can't wait for Steven to fail the same jump 1,000 times. Oh, no, that won't happen. If, if, I, no, 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 no. It's not going to happen. I'm either going to make it or I'm not. You are at the equivalent at the getting over it anvil. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so, so I'm, I'm up there then. The anvil is far up there. The anvil is far, 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 f is far up there. So, uh, um, yeah. Well, Friendly Mushroom said I'm 75% of the way up. So apparently it's not a very long game. At least you're past the orange. The orange never gave me trouble. That wasn't that wasn't where I struggled. I yeah, struggled. At least you're past the orange. No, man. getting I know like the the orange table was that was well, never. It's the, not. That spot. It wasn't the orange. It was right immediately what was after it. That wasn't the part that I struggled on again. Yeah, that right. that was the part that I struggled on. I struggled at the anvil. It was it was, it was the rocks above the orange. Yeah. 
the rocks above the orange exactly are completely fucked about. up. There is still the ice mountain. Yeah, I struggled at the ice mountain and I struggled at the anvil. That whole last I section. I did the is anvil in like my first try. Dude, the anvil gave me hell. The and anvil, the ice mountain didn't really. I didn't really struggle that I hard wouldn't either. say the ice mountain gave me hell, but I struggled on it for a minute. But yeah. No. You struggled at the very beginning with that jump. The very beginning. The very beginning is like the tree and shit. Well, really, the, the the hardest part of the game is the very beginning, just because that's when you're first getting used to the controls. And that really is the most awkward. The most awkward part of getting over it is when you very first start playing it. That's that's the hardest part, is just getting it to where it doesn't or feel Or when you terrible. take a day break and you get back on and your sensitivity is different. Yeah. That fucked with me so fucking hard, dude. John Parsaint Helmo's fire. Thank you. Aza already sending in the instrumental request for the effing, um, for the, uh, for the climbing game, my guy. Let's do it. Motivational song for Steven. I'm gonna, guys, I'm gonna need some motivational songs. I am gonna need some motivational songs. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let me, let me write that down. Let me write that down, Aza. Let me write that down, my guy. Ugh. Um, is there a pen? Yeah, there's a bunch of pens. Okay, let's do this. John Parr, St. Elmo's Fire. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Aza. Man of the Year, Schoolboy Q. I haven't listened to Schoolboy Q in a minute, man. I like Schoolboy Q. I like Schoolboy Q. What's that song he has? Uh... Two door coupe hopping out like Jack in the Box. I even miss. What's the name of that song? Something Juice. Two door coupe hopping out like Jack in the Box. I'm gonna shoot. If he's. God, he just dropped a new album. Did he? Schoolboy Q did? Nice. It had been a minute. It had been a minute, my guy. The Num Num Juice. Yep. JC, JC, JC got it. Num Num Juice. I love that song. I love that song. Steven, what are you cooking today? Me and Jack are going to get it to where we can have the I can have the laptop down there and that way I can like see you guys and interact with you guys and hear the donations. So when we come back, the Tuesday after we come back, we're bringing back the cooking segment and it'll be fully realized. It'll be fully realized, my guy. You guys see the two new photos for Beetlejuice 2? Oh, did not. Did not. Yum yum juice. Is it yum yum? No, I think it's num num juice. Wasn't it? I can't remember. What will the comeback dish be? I don't know. I don't know. What did what happened with pizza? Oh yeah, you know what? P pizza would be a good one. Pizza would be a fun one. I'd be pretty pretty easy and fun. Yeah, so pizza. We'll do pizza. That that'll be my comeback dish is uh effing pizza, my guy. I love pizza. Everybody loves pizza. I've always wanted to make my own pizza pie. Nice, I can't wait. It'll be fun. It'll be fun, Tim Litter. Landmines, some 41. Oh, thank you. Landmines by some 41. Thank you very much. Just don't put too much toppings like Jack. I'm going to make a pepper. I just want, I just want to make a pepperoni pizza. I pepperoni made, pizza. That's I it. made a pizza the other day, and it, was, uh, it had smoked mozzarella, pancetta. Mozzarella. Smoked mozzarella, What's pancetta, and pepperoni on it. Little miniature pepperonis. Yeah. I squirted some hot honey on that shit. Yeah. And uh, it was way too many ingredients. Yeah. Oh. That's not what I was expecting. No, it was delicious. It, oh. was, it was like the best pizza I've ever had. Jack. Steven. I'm a changed man now. Does that mean you guys will unblock my number? It's all in the past, my guys unblock my number. I'm not asking, I'm telling. This may or may not be a threat. I'm here. Open the front door. The plan is now underway, TikTok. Okay, thank you, Moffy. Moffy is more violent than Timothy. Colby said honey on pizza, interesting. Hot honey on pizza has made its way into New York City. That's mm. pretty common now. Mm. Um, having a hot honey slice. Yeah. Oh man, hot honey on a on a piece of fried chicken. Oh my god. 
There is just nothing like it. To me, there is no sauce. There is no sauce you can put on a chicken wing that is better than just getting a super crispy like chicken leg and putting just hot honey on I it. I think hot honey. Oh. I think hot honey is even better on pepperoni pizza. I agree with Jive. Oh Something God. about hot honey and pepperoni is mm -hmm. just like ridiculously good. Mm -hmm. And when you have those miniature pepperonis that sort of turn into like a little a little cup no. for the honey to pool inside of. It's ridiculous, dude. It's fucking ridiculous. What's your favorite pizza place? Mine is Imus Pizza in St. Louis. M.O. Favorite pizza place? Bro, we don't have good pizza places around here. You, ha you have to, like... Am I exactly when I say that we just don't have good pizza places? The best here? pizza that I can get is frozen. Yeah, I mean, we really... Like, I eat the shipped from Italy pizza. Like, it sat, and I'm typically not someone who says, oh, you can't get good uh, so-and-so at this entire... I think it sat, people sound dumb typically when they say shit like that. When I say you cannot get really good pizza around here, I'm not lying. Yeah, like, it's just, you, you can't. You can't. Like the, you can't. Like, the best slice w uh, in our area, Dave Portnoy would probably give it, like, a 7-1. He'd be like, oh, yeah, like, it's decent. It's a 7 1. Sham said Marco's Pizza is kind of good. Marco's. That's where I worked. Was it good? Like, it's good, but it makes your stomach hurt because they use that fucking glyphosate wheat. Mm. They use that fucking gay frog wheat. Moffy said Zwanzig's was great, Steve. I think Zwanzig's is, is, is. That's what I would consider, like, the best pizza. Zwanzig's? Yeah. I think so, too. I think Zwan Enzo's and I think used to Dave be my favorite. Give that a seven. Yeah, I, I think Zwanzig's is pretty good. Plus, Zwanzig's is just like a nice place to eat at. They have like a bunch of beer options, and it's just like a nice place. I, I like Zwanzig's. Yeah, I bet I could make better pizza than I could buy anywhere. Yeah. Would Gordon Ramsay approve of your cooking? Depends on what, man. I think Gordon Ramsay would approve of my steak and my fried chicken. But um, other than that, probably not, man. Other than that, probably not. I don't know. I know he like even like my eggs, which I make. I constantly make eggs. But Gordon Ramsay makes his like. Uh, have you ever seen Gordon Ramsay's uh, egg eggs? Like his scrambled eggs. Yeah, they're all fucking raw and liquidy. Yeah. And disgusting. <laughs> so I don't think he would like my eggs. Oh, I cook my eggs. Disgusting. <laughs> he undercooks the fuck out of them. And then he puts them on like a piece of toast. He whips them. Yeah, and puts like creme fraiche in them. Puts like cream fresh in them. Like Gordon Ramsay's like he makes really good TV shows, but like I'm not a fan of his personal recipes. Like his beef Wellington recipe is really good, but like have y'all seen the fucking Gordon Ramsay grilled cheese video? No. Huh? You haven't seen this meme before? Uh. -uh. He couldn't even make a grilled cheese, bro. Did you see when Gordon Ramsay went on Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, not Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, and had Jimmy Kimmel make his eggs? No. And, the, and the whole time Jimmy was just like, dude, they're like raw. And he's like, try them, taste them. And he's like, they're raw. No, seriously, Gordon, he's a fucking showman, and he's so perfect for TV. No. But like, half the shit he cooks is whack, guys. Let's be honest. Like... All right, wait, wait, be honest. I, I, do you think We're you're probably going to get taken down for this? Do Let you me... think you're a better cook than Gordon Ramsay? Don't lie. Stop. Do you? Stop. Do you think you're a better cook than Gordon Ramsay? I think in a professional kitchen, he could thrive better than I could. No, 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 no. I'm talking about in just like a at home. home. Yeah. I think I might be. He might have worked so long in the professional sector that I might be a better home cook. Wow. Just based on the shit that he puts out there. I'm just, and it's like, I'm not just talking shit. Like I'm judging him on the Jesus fruits of his Christ. labor. See, it's just like when you try to criticize Elden Ring, it's like, oh, you can't criticize Gordon Ramsay. It's like, it's well, impossible. I, didn't, no, no, I said, do you think you're a better home cook is what I said. I didn't say criticize Well, well you tell me, look at his grilled cheese. You tell me. And kimchi, which is gonna give and the secret behind this grilled cheese is somewhat almost. Okay. Well, the well, what's he outside. putting? What's, what's, he, what's he doing? I need to know. What he, was that butter? Locally. Baked cheese. Now look at that. Get this. 
I mean, so beautiful. So I'm gonna just cut nice big long slices so I can take off. Like that is not a melting cheese. Like l let's just be honest. What is it? It's way too thick. It's some aged fucking European piece of shit. The rind, easily. Okay, and those pepper berries. It's like, for a grilled cheese, you want to use a young cheese. That is, like, that cheese has been aged for like two years. Right. Like, it's way too hard to ever, if you're not going to grate it or anything. I'm going to make the cheese a little bit spicy. I mean, the... come on. I mean... So beautiful. What what a complete melon. The, what a complete melon. Again, again, down. And literally cut off the rind. So like when people ask me, oh, do you and think that you're there, a better home cook than Grant than Gordon Ramsay? I want you guys to just come and to this, this video. Half again. So these nice I don't fuck up like this in the kitchen. Luscious, I don't. Almost like Never do I fuck up this bad. Mini bricks of cheese. And look at that. And that pepperberry is incredible. See, now the bread. The what bread kind of cheese food. is He that? could be, bro, he could literally be like cutting up a log of dog shit and stuffing it inside the intestines of like a cat. And his voice is just like, it makes you feel good. You know what I mean? Like, Gordon has a place. He has a place. I'm not saying Gordon's a bad man. Cheese is to make sure the bread. It's not too thin. Look at that. The beautiful locally. Dr. Sue said he's an authoritative Brit. Actually, he's Scottish, and I hear people fuck that up now, literally every single time. From there, it'll be a butter. It's okay. such a common fuck up I'm that he doesn't even correct people. Butter heavily on the outside. You'll see why, especially when you get that nice, crispy. You know what texture. I want to know? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, so I've seen a couple. He said Scottish is British, bro. But I've seen no, a, it's not. I've seen a couple of his cooking tutorials. Why does he always act like he's in a rush? And he's like knocking over shit. He's like, like why? Like he, it gives me like like he's his voice sounds called. Why is he always in such a fucking rush? What is that? Why does he always seem like 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 something's about to burn? Something's about to again. No, just... It's not the same thing, guys. Because br I've literally w watched Gordon correct people when he call when people say that he's British. He's like, no, actually, I'm Scottish. So like, no, you guys are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> people will try to try to debunk literally every word that comes out of my mouth, and it's just like uh, some things I'm just right about. Like, sorry. Season the outside. <laughs> With some salt. And then from there, layer your cheese and sort of almost... So for those who are struggling with the concept, I'll explain. Scotland equals Scottish. Britain equals British. All right, let's continue. In a way that it becomes somewhat almost fitted to the bread. And the secret behind I this... I feel like there's a lot of cheese. There's a little bit of... Kimchi. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa! What? <laughs> wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait! Look, look! I don't give a shit about the kimchi. Kimchi, look, a kim cheese on a grilled cheese? No, 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 that's a known thing. That's a known thing. Putting kimchi yeah, on a grilled yeah, cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. Look, look, look. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call out what needs to be called out. Scottish are not British. So, like, if you're putting kimchi on your grilled cheese, that's fine. I don't really care. Like. Kimchi and, and cheese is, is good. And it's actually a known thing that goes together. But that cheese is way too thick and way too aged. Wait a minute. The problem is the cheese. Dr. Seuss said, Scotland is a part of Britain. Complicated, I know. Wow. Dr. Seuss has a major issue with you. He, he is not going to let this one go, bub. He's not going to let this one go. I think you're, I think you're talking about the United Kingdom. I think when you say that it's in Britain, you mean that Scotland and Britain are both in the UK. I think that's what you mean. Speak up, Dr. Seuss, or forever hold your peace, my guy. Don't wait for don't wait for Gordon Ramsay to start putting the lamb sauce on before you say something. 
Britain is the UK. They are interchangeable. You mean England when you say different from Scotland. So you're saying that Britain is in is in Britain. Like y'all y'all try to argue about shit that just doesn't even exist. Okay, let's just continue. Let's just continue here. Kimchi, which is gonna give a nice spicy texture. He said no Scotland is in Britain. Now the acidity in this kimchi. Google it. Alright, let's Google it. Let's Google it, guys. <laughs> Jive said you're trolling. Okay, so I was getting Britain and England confused. I thought that England was Britain. So but you like, were wrong. To be honest with you... Say you were wrong. To be honest with you, though, I don't really give a shit. Say you were wrong. Say it. Say you were wrong. Say I was wrong. <laughs> Bro, I literally just pulled it up and I just show I just showed everyone what Google but said. But can you what? say you were wrong? All right, I'm gonna leave now. Oh come, on, Jack! We didn't even finish the grilled cheese, dude. He said he hasn't put the lamb sauce on. He hasn't even put the doctor, Doctor Seuss, Jive. This is your doing. This is your doing, my guys. Motherfuckers! Alright, everybody thank Dr. Seuss. Motherfucker! Fuck! Is this because I said walk it in my pocket is mid? I guarantee you, when I first said walk it in my pocket is mid, he got this look on his face and it never went away. It never went away. Fuck, man. Fuck. Nathan was hidden by Waffle Pwn. What did... Uh, okay. Jack just banned somebody in the chat. I want to see what they said. They said... Typical American geography education laughing face. That bummed you out? That God, I was expecting something more personal than that. He got banned for that. Bro, you can't ban Nathan for laughing at our uh, America's geography lessons. Look, I mean, I'm American. My geography is terrible. So maybe there's something to it. Maybe there's something to it. You know? Bro, my geography's fine. I just literally don't give a shit what's going on in Great Britain. I mean, like, who, like, who cares? Damn. Damn. Jack, whenever Brit, whenever the UK gets brought up or Britain, Jack does get spicy about it. What is your spiciness towards the Brits, Jack? Where does this stem from? Jack undoubtedly has a spiciness towards the Brits. He does. He does. I don't know what... For someone who drinks tea as much as him, he definitely has a spiciness towards the Brits. It stems from Harry Potter. Maybe. He was an American Revolution soldier in his past life. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, my guy. Maybe. How do you feel about Brits? I'm pretty neutral, man. I'm pretty neutral. I don't know. Virginia L said they are arrogant pricks usually. Damn! Damn! Holy shit. JC, JC. Num num juice schoolboy Q. Thank you very much, JC, JC. Appreciate that. Thank you. Num num juice. Num num juice. Morphe. That Muffy. Donna wasn't me. Morphe is all about trimming the fat from my previous devious ways. I am not at the door. 
or the wood line. Wow. I am enjoying the stream from an undisclosed location that may or may not be within 14 miles of your domicile. Like a normal guy. Okay, that sounds pretty normal. Still Splinter continuing his membership. For uh, Oh, he just became a member. Still Splinter became a mentor. Mentor. Still Splinter became a mentor. Still Splinter became a member. Thank you very much, my guy. I appreciate you. Dr. This Seuss. is all Gordon Ramsay's fault. This is all Gordon Ramsay's fault. Thank you for the five, Dr. Seuss. I, I hold it 50-50 responsibility. I'm man enough to admit there's 50% 50, 50 responsibility here, and I'm giving it 50% to Gordon and the other 50% to Dr. Seuss. I'm man enough to admit that. That that's responsible for Jack storming off. Fifty percent to Gordon, fifty percent to Dr. Seuss. Oh, and zero percent your fault, huh? Convenient. If it was, I would admit it. If it was part of my fault, I would admit it. You just had to make him admit he was wrong. SMH. Well, no, actually, you told him to Google it, so you, which made him show it was wrong in front of the whole stream. So it was actually kind of you. I was just wanting to watch a grilled cheese video. I wanted nothing to do with the UK Scottish talk. I I don't have a pony in that race. I know nothing. I'm so dumb when it comes to geography. I didn't have a pony in that race, my guy. You know? Maverick said, I said Google it. All right, well, and now you, Maverick, are about to get timed out. Maverick, so um, hmm. maybe you'll think about that next time. All right, I'm putting you in a timeout for five minutes. Sorry. Blood must be spilt. Blood must be spilt. Sorry. Jeez. Hey, I can be cruel. I'm going through opioid withdrawals. I can be cruel. Andrew Crump. Thank you for your subscription, my guy. All right, let's see. So according to Jack, the kimchi is not even the sin that Gordon commits on this grilled cheese. I want to see what else he does to it. Incredible. I will say, though, I don't see that cheese melting. I don't see it. I don't see that cheese melting without the bread just turning into, like, dust. Like, how, how is he going to perfectly cook that bread and melt that cheese? The grilled cheese, the grilled sandwich is probably good, to be honest. It doesn't look very good. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm pretty open-minded. It looks like he's putting, like, a funky cheese on it, and then he's putting kimchi on it. But once it's been well, let's cooked, see, though. Let's see. Breathtaking. Fold that over, and then from there, push that down. We're going to stick that in the oven. Look, a beautiful fireplace over there. Nice and warm. Touch of olive oil in. Do you think he really does this? Like when, when he's not shooting a video and he's just like, it's like a weekend and he has nothing to do. Do you think he does this? Do you think he really does this? There is no fucking way Gordon Ramsay is cooking grilled cheese in his fireplace. Sometimes Gordon does shit that I feel like Gordon would yell at somebody for or call them a donkey. Like, couldn't you see Gordon watching this and being like, the chimney, what are you trying to lure Santa Claus in? Santa eats cookies, not grilled cheese, you donkey! Why are you putting that cheese on there? You're trying to be too smart. Stick to the basics. Simple, rustic, basic. Like, I, I could see him yelling at somebody for this. Beautiful. Like, what? <laughs> what was be Listen, Did you hear that? Listen to this. He's, he's just pouring olive oil on a pan. Beautiful? What's what's beautiful? You're pouring olive oil on a pan. What the fuck are you even saying? 
I swear, he, 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 did he like go back and edit that in? I think he's going senile. <laughs> it's probably the best olive oil in the world. Yeah, you know what? It prob it's probably like a $300 bottle of olive oil. Temperature up. Just lightly. Starting to smoke. Rest on the side. Push that down. Nice. Lift up. And also, if I'm making a grilled cheese, I don't think I would use olive oil. Yeah, okay. Tim Winter just said olive oil is like the worst choice of oil for a grilled cheese. That's what I'm thinking. I would either use butter or mayonnaise. Butter or mayonnaise to cook a... I know people are going to say mayonnaise, uh, but no, you can use but, you can use mayo to, to, to cook a grilled cheese, and you would not know. Even if you dislike mayo, you could use it. But um, butter. Butter. He had a giant tub of butter. What is he using that butter for? Why is he using olive oil? I think she's yours. No. As she cooks, start putting some weight on there. And just pushing that down. <laughs> and, he's, and he needs low heat, not a raging fire. I was just thinking that. When he put it on, it, it was like he put a ribeye on a pan. The way it was sizzling. It's like, bro, you have this much cheese... He used a lot of oil because it will burn fast with a small because it will burn fast with a small amount of oil. I mean, is that cheese gonna melt? Turn it over. Push that down. That way it gets nice and crispy. <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful. Too much inside. And then once you've colored... I, th I bet when he takes a shit in the morning, he looks down in the bowl and goes, Beautiful. That was a uh, braised lamb chop with chocolate sauce. Both sides back... And my perfect digestive system beautifully turned it into feces. Down. Beautiful. And just place your spatula on top and push down. Now Gordon can't admit when he fucked up. I do feel like... Okay, right here. Hold on. When he flips it over, and you see that, like, look, I'm all for charred. I don't want char on my grilled cheese, personally. I think he overdid it on the lip of the bread. Watch how he, like, turns it so you can't see it. Watch this. Why else would he turn it like this? Watch this. Watch. Watch this. He's, like, hiding it. Look. 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 Look at it. Look. He hit it. He saw that, and he hit it. He hit that. He was like, oh shit. <clears throat> Beautiful. <laughs> Look, he's side. hiding that char. He's hiding it. Both sides back out. And just place your spatula on top and push down. And that helps to get the cheese nicely melted. That is incredible. The kimchi with that incredible cheese, especially with that pepperberry, is just gonna be a wonderful combination. And also, it just helps elevate the flavor of that beautiful grilled cheese. Take that out. Turn that over. A grilled cheese isn't supposed to be beautiful, bub. Look, dude, it is not even kind of melted. It is not even kind of melted. It's cracking it away. Beautiful. Bro, take a shot every time he says beautiful. Take a shot every time he says beautiful. That beautiful grilled cheese. Take that out. Turn that over. Look. It's cracking it away. Beautiful. The cheese is melted. No, it ain't. And this. Yeah, how crispy that is. He's officially gone senile. Why does he keep saying beautiful? You just cut a grilled cheese in half. That's not beautiful. Stop saying that. You know, he's still, yeah, look, he's still hiding the burnt side. 
He is still hiding that burnt side. He's hiding it. It's not melted. Bro, he's trolling. He is fucking trolling. No, 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 no. So after watching this, so after watching He's this, trolling. Do you think that I'm a better home cook than Gordon Ramsay after watching this? What's your opinion? With a grilled cheese, yeah. You make a better grilled cheese. Rogi makes a better grilled cheese. But not, on not only do I make a better grilled cheese, I can admit when I fucked up. Is he hiding that burnt side? He, like, I, what I want to know is how can you improve and how can you get better when you're so delusional? Well, everything yeah, you make. I mean, how could he get better? If that's beautiful, then what's to improve upon? What's to improve? It's fucking beautiful. I think he's trolling. I think he's trolling, bro. He just said the cheese is nice and melted. Look. The cheese is a little brick. It's not only is it not melted, I bet it's like not even warm. Oh my goodness me. So I said, I don't forget. Oh my god. It's so real. What did he what did he say? What did he say? He said, is this all real? Did he say, is this all real? What, what did he say? It's so real. It's still very hot. That's what he said. It's so real. Oh, wow. Wow. Dude, my mind is just fucked. So people who thought he said it's surreal or it's so real, historical, dude, he says it's still very hot. Now I clearly hear him say it. This is like the uh, the Yanny thing. Listen to him. Hot bullshit. Listen to him. Bro, I did not hear him say. Man, my my brain is fucked. The cheese isn't melted, bro. Oh my god. That is incredible. Oh, that's still very hot. That pepper still very hot. The spicy. The acidity of that kimchi and that bread cooked in the open fire. Wow. I mean, it's so good. It almost makes me feel like I want to move to Tasmania. All right. I am not going to be making a, a pizza on Tasty Tuesday. I am going to make that grilled cheese. I am going to make that grilled cheese, my guys. I am going to make that effing grilled cheese the exact way he made it. And I want to see. Because, look, if I make a pizza, I know it's going to be good. I love pizza. Homemade pizza. Hey, bada bing, bada boom. I am making that grilled cheese. Is what I'm going to make on Tuesday. Bro, you should for real. No, 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 no. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I'm going to find those cheeses he was using. I'm going to get that bread. I'm going to get the kimchi. I'm, I'm going to cook it over a fire. I'm going to make it to where it's not melted. Just like he did. And although he clearly lies multiple times where he says, oh, it's melted. What kind of cheese was that? Let me see. Let's see. No, I'm follow it to a T. I'm going to follow it to a T. I grew up with it, that was cheese on toast, but there's something quite amazing for a grilled cheese, especially when you have these incredible cheeses. Uh, Aramana with pepperberry. Uh, Aramana with pepperberry? And uh, Asiago. And Asiago. There you go. Those are, I, I think Kroger will have both of those. Aramana, is that what he said? Berry. Uh, especially when you have these Incredible cheeses. Uh, Aramana with pepperberry. Aramana with pepperberry and Asiago. That doesn't sound too hard. And uh, Asiago. Beautiful. Slice. Everything's beautiful. I'm gonna make the Asiago again. These nice mini bread. The thing about a great grilled cheese is to make sure the bread is not too 
and I'll get that bread. Thin. I could find something similar. Romano Pecorino is what I think that is. We just have to get like the big blocks of it and we can just like cut, you know what I mean? And even though he says it's melted, it's clearly not. He said that will be disgusting. So Jack, you think that grilled cheese he made, clearly it's fucked up, but do you really think that that would be a disgusting grilled cheese? <laughs> I want to try it. I really want to try it. I really, really do. I want to try that grilled cheese. I know it will taste bad. That makes me want to make it even more. That makes me want to make it even more, my guy. Shouldn't Tasty Tuesdays be tasty? It's not worth it. I completely... Guillermo, no. It is worth it. I, for science, I want to see. Don't waste your money and time. Guys, I want to make that grilled cheese. I want to make that grilled cheese. It's like a personal thing. I, I think he's bullshitting. And that bread. Comes. When he's biting it and saying it's good. I just want to be f sh certain that he's bullshitting. The open fire. Wow. I mean, it's so good. It almost makes me feel like I want to move to Tasmania. That. Romano Pecorino is strong and funky, and it's a huge hunk, unmelted. We'll have to try it, man. Yeah, we're going to make a fire outside. That's what we're going to cook it on. Let's read the comments. Is, is The number one comment, well, not the number one, but this comment, I don't know why they're not like, oh, it's because they have a check mark. It is absolutely wild that he can look at a solid cheese and call it beautiful melted cheese. That is my only... Okay, there's multiple issues. My number one thing that I'm genuinely weirded out by is him saying the cheese is melted when it's not. Like, I, why is he saying that? Why is he saying... Why does he say that the cheese is melted? Why does he say that? Real cheese. Why, Take why, it out. why does he say that? Turn that over. Look. I mean, you can see right there. It's cracking away. Beautiful. The cheese is melted. Like, why does he say that? I don't understand why he, because he embraces excuses instead of solutions. We must scrutinize Gordon's integrity moving forward. He denies reality. I mean, I just, I, he wants y'all to believe him. I, I, I'm just, I'm very confused, man. I mean, is there anybody defending this? That cheese, I, I knew there was going to be somebody that defended him. That cheese is a type that remains solid when it's melted. And this person spelt type, like a type of cheese, T-I-P-E. Gordon's, Gordon, grilled cheese implies that the cheese is actually fucking melted. The cheese has melted. Okay, so everyone else is triggered by that too. It remains solid when melted. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what that means. The cheese has melted. Bruh, that cheese has more structural integrity than my house. Burnt bread, unmelted thick cheese, overly spicy kimchi, vaporized olive oil. Gordon, beautiful. <laughs> you know what though? Thank God for the internet and thank God there are people who are willing to call that shit out, man. Yelia said 100% a troll video. When he called the cheese beautifully melted, I wondered that too. Eliya, that also crossed my mind. I thought, is he like fucking with, is he, is he trolling? But I feel like if he were to troll, he would be less subtle about it and make it more obvious. I mean, if this is a troll, this is a 200 IQ troll. You know what I mean? I feel like if he was trolling, he would have gone way, way further with it and made it more obvious I mean, I don't think he's trolling. I don't think he's trolling. There's just no way. He did. He did that shit, Eliah. He did. 
Imagine asking your mate for a grilled cheese and he spends like 10 to 15 minutes stoking a fire and talking about the acidity of his homemade kimchi before, before serving you a solid cheese on burnt bread. Dude, that would be so... Imagine like staying over at Gordon's house and him being like... <laughs> and him being like, I'm going to bring you a grilled cheese. And being like, oh my God, Gordon Ramsay is about to make me a grilled cheese. This is about to be the best fucking grilled cheese. And he comes out with fucking kimchi on burnt bread with unmelted funky cheese. And then you have to eat it. You know what I mean? You would have to, you can't just take a bite and be like, eh, eh. you know what I mean? It's fucking Gordon Ramsay. So then you just have to like, I would anyway, I would just fucking shovel that shit down and maybe like. Be like, hey, look at that, and like stuff it in it like his plant or something. I don't know, man. He tried to do a redemption and screwed that up too. What the fuck? Damn. People making fun of Gordon for this simply do not understand how amazing of a chef he really is. It must take so much skill and experience to burn a sandwich without even melting the cheese inside it. Truly impressive. You know, people keep talking about the burnt bread. I actually, the bread was fine. I thought, okay, besides that little lip on the bread that was burnt, I thought the bread was perfect. I thought the way he toasted the bread was perfect, but the cheese stood no chance to melt. You know? I think the bread looks perfectly fine besides that little burnt end. You know, the bread looks, the bread looks perfect. It's the fucking... I don't know, man. That's wild. I bet the bread was too hard. Ah. Man. Man. I wouldn't mind the burnt bit if he didn't try to hide it. That does make it just hilarious. And I love how it wasn't even like edited at all. Like the way he just shits out videos, he's just like, ah, who cares? Just turn. I'm Gordon Ramsay. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Man. I want to make that grilled cheese, man. I do, but I don't. I do, but I don't. I am. You know what? I, I decided it. I'm making that grilled cheese. On the Tuesday we come back, the Tasty Tuesday, I am making that grilled cheese. That is what I'm doing. I'm writing it in my phone. Are you going to have a fire though? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, we'll have a fire. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why not? Is that next week? We are not streaming next week. It'll be the week after. Bro, you got to make it. What if it's good? I will make it. Build a chimney. We have a chimney. We have a fireplace and a chimney. We do. We do. And I'm, you know, I, I'm going to do it exactly how he did it. Let me uh, let me write that down in my notes. Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese. Let me write this down. Gordon Ramsay grilled cheese. It's done, my guy. Burn the side and hide it. I'm going to try to replicate that as well. I'll even yeah. I'll even have the one little burnt lip. Uh, everything. Everything. I fucking love pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack is one of my favorites too, man. I'll tell you what, I, I like making scrambled eggs and uh, pep melted pepper jack cheese in your scrambled eggs. Pepper jack and cheddar in your scrambled eggs is freaking good, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna burn a side of it and hide it. I'm gonna even gonna hide it in the video. We're gonna get it exact. I'm gonna call everything beautiful. I'm gonna study this video, you guys. I'm gonna study it. I'm gonna make sure I fuck up in the exact same way as he does. Absolutely. I don't see anybody defending this. That was wild, bro. That was wild. Someone said, okay, here, here's someone defending him. Someone comment, uh, a comment with 2,000 likes said, the cheese is melted. The cheese was in fact not melted. And then someone commented and said, yes, it was. It just wasn't stretchy, disgusting, processed American cheese. <laughs> Bro, you think only Kraft singles are the only cheese that melts? 
Yeah, and I have to say beautiful 32 times. Yeah, that was even worse than what I thought it was gonna be, man. I was expecting kind of a BS girl, but even like, you know, we'll watch like the four levels of, and Jack will like criticize the level three chef because you know it's like, oh well, they didn't even really make spaghetti. Oh, they didn't actually make a meatloaf. You know, they bastardized the dish. But I usually come out saying, but I would still want to try it. That still looked good. What Gordon did didn't even look good. Like, that did not even look kind of good. He fucked that up worse than any level 3 chef. Yeah. That was, like, unreal. That, that was un -effing real, my guy. I'm surprised that video only has 5 million views. I feel like that should be, like, a... That should be, like, a... At least in the 50 million. I know it's a big meme on, like, TikTok and YouTube shorts and stuff where, like, the cooking YouTubers, like, compare their grilled cheese to Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese. And yeah. it's just, like... I just can't believe that he did that. No. It, it is hard to believe that it's not some kind of April Fool's joke or some kind of practical prank or like no. it's not. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I, I'm going to recreate that sandwich and try it on stream. Absolutely. So are you, perp so you're just going to do everything? He everything he did. And super hot pan, <laughs> olive oil. No, I'm going to recreate it exactly how he did. I, I want to see... What that sandwich tasted like when he bit... I want to taste what he bit into and said was beautiful. I want to taste what he bit into. Exactly what I he bit I would be into. really curious if with those cheeses and the thickness that he cut them, if you could even get that to melt in the oven. I would be curious. Like, to see... I like, know. Like, would the bread turn into dust? Yes! Or, yes! Or would the cheese melt? Dude. I don't know. Dude. I, I think I think the bread would just disintegrate. Before I saw anything, and I saw how thick that cheese was cut, I knew. I was just like, well, that cheese is not going to melt. And you can even tell by looking at it. It's like, that's like a hard-looking cheese. Like, that shit's not going to melt. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, so... Hmm. Since it's such since it's such a simple dish, maybe while you're making it, I'll make another version of it and I'll try to make it good how I would make it. Right. Okay. Like, yeah. Like I'll use the Let's same I'll use the same ingredients. Yeah. Except I'll try to actually make it edible. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Use the Let's same cheese. I'll use the same kimchi and whatever. Yeah. But it'll be good. Yeah. Let's do it. I think it's possible. Yeah, Tim Leonard's a good idea. I think Jack needs to do a rescue. Yeah, you do a rescue of the grilled cheese. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll make it how it was in the video, and Jack will try to do it, but better. Like, I'll still use olive oil. I'll use all the ingredients that he did, but mm. I'll try to make it actually good. Yeah. Because I'm a, I'm a firm believer that it's more about the method of how you do something rather than the ingredients. I can't believe he cooked it on such a high... Cook, he made the pan so hot. I'm gonna cook like mine, I, I'm and put olive oil on yeah, it. I'm like, gonna cook mine in the oven. That was really weird. That was really really weird. It was like he had like a stroke or so. I, I don't know. That was really. <laughs> weird. I mean, was that not strange? The way that it almost seemed AI generated. How many times he said "beautiful"? Yeah. Did, did not. Did that? That was weird. It seemed AI generated. I pointed it out. And then he did it like five more times. Yeah. And then he did it like five well, more times. Well, 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 I came up with a pretty good explanation in the chat for why he said beautiful so many times. It's like a nervous tick. So, you know, he realizes, he, he knows how hard he had to cut down on that cheese. He knows that the cheese isn't melted. He's not an idiot. Mm -hmm. He opened it. He knows that he fucked it up. But his way of sort of coping with it is just like, he kind of, his brain turns into mush and he's just like, beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, right. cause he doesn't know how else to deal with it. Right. He doesn't know how else to be like, well, I really fucked this up. Let's just restart. Like, it's like, uh, it's like if you're eating a chick out and they're kind of like not reacting and you just go, God, I'm killing this. right now. <laughs> God, I'm killing this pussy. You know what I mean? It's like convincing them. I don't know, man. He's gaslighting himself. Yeah. I wonder if now, that, he wasn't gaslighting himself. He was trying to gaslight us. So, so do you think that what Gordon's, beh his behavior, do you think it might translate to the bedroom? 
Like, I, do you think? Do you think like he finishes in like one stroke, and he just thinks he's the fucking no, man? I think this is what happens. He, he's just like he's just like man. Like I think all their lovemaking sessions end with his wife sort of like sitting there reading a book in the corner, and he's like all sweaty uh, and red, and he goes, "Oh my god, I was amazing! I was amazing! <laughs> I was fantastic! Did you see my stamina there, there towards the end?" Did you see my stamina? Bro, did you see that move I did there at he, the end? He's got a full length mirror and he's like, he's above her and he's watching himself in the mirror. He's watching yeah. himself. Like like American Psycho and he's like, Lamb sauce! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, honey. Here comes the lamb sauce. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Oh man. Jesus Christ. No, I think his wife wakes up every morning with like a bed and breakfast. Like she wakes, like he gets up, he like, he doesn't sleep. And she wakes up with like a full bed and breakfast. And like on the corner, there's like a jar of his semen. And she has to like inseminate herself every morning to make another future Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> He's like, you know, turkey base, turkey base is in the, in the dishwasher. Inject yourself. Quick, clean, simple. Simple, rustic, turkey base to semen. <laughs> He's like 60. Dude, guys can have babies till they're like 100. That's some Meat Canyon shit. So yeah, instead of focusing on the fat streamer guy nobody knows, Meat Canyon should have done a Gordon... Has Wait, has Meat Canyon done Gordon Ramsay? Surely. He's... Ha okay, if Meat Canyon has never done Gordon Ramsay, he needs to get his priorities straight. Hold on. Let, uh, let, me, let me look at this. He's had to have. Meat Canyon Gordon... Ramsey. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Four years ago. It's called An Unexpected Dish. Kitchen Nightmare Parody. Alright, let's check this out. Would you Honestly, he could do a couple. Because there's been a, a couple people or cartoons that Meat Canyon has done a couple of them on. He could do a couple out of, out of Gordon Ramsay, I think. You know, it's not like one of those things where it's like, you already did a Gordon Ramsay. It's like, no, you could do a couple on him. You could do a couple. Bro, already the forehead is spot on. Literally 500 wrinkles on the forehead. He literally looks like a Meat Canyon character. Yeah, he didn't really... He didn't really make him that much uglier. He just kind of like did like a caricature of him. Like a fun caricature that you would get at like a theme park. Like it's like, ah, oh, that's kind of just like a little... I mean, that's not that mean. You know what I mean? I don't think I've seen this one. I don't think I have either. Let's check it out. Would you like salt and pepper, chef? No, thank you, darling. All right, here's the meatloaf. It's dry. Wait, Ugh. do you want to watch this one? Absolutely dreadful. Uh, sure. This is one of the, this is this is four years ago. This is an old one. Would you like salt and pepper, chef? No, thank you, darling. All right, here's the meatloaf. It's dry. Ugh. <laughs> Absolutely dreadful. Um, darling, I'm done with this dish. Thank you. No wonder this place isn't seeing any business. A lot of work to be done here for sure. Uh, excuse me, darling. What exactly is that? Oh, that is a um, chef's special piss and shit, uh, garnished by a fart. The chef wanted to send this out in regards to your critique on his meatloaf. Okay. Thank you, my darling. Oh, wow. Nice consistency. Great texture. Oh wow, beautiful color. Yeah, let's have a taste. Wow, absolutely brilliant. The piss is this tangy delight that really opens up the taste of this somewhat solid shit. Dude, this is such early Meat Canyon. It sounds like he's talking into like a rock band mic. Yeah. Does it not? This is like, this is giving me like, it's only four years old. Is this not giving you like 2008 YouTube vibes? Yeah, it is. This is giving me like 2008 YouTube vibes. Shit, and though it is very runny, it's it's rather brilliant. Excuse me, darling. Uh, can I see the chef? Right away, chef. Are you the chef that made me this dish? Uh, yes, chef. First you serve me a meatloaf drier than a cat's tongue. I'm thinking to myself, oi! I'm gonna have to kill my thumb and drive it in your fucking skull, braining you. Yes, chef. But then you serve me this angelic bowl of piss and shit. You really came through for me today. Thank you, chef. Right, well, with dishes like that on the menu, they don't need my help. They need time. 
time to spread their wings and take off like little doves that they are. Good luck, Sugarbug Cafe. Godspeed. Yeah, I'm not sure what really happened. Uh, Chef Gordon Ramsay just came in before the cameras were rolling and shit and pissed into a bowl, and then proceeded to put it in the fridge to not spoil. Then gave us each $13 to serve it to him on camera and say that it was my shit and piss. <laughs> All right. So that wasn't like the funniest kitchen uh, or kitchen nightmares. I love like the gentle acoustic strum Dude. in the background. Like as soon as he started talking about the piss and shit, it was just like this acoustic strum. Let me tell you something. I have watched many, many, many episodes of Kitchen Nightmares. And clearly, so has Meat Canyon. Like, he, like, killed the, like, like when, when they first bring out the, uh, the, the, the dish, and it makes, like, that, that Texas Chainsaw Massacre noise, this. All right. Here's the meatloaf. It's dry. Ugh. That, 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 perfect. Perfect. And when he's, like, talking to the camera, the real problem with this restaurant is, like, they, they killed it, man. They killed it. Not Meat's best work, not... It's not his best work, but this is like, this is for you. This is early. This is like early Meat Canyon. Wow, he has shit from six years ago. Holy shit. Oh, well, that, oh that's, there's a, this is a different Gordon Ramsay. Oh my. This is a, this is, <laughs> this is six years ago from a guy named Zico. Oh my God. The dogs burn! You're cooking in a burnt pan, you fucking dick! Oh my god, leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Just fucking leave it! You're gonna blow fire in your face, you fucking donkey! He brings that pissing over, and the big surprise is the fucking bass is fucking raw! What the fuck is going on? Where's the lamb sauce? Come on, man. I just need a this the lamb sauce. I, li I like how they're taking actual audio from the show. The lamb, lamb sauce. sauce. Right here, chef. All right. There you go, man. Yeah, that was from Hell's Kitchen. That was from Hell's Kitchen. What What do you guys think the best Ramsey show is? I remember... My first introduction, I love Gordon Ramsay, by the way. I know we were just goofing on his grilled cheese, talking about how he loves the smell of his own farts. I love Gordon Ramsay. I love Gordon Ramsay. Um, I remember being like, I was probably like 10 years old, 11 years old, and my parents always used to watch cooking shows, but it was always like Emeril Lagasse, uh, Rachel Ray, Good Eats, Alton Brown. It was stuff like that. And I remember seeing a preview for Hell's Kitchen. And I believe Hell's Kitchen was like his first show, his first like introduction to the world. And I remember just seeing the preview for the show of this angry Scottish chef yelling at people. And I remember him throwing spaghetti at the cooks and people crying and him getting red faced and freaking the fuck out. And I remember just thinking, I have to watch this show. Like 10, 11 year old Steven, I was just like mesmerized. I was just like, you know, I was used to Rachel Ray and Emerald and all these real calm. I had never seen, I, I wanted to see what it was about. And the, the day that Hell's Kitchen debuted, we sat down, we watched it as a family and um, we had a great time. We had a great time. I probably watched like the first 10 seasons of Hell's Kitchen. It got a little stale after that. I just got kind of tired of the... They always just make the same food. I'm just like, bro, okay, we get it. Beef Wellington, scallops. It's like, can we maybe start bringing new dishes in? That would maybe reinvigorate my love for it. Just new food. Just bring new food in, you know, maybe. But, um, and then... Kitchen Nightmares came out. And I love Kitchen Nightmares even more than Hell's Kitchen. I love Kitchen Night. Once again, the first several seasons of it, the first couple seasons, there are some like classic episodes like Amy's Bakery and shit like that. Um, I'll never forget. It was one of the first episodes of Hell's Kitchen. And you can always tell, I think especially on Hell's Kitchen, Gordon is kind of playing it up for the camera. You know what I mean? He's not actually 10 out of 10 angry, but I remember 
he went to this French restaurant, and there was this, like, very pompous French chef, and Gordon, you could tell, just genuinely hated this guy. And I remember him getting in this guy's face and being like, clean up your French restaurant, you French pig! And, like, he was so in the guy's face, and so, I was just like, wow, Gordon actually wants to punch this guy. He got in his face, called him a French pig, was pretty much, like, spitting on him. It was just like, damn. Kitchen Nightmares is hilarious. All the delusional chefs. Oh, I love Kitchen Nightmares. I love so, Kitchen Nightmares. I feel like this video in particular best sums things up. Thanks, crap. So this video is called Beta Chef versus Alpha Chef versus Sigma Chef. Okay. Wait, what show is this? This is Master Chef. Is that a good show? Yeah, it's a really good show. I want to watch. I've never watched Master Chef. I know I would love that. Yeah, it's one. really good with the kids on Master Chef too. Mm. But uh, this fucking video is great. You gotta be kidding me, Slim. This is like a, a buffet gone bad. Go back to your station. I'm not tasting this crap. You guys have to. At this point in the competition, you need to be listening to what we're telling you about what we're producing because this is ridiculous. Well, so he didn't even taste it. Didn't even taste it. So. We're here to judge a contest. We're not here to eat raw flour or raw garlic. It gets to be almost kind of personally offensive. Not only am I advising you to step up your cooking game, I'm also advising you to have a little respect. Let's <laughs> That's hazelnut and walnuts mixed with some tapioca maltodextrin. I want to get to go from bad to worse as Joe heads down. I mean, it. So, so. Do you not like that guy, the bald guy? I mean, that was just a really good example of like a beta chef. Right. I mean, it was just a really good example. So he's even kind of meaner than Gordon in a way. Because he'll straight up just be like... Oh, yeah. He's taking out his own insecurities on other like people. Like, he's straight like, up saying like you're disrespectful. Yeah. It's just kind of like, well, sorry. Joe's insane. No, yeah, he's he, insane. Like, he's actually crazy. No, he's out of pocket, man. Out of pocket, Joe. Excuse me. If you had any sense, you'd stage a trip up and smash the plate on the way up here. Because that is hideous. See, Gordon's a showman. Sign. I like Gordon. I just expect a little bit more, especially at this stage of the competition. I'm really sorry. Fire. You got a fire. Whoa, jo the, the Joe guy isn't even a chef. People are... J Bro, hey, he's like a food writer or something. He's a, he's a food critic and yeah. a restaurant owner. Jeez. Yeah, no, he's a total waiter. <laughs> Ah, damn! Yeah. Just stand back. <laughs> Set the place on fire. <laughs> what? No, it's not funny. <laughs> bananas. <laughs> With duck. You've gone bananas. <laughs> That's what's happened. You've gone bananas. But I'm not, definitely not ready to go home yet. And you were right, the hero of this dish was the duck. No begging. You're in this competition, competing, not judging. Let's get that right. <laughs> Have some respect for your fellow contestants. <laughs> yes, Chef! Kathy! Yes, Chef! Come here, both of you. Is it all? Touch, no, no, just touch it. Is it all? Look at it. It's still moving. It's that raw. From the Sigma Chef. Yeah. Wait, I'm sorry. What exactly does Sigma mean? Is that like beyond is that like beyond the scale? Um, I don't know exactly what it is. Like chat, what, what is, does Sigma mean? What does Sigma mean again? I hear it constantly. Is that like what is Sigma? It's alpha plus. It's more no. It's not alpha plus. It's something. What is it? Here, here, Google. I it. mean, I see people say it. Google, so Google. What I is see this? you guys say it all the time. Yet none of you know. Oops. Sorry. Sigma definition. No, a sigma male, not the sigma uh, letter of the Greek alphabet, you freaking boomer. Uh, I didn't know there was a sigma letter in the Greek, Greek alphabet. Um, Bro, you still didn't type dude, it I in. Dude, I typed in male. I swear Bro, I typed in male. Dumb? Dude, I fixed the, the, the webcam Bro, this just morning. type it you in. You owe me. All right. Sigma male. Or simply Sigma is an internet slang and pseudo-scientific term used most often to describe an introverted straight male. A product of the incel subculture 
and Manosphere message boards in the 2010s. The term has gained widespread prominence with the internet culture since the early 2020s and has become an internet me- Okay. Commonly regarded as the rarest type of male, a sigma male is typically denoted as an archetype of a male who is similar to the alpha male of the dual strategy theories, but is active active as a lone wolf on social media. So it's like an alpha that, that doesn't have a system. Right. You know, it's just an it's just like an alpha that's just uh, out there by themselves. Like alphas are typically like run in packs and right. have, have high class social circles and want to get laid. Sigmas are alphas without the need of um, approval right. of their peers. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. What is it? Today we've got for you some. So when you started this. Because you're the captain, Jackie. Yes. Is this what you visualised? It has evolved slightly. The only difference we've got is a flatbread as opposed to a tortilla. I think... Byron, you know you're in trouble. You knew that before you walked to the front. Can I be really honest? This is definitely the most scary guy. <laughs> Let me just say right now, the guy who walks up to he, you... He trained Gordon. He goes, you're disrespectful. You know he trained mm -hmm. Gordon? Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen a couple of his videos. Gordon almost is more of like theatrical. Too, th too theatrical to be scary. This guy's actually kind of scary. Please. I love it when... Because uh, he actually made Gordon Ramsay cry when, when he was like training him. And Gordon has talked about it. And they talk to that, the Marco guy that you made Gordon Ramsay. He goes, I didn't make him cry. He chose to cry. <laughs> and what he likes to say, he chose to cry. That was his choice. I, nobody made him cry. He cried and that was his choice. That was like, I was like, that's a bro, line right there. Marco is like a demigod. Bro. I didn't make you cry. I didn't make Gordon cry. He chose to cry. That was his choice. Marco is like the fucking philosopher of Damn. the world. <clears throat> it looks like a horror movie. Let's have two minutes. I have made more mistakes as a cook than anybody else I know. I've got to be brutally honest. I can't detect the egg. Yep. But you have created something which is very tasty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Harry, what are you doing? Have you run out of fish, Harry? I don't know, Margaret. I, I counted, there was more than 85, but I have no idea where they are. They just swam off, didn't they? I want four kingfish. I want four kingfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I like that video though. I want to start watching that. Top Chef. Is that what it's called? What's it called? Master Chef. Master Chef. Yeah, because yeah, I like love that. I love those shows. You definitely like Master I Chef. I love those shows. Yeah. I like Master Chef because it's like it's more about the food than yeah. it, than any other of Gordon Ramsay. Like if you're truly into cooking then I think Master Chef is would be the one that you, like the Gordon Ramsay. That's show why I, I had to quit Hell's Kitchen is just because it's just like, bro, I don't care about scallops and beef right. Wellington anymore. Right. Like I'm I'm sick of the scallops and beef Wellington. Like can I see just a different food? And it just I, I just got tired of it after a while. Like my favorite part about Hell's Kitchen was always the first episode when they brought in their signature dishes and he tasted their signature dishes. That was all that was the best part. That was the best part. It's like, all right, make me whatever you want. You said on Hell's Kitchen? On Hell's Kitchen, They yeah. do that on MasterChef, too. Yeah, I like that. I like that. See, it's it's even better on MasterChef, though, because the people on... A lot of the people on Hell's Kitchen, I feel like, are, like, sort of, like, pseudo, like, in the professional world, kind of. Like, all the people on MasterChef are just home cooks. Mm, which, I okay. think home cooks are better cooks a lot of times. Yeah. Nice. It got repetitive on Hell's Kitchen. I mean, don't get me wrong. I lasted for like maybe like eight seasons on Hell's Kitchen. I, I hung in there. But then after like the ninth, tenth season, I was just kind of like, me and Bree were just kind of like, are you kind of over this? And she's like, yeah. Yeah. Then we moved on to Kitchen Nightmares, which we also love. Yeah. There were a few cooks on Hell's Kitchen that did not know what they were doing. Oh my God, dude. Some of the cooks... Oh, I can't remember... I can't remember what his name was, but he was considered like the worst cook. Ralph? Ralph? Ralphie? Ralpho? What the fuck was his name? He was like the worst cook on Hell's Kitchen of all time. He fucked everything up. Literally, his teammates wanted to like murder him. And he was like such a black sheep of, of the... 
Do you mean Raj? Raj? Yes. Oh Raj, my God. Yeah. And Dewberry. What's your, what's your name? Dewberry. Blueberry. Oh God, so good. So good. Yeah. LMAO, I remember that guy. Hell's Kitchen had some very, the er, early Hell's Kitchen had some very memorable contestants. Very memorable contestants. Like, I, it's one of those shows I can go back and watch again and be like, I remember every single one of these people. I remember all of them. It's good. Raj is the worst chef in Hell's Kitchen for real. Oh my God, dude. Ugh. There's probably like a compilation of him just, everyone yelling at Raj. Oh, I'm sure there's a million Raj. Oh my God. He has to be like the most popular person who's been on. Oh yeah. Every single Raj moment in Hell's Kitchen it has 15 million views. Holy shit. Nice suspenders. Yeah, the, the guy, for those who didn't watch Hell's Kitchen, the guy on the right, I mean, this had to be an embarrassing experience for him. This dude never caught an effing. Where's Jack going? Jack! What? Virginia L wants to know where you're going. I'm going to Kat's house. I'm, I'm going to have dinner with Kat. What are you going to get? I think we're going to go have Thai food. Mm. I haven't had Thai food in quite some time. Thai connection? Uh, or whatever that place is, yeah. No, it's good. Thai food is good. Thai food is good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh God, Raj. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got we got Raj in the we got Raj in the house. We got Raj in the house. Thank you, Chad. Oh, thank you, sir. Yes, sir, Chef. Right. What's under there? Um, under there. Do you want me to take it off? Uh. Fuck me. Oh my god. Okay, I know I keep getting distracted. This woman, holy shit. Sir, yes sir. Wait Chef. a minute, wait a minute. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Nice suspenders. This woman right here. <laughs> I think, I think this is, I think it's the first episode where they cook their signature dish. And I think that that's what he's doing right now is trying their signature dish. She sucked too. She brings him some sort of like black soup. And, you know, Gordon is honest. If something's nasty, he'll be like, uh, he'll even spit stuff out. He takes a bite of her soup and literally starts like vomiting. And she's like rolling her eye. And it literally looked like, like liquid shit. It actually looked like feces. And, um, and he was like, what? That is the most vile thing I've ever tasted. And she's just like, you're, you know, she said, she's like rolling her eyes and saying he's exaggerating. And he makes all the other contestants try it. He's like, everyone get up here. And he has them all try it. And they interview them at, and they were all like, bro, that was shot. They all say it tasted like shit. They all say it tasted like shit. Oh, thank you. I want to, well, you know what? I want to see that. I want to see, uh, wait a minute. I, I want to see them try that. Hell's Kitchen Worst Signature Dish. It ha I mean, it has to be. Whoa. My signature dish is going to help me stand out because I'm a true culinarian. I understand what Gordon's looking for. What is it? I call it an exotic tartare because it's with venison and diver scallops with caviar and white chocolate and... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I think I see it. I Two think to I one. Okay. Okay, okay, here it is. Here it is. This is it. This is it. Hey, what is it? It's a uh, Mardi Gras gumbo. Oh. Mardi Gras gumbo. God. I, ha I have watched hundreds of hours of Gordon Ramsay and I have never seen him and including Hell's Kitchen and I've never seen him react to a dish like this before never never does it normally look like a plate of liquid shit no every time I make my gumbo it always gets eaten and everybody loves it <laughs> it's gonna be good oh, excuse me <laughs> God. Are you crazy? Have you tasted that? No. Like, like the look he gives when he, the way he says, "Are you crazy?" 
I almost like that must have actually tasted like shit. <laughs> this. Fucking hell. God. Are you crazy? Like, he is being genuine. He's like, did you just fucking poison me? What the fuck? Did you just shit in a bowl and melt it? Have you tasted that? No, I didn't get a chance to taste it, chef. <clears throat> so you cooked it and you didn't even taste it. I didn't have enough time. I'm so sorry you don't like it. <laughs> don't like it? <laughs> I'm sorry it wasn't up to par. Up to par? It's an edible. <laughs> okay, then throw it out. No, I'm not going to throw it out. Brilliant. Big man. Yes, I love he this is so bright throw it out. No, I'm gonna let everyone try this. It is so unbelievably bad. You like your food? Take a mouthful. Pass it along. It was completely repulsive. I would have rather had a cat <laughs> shit in my mouth than have eaten that any further. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know how to explain that. <laughs> Vinny, what was that tasting of? A big bowl of mud. Like, I want to know what the fuck she did. Like, wh what did she put in that to make it so bad? That was always a very memorable moment to me. Because I, I had never seen him make everyone else try something because it was so disgusting on a signature dish day. Dude. A line cut from Anaheim. Yeah, but, um, yeah, man. It's wild shit. Literally. Literally. And I think what added to it is because she kind of looked like someone who would like shit and food and feed it to people. I don't know why I get that vibe. Do you think it's possible they all exaggerated to please Gordon? No. I, I really don't. I, I, I don't. And because, okay, the woman, this woman right here, let me pull her up. Cause I've watched I've watched these a couple Eating times. Eating that any first. Oh my god. This woman right here is one of like the nicest people, and I don't think she would like trash somebody just to please Gordon. Oh my god. I don't even know how to explain that. Like I I I I, I genuinely believe her when she says that. I genuinely believe her when she says that. I do. I do. Look up Sabrina from Hell's Kitchen. I remember Sabrina. Sabrina. Hell's Kitchen. Oh yeah, I remember this chick. I remember this chick. She was very A lot of people were very memorable. What I remember about Sabrina... So, uh... Okay. Sabrina is like a 20-year-old. Sabrina's like a 20... You know, early 20s chick. And then the woman... It's between her and another woman who's gonna go home. Because they both had a bad week. And the woman she's going against is like 40. And Sabrina, they both have to plea to Gordon who gets to stay home. And Sabrina says, she goes, Sabri she goes, Gordon, I'm still young. You can mold me. Her? She's spent, chef. She's 40. She's not going to learn. I can still be taught. Her? She's spent. She, I, I'm trying to be nice, but she spent, chef. I remember just be, being jaw dropped on how rude that was. She spent. And it wasn't even like they were enemies or something. You know, they, they were friendly to each other. And she just pulled that out. She was like, look, I'm still young. She spent, chef. She spent. It's like, oh, that is rude. And Gordon goes, you know what? I agree. And keeps Sabrina and kicks the other girl out. I was like, oh, she manipulated her way through. Yeah, I did not like Sabrina. I did not like Sa A lot of the people are unlikable. A lot of the people are unlikable. I did not like Sabrina. She, she was, uh, she kind of looked like a puggle too. She kind of looked like a puggle. But, um, two to one. But talking about a uh, nice. Raj. Raj. That, that shit's fake. Look, I think a lot of the stuff on the Gordon Ramsay shows is exaggerated, but just to say everything is fake, I, I disagree. I disagree. And ended up winning. Wait, Sabrina won? Sabrina won her season? Did she? Oh. That's even more brutal. Did she? Did Sabrina win, Tim? Oh, my God. No, I'm talking about a different dude. Oh, okay. I was about to say. 
She made it far. I know Sabrina made it far, but, um, damn. Damn, bro. Mm. She spent, chef. I'm still so young and taut. Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Um, hold on a second. happened to the let me open up Streamlabs again closed I must have accidentally closed it it's okay we'll be okay the first couple seasons I don't think a lot of the contestants were professional cooks no they weren't because I remember there would be like one or two actual professional cooks I remember because they'd make a big deal like oh well he's actually a professional a lot of them were just home cooks or like line cooks yeah Sounds like something Jack would say, to be honest. What does? She spent, chef. Some were bartenders and waiters. Yeah. Yep. It's true. All right, let's pop up the dashboard. I accidentally closed it. Closed it with YouTube, accidentally. All right. So... Are we going to play some climbing game? Oh, God. Last time I popped up the climbing game, it I I, I got a genuine rage because I'm stuck on the spot. I'm going to try to overcome. I'm going to try to prevail and overcome today. We're, we're going to try, my guy. We're going to try. I think you need some motivation to get past this section. If you don't make it to the next checkpoint today which is a pool of water, you have to roll the dice and drink the hot sauce it lands on. Be fun, Steven. Be fun. All right. Remember deal. to let go. That sounds like a deal. I, I, I can do that. So, is this it right here? Okay, so we have this dice game. It's, it's hot sauces that are all labeled a number. And then you have like a D&D &D dice in the middle. If I cannot get over the section I'm on, if I can't get to the next checkpoint by the end of the day, I will roll the dice and I will drink. And these are like big bottles. These aren't like skinny little bottles. These are like thick little bottles of hot sauce. And um, a lot of them look really gross. There's jalapeno, habanero, ghost pepper, scorpion pepper, Carolina Reaper. Oh, man. So, um, yeah. They get worse. The higher the number... Like, number one is only jalapeno. And then, like, number 12 is the ghost pepper and scorpion. It's a combination of habanero, ghost pepper, scorpion, Carolina Reaper, and it's three million Scovilles. Three million Scovilles. You're going to be shitting all over the house. Rest in peace to your guts. Unless I get lucky and just roll like a one or a two, you know, I could get lucky. I could get lucky. But, um, so yeah. Yeah, if I, um, if I, if I can't get to the next checkpoint in the game, I'll do this. That, that will be, that, that will be my motivation. How much to do it right now. Come on, man. Why are you doing that to me? God, I hate hot shit. Uh, for a $50 donation, I would do it right now. No, $100 donation. $100, for a $100 donation, I will do it right now. $100 donation, I'll do it right now. It's been a good day. If it was a lower uh, donation day, I would say 50 but it's been a good donation day. So a uh, $100 donation, and I'll roll it right now. But um, can't change it. It's 50 Nope, I said 100 Damn, I was about to send 50 Nope, 100 100. 100, my guys. 50, you'll just get a thank you. 100, I'm going to dice roll. But hold on to your money because I might not be able to make it. You might get it organically. You might get it organically. Let's see. 150? No, I'll be fair and say 50. 
I'll be fair and say, or 100. Damn it, I keep saying 50. 100! 100. He did say 50. 100. 100, my guy. 100, I'll do it right now. But, like I said, I don't see me, I might, I might rate, I might get to be 20 minutes in and rage quit. Said it again. I did say it again. I did say it again. Um, let's do it. So we are doing, um, we're going to do uh, instrumental request. So if you want me to play a song while I play this game, just say something. Donate $2.50 and I will play whatever song you want. I'll play whatever song you want. We have a, we only have a, a couple. We only have a couple ready. So um, the line is very, very short. Come get it while it's hot. Come get it while it's hot. The line is short, my guys. The line is short. All right. Pop it up. Us who donated early got the spots. Yeah. Yeah, man. There's still, it's, there's still a lot of open spots here. Still a lot of open spots. All right. Make sure I'm not online. One second. Go offline. All right, let's do it, baby. Let's do it. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go. We got this. Easy. Easy. Oh, wait, wait. I'm using a troller. Poly Rhythm Addicts, Motion 2000 Instrumental. What's been going on today, Bob? I just tuned in. Uh, hold on, let me start that. Uh, thank you very much. Inspector Willie, let me write down your song request. What is it? Poly Rhythm Addicts Motion 2000. And uh, it's been good, my guy. There's been a lot of banning going along. Uh, Amber got banned for, for 451. We're playing some climbing El Harabe Tapatio. Oh, thank you very much, Gabo Jones. And uh, after, if I can't make it to a certain checkpoint by the end of the day on this game, I'm going to have to uh, roll the dice of hot sauce and drink one of these disgusting hot sauces, which I know they're just probably vile. Uh, no good hot sauce comes in a box like this, by the way. They always taste like shit. And they're always really, really hot. Um, and um, I'm also going to be playing some Skyrim. Today. I'm going to be revisiting Skyrim to uh, chill out a little bit, man. You know, we're going to chill out. So let me write that down. L. Tapatio. All right. Thank you very much, brother. Let's do it. You can't say it's disgusting until you try it. Hey, maybe it might be fine. I just know the ones I've had on the past. Caliente, are... Caliente by Benice. You don't have to play the whole thing. It's long. Thank you very much, Chelsea Lynn. Caliente. Caliente. Thank you very much, Chelsea Lynn. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Alt F4 and go back into it. So I can just... Tupac, I get around. Thank you very much, Dr. Seuss. Appreciate that, my guy. Thank you, brother. All right, there we go. All right, let's do it. Uh, bro, I hate this so much, man. Wait, where even am I? Oh, wait, yeah, no, this is it. This is the spot, isn't it? Is this it? Wait, I can... Uh, doesn't help though. I already, I'm already pissed. I'm already effing pissed, my guy. Motherfucker! 
All right, calm down. If I if I get start getting pissed or too early, I'm definitely not gonna make it. I need to stay calm at least at the beginning. Got a warm up. I seem to warm up. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get this jump. I do not get the, I don't, I don't understand this jump. Oh, okay, okay. I feel like I was close that time. There's a trick where you loop back around really quick with the analog stick to get a further reach. It's only on the first try, though. Falling with this motivational song. It, it, it hurts. It, it, this hurts, man. game is pure butter. You say so. When you land in the water sideways, it means you didn't let go. All right, that one was close. That one was close. How, what do you mean if I land in the water sideways, it means I didn't let go? Here comes the one hour marathon of a marathon of attempting this jump. Bro, I mean I I don't know what to say. I wish I could say nuh uh, but I, I I don't know, man. I don't know. This I, I, I struggle with this. I just struggle with this jump. I believe in you. Thank you. Skynet. That's very true. If you fall, wait, Friendly Mushroom said if I fall sideways, it means I'm not letting go. I mean, I don't think I've ever not fallen sideways. What am I supposed to like, bobber? I'm letting go. You're doing the same stuff over and over. Dude, it's not like I have a lot of, it's not like Elden Ring where I can go like a different path. What do you mean? I ha, I, what, 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 is there a different way to approach this that I'm not, uh, try letting go on the first swing. Okay. He means do it different. How, how? I almost just want to. 
You're sure you're not supposed to go left? I am fairly certain. I am fairly certain. I, I just can't do it. Friendly Mushroom. I'm about to uninstall this shit, my guy. I swear I'm about to uninstall this game. It just makes me... It just. I'm about to just drink the hot sauce. Let go earlier. Ah! Press L1 faster after you jump. Shit's making me lose my cool. Ah, okay. All right, you know what? I feel like that may be helping a little bit. smells really really good where's that from i don't know it's like some like food truck i think he said uh, dude the chicken is so juicy i ate four and i don't even give a fuck <laughs> i can't eat for the rest of the day but it's fine yeah hey, just you can just sit it there pulsing yeah thank you babe oh my god that looks so good oh it is it's so worth it oh it's so worth it you oh. want some napkin yes please thank you God. Yeah, some effing food truck tacos, my guy. Food truck tacos. Oh my god. It's looking beautiful. Maybe this is the motivation I needed. Maybe th maybe this is it right here. There you go. Thank you very much, babe. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jimmy Eat World the Middle. Huh? Come here. Oh. Uh, Aza, it is so crazy that you just donated that song. Because I was just sitting here thinking. I was like, I remember someone had me karaoke that song, and reading the lyrics made me like it even more. I really like that song. Why is that? Because I was, I was just thinking about it like 40 seconds ago. I was just thinking, I really like that song. That is so weird you just donated that. Jimmy Eats World the Middle. Is that the, it, just to make sure I'm thinking of it. It just takes some time to burn a little middle and out the rhyme. Everything, everything be just. Is that, is that what I'm thinking of? Is that that song? Yes. Bro, I was just thinking about that. Are you a mind reader? Are you a mind reader? The middle. Thank you very much. It's very odd. I think, I think Aza might be a mind reader. Let me try one of these tacos. delicious it's absolutely let's put some more of the hot sauce on it see this is good hot sauce it's really really fucking hot but it's good it tastes good that's all I care about mmm Oh man, that's a good taco. Mm. One might even call it beautiful. I can feel the hiccups coming on from the hot sauce. Anyone else get the hiccups when they eat hot shit? Whoa, I put a lot of hot sauce in there. Oh. Woo. Mama lips burning. Mama lips burning. All oh, Aza and Steven have a telepathic connection like twins. Isn't that cute? That is kind of cute, actually. All right, next we have Num Num Juice. Nice. All 
All right, let's go. Two-door coupe hopping out like Jack in the Box. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. All right, I, I feel motivated again. That taco gave me motivation. The taco and the, the combination of the taco and the song, I feel all powerful right now. Oh! Oh, motherfucker! In the city, motherfucker! All right, let's go. You know what? Hopefully I just have this jump down. Hopefully I just have this. If I can just get this part down, I'll be cool. Oh, oh my God, no. My guy's just, my guy's just gonna drown. What's this called? It's called a difficult game about climbing. Is the name of the game. Like that's actually what it's called. Like for reals. Uh, maybe I need another bite of taco. I didn't make the other jump because I didn't squeeze the lime on it, I think. Ah! There we go. Alright, now. Now we're about to go full target. This game is jank, bro. Do you enjoy this misery? I really don't. I really don't. I know I do not enjoy this misery, but I enjoy the victory. You know, when you finally do make it, it's worth it. It's worth it. What do we got next? Uh, what is it? Polyrhythmic. Polyrhythm Addicts Motion 2000? All right. Let's go, baby. Just quit, Ray. The game's too complicated for you. No, not today, bub. Not today. Bro.
can't push good food away, huh, Steven? It is hard. It is hard. Steven, please. What? What, Skynet? Should I just drink the hot sauce and bite the dick? I'm, 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 I'm fairly close to just uninstalling this game. I really am. Nakono said do it different. I, I don't know what that means. Please just make the jump. Bro. Understand any pain you get from this times it by 10 and that is the pain I feel right now Like this this is hard. This is hard for me, man Wait a minute Hmm, wait a minute wait a minute No, wait, I think I had some there remember the guy in the video did a little pull up before letting go we get, we're, we're gonna have to pull up another reference video, man We might have to pull up a new, another rep. swing differently. Okay, I, 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 that's what I'm, I am now experimenting with swinging differently. Okay, okay, wait a minute. I think we have something. I think we have something. Do it just like that, but press L1 to grab slightly quicker. Oh, 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 thank God. kidding me it's okay it's okay it's okay I, th I think we have this down now I think we have this down fuck oh ho, ho! Yeah! all right all right okay next song all right all right all right I think we've moved past this point in our lives think fact bro I swear, another 10 minutes of that, I might have uninstalled. I might have uninstalled. A new wrinkle just formed in your brain. Unlocked. Yeah, achievement unlocked. New wrinkle. Ugh. All right. Let's see what we got next. Let me take another bite. Let me take a bite of another taco. I am straight up eating a taco to this song right now, bro. This is beautiful. Eating a taco to this song hits so differently, my guy. It's so differently. Is there a big piece of pineapple on this? Oh my god. God. Absolutely. Bro's letting the song run out on the menu. Dude, I'm enjoying a taco to it. Is that not a better use than playing this dumb game? I'm enjoying a taco to the song. That's even better. Oh. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh my god.
Oh, wow. Let me just, let me just tell you something. Those, those are from a, tacos from like a food truck. Let me tell you something right now. They are, the tortillas are perfect. They're perfectly cooked. They double up two of them so it doesn't break. Perfect consistency. It's, it has perfectly cooked and marinated chicken on it. It has a lime squeezed over it. Little chunks of pineapple. And some avocado sauce and some hot sauce. Like, salty, sweet, acidity, spice, savory. I mean, my God, dude. My God. That's why, when people ask me what my favorite food is, it is so hard for me to not just say taco. Taco. What kind of taco? Taco. Taco. Just simple answer. Taco. However the F you want to make it. Or burrito. Tacos and burritos, my guy. Tacos and pineapple on a taco. What the fuck? Bro, if you have a pork, especially like a, por a pork taco with some spice on it, little pieces of pineapple are like perfect, bro. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Dude, I just summoned, I just, by listening to this song and eating a taco, I just summoned JHNSB. That was crazy. That was crazy. It's like saying uh, Candyman five times in the mirror. That was nuts. That was nuts. Is the food truck close by? There's a couple food trucks around. I don't know which one he went to. I don't know which one he went to. I'm not sure. There's a food truck not far from here, though. There's a food truck not far from here, and oh my god, it's so good. And I feel so much better giving them money, you know, like a local business, a food truck, where it's it's literally like a mom and a son that work in it, than going to like, you know, Chick-fil-A or some shit. It's like you feel, you, you spend a little bit more money, but you feel better about it. You're like, you know what? Cool. Cool. It's not going to the billionaires, it's going to, you know, regular people. And it tastes better, quite frankly. How far are you in the game? Uh, according to Mr. Mushroom, I am about 75% in. You know? You know you listen to Spanish music when you go to Taco, Taco Cabana. What's Taco Cabana? I don't think I've been there. Cabana. Taco Cabana? We have, we have a place in Columbus that's called Taco Lumbus. That's really good. I used to eat there all the time. You're helping cut someone keep their lights on. Yeah, yeah. It's like you feel good about it, and the food is amazing. Way more authentic at mom and pop shops. Absolutely. I mean, no question. I've never been like a Taco Bell guy. Okay, when I was a kid. But when we were kids, we all loved Taco Bell. But as an adult, last time I had Taco Bell, I was so disgusted by it. And keep in mind, I was drunk. I was hungry. We had just been kayaking for like eight hours and I was just like, just Taco Bell. I hadn't been there in forever and me and Bree were both so disappointed, my guy. I was just like, bro, I am drunk and starving. This should be delicious no matter what. And it wasn't. Even then it was mid. And so I never went there again. I was just like, well, now we know. Never again, my guy. Never, ever, ever again. Never again. But, um, yeah. I was watching Post Malone, bro. I came back at a good time. Hope you're doing good, bro. I mean it. Hope you're doing go uh, good, too, man. Hope you're doing good. We've just been chilling, man. Playing another terrible game. You know what we do. You know what we do. You know what we do here. Always get the Nacho, Bel Nacho Bel Grande if you're drunk. That's what I got. I got two Burrito Supremes and a Nacho Bel Grande. Look, this was four years ago, and I still remember it like it was yesterday. It was mid as hell. It was mid as hell. What did you get from Taco Bell? Two Burrito Supremes and a Nacho Bell Grande. Brie got um, a, a, run, a Crunch Wrap Supreme. Yeah. No good. No good, my guy. Alright, let's do it.
My belly is full. My heart is empty. Let's get it. peak waffle streams. Holy shit, some guy just beat this game in five minutes. It gets so much worse, Steven. I've heard this is the worst part. I've heard this is like the, I'm, I heard, I've heard right now I'm at like the pinnacle of the shit. Nakono said you have to swing differently. I'll go tell Bree we're swingers now, guys, babe. Upside down pineapple for life, baby. Ah! Next section is no walk in the park, but easier after you master this one. Oh, good. Anything, I will be so glad to be over this. Ah. What a banger. What a banger. song we just played. <laughs> uh, okay. Right, let's go, baby. Is this a long list or what? No. No. This is not a long list. This is not a long list. Come on, Steven, I want a rating on this game. I want to give you a rating on this game, man. I just gotta... I miss you, Blink-182. All right, thank you very much, Fuel and Maul. Chef Steven, I'm actually not cooking anything. Uh, me and Jack are going to perfect the uh, tripod and we're going to make it to where I can actually hear you guys and stuff. So next cooking stream, we're not streaming next week, but the week after, uh, Tuesday, I'm going to make Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese. And uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Damn it! That sounds interesting. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay made a grilled cheese, and it looked, I mean, pretty terrible, to be honest. And I want to see if it's actually as terrible as it looked. I thought that would work. Maybe he'll win all. We'll see. We'll see. Let go earlier. Let go earlier. Even though it does not feel even a little right. Let go earlier.
Oh, yes! Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. gonna take me is this what this is what's gonna take me to the top okay we'll see oh yeah you pulled up I did I did, I did. I am not swinging anymore, my guy. I don't want to be a swinger no more. Oh! Oh, it clicked. It has, it has clicked. That part, anyway. It clicked. I think it clicked for me, my guy. Oh, every time now. Every time. Damn. Gotta let go early on that part. Let go early. No. So your goal is to beat this game? I think I will. I think I will, Kyle. I think I will beat this game, my guy. I think so. Mmm. Oh no, I already lost my mojo. Read Stick Spell's comment. Read Gabo's comment. How's the frustration compared to Hans? You know, Hans feels more impossible, but this game is more frustrating. This game is actually more frustrating, but Hans feels more impossible. Thank you, Kyle. Like, this game absolutely makes me angrier than Hans does. Ah, oh, there we go. But Hans feels more like a... You don't fall as, as far in this game? Yeah, yeah. They're, you know what? They're fair with the checkpoints. They're fair with the checkpoints. Motherfucker, why can't I make that jump now? I would have quit a long time ago. Oh, if I wasn't streaming, are you kidding me? I would have quit ages ago. I would have quit the second I learned the controls. I'd be like, oh, this is dumb.
even, can you throw a pizza party when you win? Yeah, I will throw a pizza party when I win. We'll all eat some Zwanzigs. Damn. Oh. Oh, God. God, this fucking game pisses me off. Ugh! All right, this song, this is actually, this feels encouraging. The song feels encouraging right now. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like he's singing to me right now. Damn! Okay, I need to go higher or something. Am I too low? Am I, am I too low? Encouragement won't help. Jesus. Are you a fucking... Are you fucking retarded? Playing this same game for two hours and you haven't even swung to the second boulder yet? Mufu Finky! Get out of here, you little bitch boy! Who are you? Who are you, Mufu? You probably haven't figured out figured out how to get laid yet, my guy. I figure out the important things first, like how to make babies and how to get laid. Uh, you, you figure out these silly little games. He's yeah. Rest in peace, Rich Piana, though. Rest in peace, Rich Piana. You're getting distracted. You're right. I'm, let, I'm letting the retards distract me. Ah, oh, God. All right, well, let's get closer. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I have... Ah, oh, motherfucker. He said, I have four kids, dummy. Well, bring them back to their parents, okay? What you're doing is illegal. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Anything else to say? Tisk tisk tisk. Playing this game again, are we? You should be playing the game I sent you. Pop up that mafia, my guy. Yay, yes. Also, almost forgot to tell you. I beat mafia. I took AD in a test, and it says I'm 100% choir. Thoughts, Stephen? I don't. Or should that. I say, Dad, adopt me? Dude, Muffy, kill. First off, I beat mafia. Second off, chill, bro. Chill. Cool it, you're on thin ice. Black Star said, okay, let me write that down. Appreciate it, thank you, my guy. Chin 
It's been a few years. Ah! Hope you're doing all right offline and in your real life. My life is changing lately, pray for me. My instrumental request is this song. Anaceto Molina, La Campanera, Ray Bahadas Load. Thank you very much. It's been a few years. It's been a few years since what? Uh, and thank you. Let me write that down. much my guy it's been a while since i watched you stream ah yes it's been a while damn it ah he's writing it down letter by letter i'm not gonna deny that ah Oh, getting better at the second bit. This is hell, man. This is actually hell. Bro. Bro, you had that one. You didn't hit L1 Thorne. I'm all that's left of Timothy's original name. I am wow. T. I was abandoned in favor of what you knew see as Morphe. But I am still here. I am T. I think, therefore I am. Morphe hasn't seen the last of me. Wow. We will become Timothy again. That's kind of dark. That's actually kind of dark, Mike. His name split up and became actual, like, a, a sentient being. Ah. Bro. <laughs> uh, uh, I fucking hate this. All right. I, I swear. I'm, I'm, I'm about to just roll the dice and drink the hot sauce. I'm about to just roll the dice and drink the hot sauce, my guy. I promise you. Ugh. Makes you mad by Eminem. Can you freestyle off the dome oh. to this instrumental? Thanks. I Probably. hope you fall, you fat pansy redneck retard. God damn, bro. Jesus 
Christ. Oh, stop, stop. What's the best way to approach this man? I don't even know. Motherfucker, dude! God! Dude, I mean. Such, such bullshit, dude. Such bullshit! Pop up Skyrim, to be honest. Um, I'm, 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 dude, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm right there. I'm right there on that, on that edge. About sick of this shit, dude. I can't take this game anymore. It, it's, it's just too much. It's just too effing much. Might not be built for this one, man. It is me. I am. The true remnant of the dissolution of my former self known as Timothy. Do not be fooled by the cheap imitations that have sprung in my wake. Soon I will recapture my essence and became whole again. Whole again. Whole again. Whole again. WH. Baba Booey said, this game sucks, you have nothing to prove. Of Wolf and Man, Metallica. Oh, I love that song. Thank you, Hewl Hewl and Maw. Appreciate that. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. This shit is impossible. Why even bother? That almost encourages me, though, man. Oh! All right, maybe, uh... Let me go get a little encouragement. I'm gonna go get encouraged. I'll be right back. Maybe that's maybe that's what I need. I haven't tried that yet with this game. Bro, this this burrito, these tacos were so good. Like, I'm really sad that they're gone now. You ever do you ever eat a taco that's so good? And after you eat it, there's almost like a post taco clarity where you're just sad that it's gone. Just post -ta post taco sadness. Uh, there's pre-taco happiness and post-taco sadness. I'm so sad right now. It's gone, man. I'll be right back. Liquid courage? No, not liquid courage. No, dude. No, man. Alcohol grosses me out now, man. I, I, I might be too old to drink. I'm too old to drink now, my guys. I'm too old. I'm too old. I'm too health conscious. I'm trying to get my abs. Um, alcohol just... It's not, it's, it's just not, it's not in me anymore, man. It's not in me. I no longer enjoy it. I, I no longer enjoy alcohol. I really don't. Like, I, I, it hurts me to say that, my guys. The last several times I've drank, I have not enjoyed it. I have not. I, re I really have Even like on stream, I kind of feel sloppy and I like knowing what's happening I feel like I'm not as good as a streamer as when I'm drunk. I really do. I really do, man. I know. I know. You know? Because you overdo it. Probably has something to do with it. You're growing up, bro. Yeah. You know, it's true. It's true. It is. You do be calling the viewers little bitches, which ain't be good for business. Yeah, there you go. I attack people. You know, I call people little bitches. 
Um, it makes me like fat and puffy. You know, it hurts my wallet. It makes me feel like shit the next day. You know, it's true. It's true. You know, I think it's funny when he calls us little bitches. Not Dr. Seuss, it hurts him. When I call Dr. Seuss a little bitch, it hurts him. I don't want to hurt him anymore. You have been looking slimmer, though. I see it. See? I mean, I've been getting leaner. I'm not lean. But I'm leaner. I'm leaning up, my guy. The drunk streams are getting kind of old. I agree. I agree. And I never want to burn something to the ground. My guy, I don't want to just sit there and spin the wheels and do something too. And I think the drunk streams, I, th I feel like they had their time. I feel like they had their time, but, um, yeah, you know, I don't need to. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. I'm saying this now, but watch next month. Party! Skynet said they're scary. <laughs> See, yeah, I don't want to be scary, man. You know? Just saying. Once a month is nice. Yeah, and we'll drink more classy, you know? You don't have to get drunk on the drunk streams. That's true. That's true. He stopped the songs. No, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go downstairs really quick. And uh, when I come back, I'm gonna continue them. I'm gonna continue them. Yeah. Yeah. There's only a couple left. Lit streams. Yeah, we're gonna have lit streams. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You get super, you get super aggressive. I do. I do. You know, I don't want you guys to see me like that. You know? I don't want you guys to see me like that. Think about what I just said. I'll be back. Sticky icky streams are where it's at, obviously. But I like the drunk streams, lol. You know. I'll be back. Ponder. Ponder what I've talked to you guys about. Wow. There we go. Let's go, baby. Do you think uh, he doesn't like getting drunk anymore because it makes it's making his pee pee soft? What the fuck, Dr. Seuss? What in the hell are you talking about? Jesus Christ. No. Never been an issue with me, bub. Look. Look. 
It makes me aggressive sometimes on stream. It gives me a headache the next day. I can down a bottle of whiskey and take Bree to, to pound town. I'm telling you, man. It, do, it, do, it doesn't do that to me. I don't get whiskey, dick. I'm not lying, bro. I'm not lying. Lies. I swear I don't get whiskey, dick. I don't. I really don't, man. If, if it did that, I wouldn't drink it. That would be a major concern. It makes me bloated. It makes me feel like shit, but hey, man. Hey, come on, man. Cool. Cool it. But uh, all right, let's play the next one. Next, we have Hooligan Chase Asshole. Prove it. I'll get hard. You know what? Last stream, I will drink a bottle of whiskey and get hard for you guys. I will. I'm not going to like show my bare penis, but I'll wear like shorts and get hard for you guys. 100%. 100% I would get hard for you guys. Absolutely. Hooligan chase asshole. Let's go. It's okay, Steven. We believe you. Skynet's like, please, please. Please don't. Low-key missed the green screen. Why did you guys throw it away? Did we throw it away? Is that what happened to it? I don't know what happened to it. you guys don't have the green screen anymore yeah that was so 2023 the green screen was so 2023 bring it back i don't think i think jack didn't like having it in his room you're either pulling and letting go late or letting go without pulling up got old quick to be honest i miss the green screen to be honest but it's whatever i've, I've always been kind of neutral towards it i mean you know i don't think it's like i've never thought like oh my god we can't stream without the green screen like to me it's just kind of i don't know i've always been whatever with it like we could have it or not have it i i really i'm kind of yeah i'm kind of neutral towards it to be honest i'm indifferent i prefer the not nostalgia of no green screen there you go. I miss floating head, Steve. Okay. Next. Hey. You missed the green, the green screen play, Parker. I don't even know what the fuck just happened there, bro. When it's nighttime and it shows Steven's bright ass room, it kind of kills the immersion. When it's night, it actually gets dark in your room at times. I agree, Gino. I, I I do. I think Gino makes a good point. Gino makes a good point. Wrong song. This isn't the slowed version. Did you say slowed version? Oh, okay, I see it.
Ya llegó la campanera Es el campano costa oh. colombiana La mujer más cumbiambera Que tiene la costa de la sabana Esa negra campanera Motherfucker, why can't I grab that wheel anymore? Dude, the first time I got here, I like flung through this and now it's just like, I'm like, ah! Why does this kind of sound like Chef from South Park? <laughs> Dude, it does sound like Chef. From Dude, now I can't unhear that. Children! It sounds like a Spanish, Spanish chef from South Park. What kind? What game are you playing? Sorry, I was. This is called a difficult game about climbing. Basically getting over it, but with grabbing hands. Yeah, pretty much. Although, in my opinion, this game doesn't have shit on getting over it. In my personal opinion. I know I haven't beaten it yet, but... Between the narrator, the places you go, the mechanics of the game, this ain't no getting over it. This ain't no getting over it. Climbing over. Oh. DJ Jersey Jeff and the Fresh Prince, Summertime. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, I made it to the wheel! Thank you for the song request, I'll write that down. I'm so nervous. This is making me nauseous. I'm actually like getting nauseous from this, dude. I'm actually getting nauseous. Like this is making me sick. I hate this feeling, bro. I hate this feeling. Ugh. How dare you skip my donation? Steven, I asked if you could play Makes You Mad by Eminem and freestyle off the dome while it plays. 
You'll never make it past this part, you ugly redneck goon. Make you mad by him and I This is the part I've never been able to make it past. I mean, I don't want to just go for it, bro. Last hard jump of the section. No! How do you do that? It's okay, it's okay, we're just gonna fly back there. You need to do a pull up. You need to do a pull up there. No, we got it, we got this. You don't give up. You don't just give up on shit, bro. Everyone who's like, oh, uh oh, E man. Quit giving validity to his existence! Ah! Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna blast right back there. We're gonna blast right back there. Bullshit. Are you gonna try Mafia 2 after beating one? I, I'll eventually get to Mafia 2, I'm sure. I enjoyed the first one. me it's future me here oh, don't God. quit you can't add another game like this to the quit list it's bad enough hans is already there good luck me 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 777 what you or decillion 777 3 decillion 777 duo decillion 777 um decillion 700 SHUT UP!
You can get past this part. All you need is a little bit of chips, oh. chips, chips, oh, ice yeah. cream, chips. Chippity oh. ice creamy creamy ice cream chippo chips. Oh, you you are ah burgers underscore burgers underscore drugs crabs crabs. Oh no 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 l l l l l l l l l l h h h h h seven hundred and seventy seven quintillion seven hundred and seventy seven quadrillion seven hundred and seventy seven trillion. Maybe it would help if you sang your favorite song along to it, Nukem, Nukem. Squirrel Boy is a Goomba. Thinks he's Africana. But he's just a fool, yeah. Friendly Mushroom said, watch a video if you must. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. Let's pop up what, um, what the experts do in this situation. I do not want to try that again. Um, I... Difficult climbing game about climbing. Walk there. Okay, there it is. All right. We'll play the guy we played before. He seemed to watch the five-minute speed run. After I beat the but game, I I'll watch the to speed run. To Unity. I'm Anyways, sure no. the speed run technique is later. beyond. And after a few hours, I got some. Oh, this is the guy who made the game. Okay, here it Pull is. Pull up that, that grab of your right hand my controller and did it straight away okay right. so these lanterns is another one of those sections that looks intimidating but it's actually not so bad just make sure you're not releasing your hands i feel like some of the surfaces in the game the character grabs to like way firmer than others and these lanterns seem to be one of those where he just doesn't seem to get knocked off them as easy little jump to grab that lantern these lanterns seem to be one of those where he just doesn't seem to get knocked off them as easy. Little jump to grab that land lantern. That's probably the hardest uh, part of this area. Yeah, I think you got that right, bub. He's so graceful. It, it, the way he plays, it's... It's beautiful! So if you're struggling to do a reach-up anywhere, like this... If you pull your hand that isn't grabbing all the way down... I've actually discovered that myself, that yeah, if you like put your arms straight down and then bring it up. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. All right. Oh my god!
All right, what do I do, friendly mushroom? Is this a trick? Is this a trick? What do we do, my guy? Get on the sign and fling right. Oh, okay, I made it! Quit oh my god! Those guttural sounds. Oh, I made it! Bub. New sounds area! Sounds like you're in yes! with the remote again. Yes! And it's over! It. Oh, a new area! Oh, a new area! Thank you, God! Oh, yeah! Bro, that area almost broke me. That almost brought me to my effing tipping point. That almost brought me to my tipping point. Like, I almost couldn't take it anymore. Aren't you glad you didn't give up? See, look. That's why you don't give up. That is why you do not give up. Because I was five minutes away from giving up. And look at us now. We're in somewhere different. Never give up, no matter what it is. I don't care if it's video games, sports. Uh, 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 career aspirations, music, whatever it is. Don't give up. Don't give up. I am going to go take a piss. Such an inspiration. So inspirational. I'm going to go take a piss. I'll be right back. I'm going to be right back. My God. Oh. Steven taking a celebratory piss. Oh, that was glorious. That was glorious, my guy. Absolutely glorious. I'm, pr I'm a proud Sherpa today. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Feels good, my guy. Feels good. But our job is not done. We still got to climb. We still got it. We still got to climb. Going to be a motivational speaker if the streaming career ends? Probably. Probably, that's probably going to be my next go-to. Either that or back to the factory. Either one, I don't care. Either one is fine. Same thing. Same thing. Let's go, baby. 88% done. Oh, let's just, let's just finish this, man. Let's finish this effing game. No, you know what? After that section, nothing can scare me. Nothing can scare me after that, man. Nothing will be as bad as that shit. That was brutal. Hmm. What do we have here? Please please. Please please. We have a penalty. This Black sucks too. <laughs> oh, great. Personal foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number six on the defense. Okay. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Da 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 Tomorrow is Friday. Friday got to get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Weekend Friday. Friday. Yay. 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 Ye. Thank you, Rebecca Black. Where the hell do I go? Do I... 
Cleanse the balls. Cleanse the balls. We have a penalty flag thrown at the 30 yard line. Personal foul. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number six on the defense. 15. Pull up some on the swing. I don't even know where I should be going. I'm gonna. Okay, I guess I'm trying to jump to that. That makes sense. It's weird having to now do a jump to the left. I feel like all the jumps like that have been to the right. Oh wait, you know what? Ah! Hmm. Double jump? I don't know if you think I'm playing like Mario or something right now. Just double jump, bro. This ain't no Super Mario 3, man. This ain't no Super Mario 3. You can attempt to go to the rock on the left or the upper left one. The upper left one? How the hell would I? You know what, that might, I think the upper left one might even be easier. They are two very different jumps. Damn. I don't even know. <sighs> Bruh. Watch the vid. Why not? Let's see what the let's see what the pro does. Let's see what the pro does. Let's have him walk us through this. I think I might do it here. I'm trying to get my hand to seem to have to make your grab. But you much first jump section quite a bit, but Yeah, it's it's not too much of a recovery if you do fall, to be honest. Alright, so this is the first jump. He's so why are his little hops so graceful? If you do How many times has this man beat this game? Fall, to be honest. Watch this. Alright, so this is the first jump. It's just so like he just glides don't have to swing as much as you would think for that jump. I found that swinging a little bit less makes it more successful. Of a recovery if you do fall, to be honest. All right, so this is the first jump. Wow. All right. We'll try that. Swing a little bit less, I guess. Yeah, he just kind of just beautifully glides over. Wait, he uses, he uses this arm. Wait a minute. Ah! Oh, all right, all right. I feel like I kind of got the motion. I just didn't get enough air. I didn't get enough distance. All right. Ooh! Ho-ho! That was even prettier than his, my guy. That was even prettier than his. Oh, man. I flew, bruh. I flew. That was crazy. That was crazy. All right. Oh, shit. What's this? No, 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 no. I am the ice wall. Be ah 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 You don't scare me, ice wall. You don't scare me. I'm very very cold. I'm very slippery. I love it when you climb me, Stephen. Be ah 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 I'm so cold and slippery and icy. Ice, nice, ice, spice, ice, thrice, ice, nice, ice. Dice, ice, rice. Th thank you. Poo poo pee pee poo poo pee pee poo poo pee pee. Oh, y'all are getting scared, my guy. Y'all are getting scared. I can tell. Where do I go? Where do I go, friendly mushroom? Okay, so this jump is weird. 
All right, let's see how the expert does it. Let's see how Mr. Man does it. You don't have to swing as much as since you need for some uh, reaches. All right, so you want to grab the boulder here about here or so. Then you want to do a good swing over to the right and make sure you grab at the right time so you can grab this rock. Okay, I would have never done that. I know I know, I would have never effing done that. What? Here about here or so. Then you want to do a good swing over to the right and make sure you grab at the right time so you can grab this rock. That's one of the more difficult parts of this aerial. Again, though, if you I, mess I, it up, you just... I, I mean... All right. So you want to grab the boulder here about... Here. That would have taken you a week to figure out. I, I just never would have thought, oh yeah, the next thing you gotta grab is down in the corner and completely not in the camera that you can't see. I would have been trying to go for that upper one or something. Make sure you grab the ice to slow down enough. Or so. Then you want to do a good swing over to the right and make sure you grab at the right wow. time. Wow. So mm. All right, let's uh, let's go for it. I guess. grab the bottom i i tried not out of lack of trying my guy not out of a lack of trying oh you mean i didn't grab the bottom of the thing that i grab up too high oh. You need to grab the black shadow spot. Instrumental name. This is loud, louder too by uh, Jid. Like the bottom, bottom. Ah, oh, bullshit. Swinging too much. I'm swinging too much. The issue is you need to yeet to the right more. Okay. Wow. I don't even know what the hell I just grabbed onto. I don't know what the hell I just grabbed.
I'm an icy icy wall. Uh. I hope you don't fall. I'm an icy icy wall. I hope you don't fall. I'm an icy icy wall. I hope you don't fall. I'm an icy icy wall. I hope you don't fall. I'm an icy icy wall. Oh, I grabbed it. You don't fall. Oh, fuck you, ice wall. Icy 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 wall. I grabbed you, bitch. Ha ha! Nice try, boy. It's so funny watching you fall. You will fall in real life all the way down to the fiery depths of hell for all the sins you have committed such as shoving a remote up your butt, having intercourse before marriage, swearing, and calling me a tomato. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was clutch, that was clutch, my guy. All right. Where's the next spot? Where's the next spot? Let me see. Let me see. I don't. Uh, if I if I'm not 100% certain where to go, I'm pulling this guy up. Reach down, reach up to grab that boulder. Save you doing any jumps. If you can avoid doing any jumps at all, it's a, definitely a good idea to do so. So we got these little grabs on the side of the this ice. This game is here. made by the same guy got who did getting over it. No, but it was inspired. Grab the ice. As we start falling, that will slow down our fall and make it so that we're more likely to grab that boulder. Alright, what do you we've do here? We've got a big swing jump that we've got to do here. Heel. And you don't want to start grabbing the uh, the boulder until uh, you're really close to it. A lot of the time in other areas, you'll hold and make it so that we're more likely to grab that boulder. We've got a big swing jump that we've got to do here. And you don't want to start uh. grabbing the, uh, the boulder until uh, you're really... Really close to it. A lot of the time in other areas. Damn. I swing over there. Is that the move from the mushroom? What's this instrumental? This is uh, also Jid, uh, Brutta and them. Brutta and them. No way you make that jump. Ah! Oh, shit! Bruh! Bruh! It's okay. We'll be okay. Just re let's remember where we came. Let's remember where we came from, my guys.
You know, we're, we're, we're past that terrible area where I, where I fell 500 times. We still, that, we got more juice in us. We got more juice in us, my guy. We're gonna be I. We're gonna be I. to be seen I see you I love you do you feel it we're still here God gave us a war and this sword can't be near you reach for it you reach for him you reach for these dreams two wraps on this do rag two when we're out for dinner take care of your skin take care of your liver I won't let them in I won't let you with it just period. <laughs> For all but <it> is. Hulamaw. Sky Nut Butter Song. Good choice, my guy. Thank you, Hulamaw. Appreciate that. Oh. You'll hold the grab buttons. Oh, wait, I never saw him even though he's trying to do it. Good. Easy for the hands to. Technique. We won. All right, sweet. There's that little reach down. Technique. All right, we're going to do a big swing jump to this next one. Again, this is another area where we want to grab late. Grab late. Probably one of them. Well, yeah, it is one of the more difficult jumps in this area. That one. So we need to grab this yeah. this area. That one. Step probably because it's real easy for the hands to slip here. All right, there we go. That's that's good. That's what we want. All right, sweet. There's that little reach down. Technique. All right, we're gonna do a big swing jump to this next one. Again, this is another area where we want to grab late. Man.
I love how the beat even paused for that. What in the fuck? The beat stopped and was like, well, hold up. What, just, what the fuck just happened? Oh, fuck. Damn it. What's this instrumental? This is Can't Make You Change. I'm about to pop up some Skyrim, man. I, I feel like we made good progress today. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's... We did good. We did good, my guy. We made good progress. We, we made good progress. I need to give my, my brain a break from that game for a minute. I need to give my brain a little break. A little tea break from, uh, from that shit. But, uh, guys, we're still in the running. Can you play my instrumental now? I'm about to go. Yes. Yes, I can. Yeah, there's one more instrumental left. Instrumental requests are closed, my guys. I'm about to pop up Skyrim. Steven, you doing instrumental requests tomorrow? Well, I'll be playing Weed Chop, so yes. Yes. One second. Hi Steven, I love you. What are the chances you go bald soon? Fall bald. You can keep this polecat from chatting but I will never leave. I'm here. Forever. And ever. To full life. Wow. Thank you very much, Amber. Amber's saying just because she's not in the chat, that means she's going anywhere. For those who missed it earlier this morning, Amber got banned. Um, she, got, she has a big bounty on her head. $451 for Amber's Bounty, $70 for Mills Coolin Bounty, my guy. It's getting real, man. It's getting real. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go fill my water cup up. Why was she banned? Saucy Boy, Chelsea Lynn, Ed's Ups, people got together, man, and dropped, dropped big money on her head. Dropped big money on her head. Oh, 
gonna chill to the song and then um, we're gonna play some Skyrim. Peace and quiet. McDonald's breakfast people, we wake up for the sweet rush of getting that warm, delicious breakfast right before it ends. Seize the day and save on your faves with a buy one, get one for a dollar breakfast sandwich or from? hash browns. Only oh, in the McDonald's app. Now for a limited time include Thank you. Thank you, McDonald's. The stream has been sponsored by McDonald's. Let's do it. Alright. Let's play. Some Skyrim, man. Let's play some Skyrim. Let's do it. Sell out. I'm sorry. I had to do it, man. If y'all would have saw that check, y'all would have too, man. Y'all would have too. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. All right, let's find Skyrim first. Step one, finding Skyrim. Sure, it's like right in front of me, and I just can't see it. Where are you, Skyrim? Anybody see it? Anybody see Skyrim? Maybe it's not a. Maybe he doesn't have it on the desk desktop. I feel like it was though. I don't see it. it. Must not be there. It's okay. Second from the bottom. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. It was right there. You found it. You can't just search for it. I could, but I like the challenge of like, where's Waldo? Where's it at? But um, you know, could have searched for it. That is true. All right, let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Skyrim, my guy. Long overdue. Long overdue. Yeah, Inverse, you can finally shut the hell up about it. I'm playing Skyrim. I'm playing Skyrim. You can now shut your whore mouth about it. Okay? Tell all your friends. I'm playing Skyrim now. You were doing the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Is that what I was doing? Is that where I'm at right now? Alright. 
let's see. All right, so this is All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. More dark brotherhood shit. Your latest exploit certainly has a sanctuary talking. You're referring to that What's that wet talk? sound? Why is there just a spider down there, my guy? How old are you, Steven? I'm 30. 30! Alright, so what, I have to go kill somebody? Is that what I'm doing? Let's go, baby. Level. I'm only a level 12? That seems low. That seems low. Alright, alright. Where are we going now? How do I pull up the map? F button is the map, bro. Okay. Alright. My hands are wanting to, like, do Elden Ring shit right now. Like, I tried pulling up the map like I would an Elden Ring. I tried zooming out of the map like I would an Elden Ring. What's this? Custom. Let's get that shit out of here. How do I remove? No? Is it just there now? Okay, whatever. Is that it? I don't love the map. I know I've said this before. I don't love the map in Skyrim. I don't. I don't love it. Kill. Okay, there he is. Fast travel. Oh, cool. I can fast travel there. Cool. Alright, so where this look like a maps baby. confuse me. Yeah, me too. I'm bad. Did you really say that too far, man? I just don't like it. I just don't like the map in Skyrim. I don't, man. I, I admit it. I admit it, okay? Help me, help me. <laughs> Get shot in the neck. Help me, help me. All right. That guy was easy to kill. Cool, I got one of my arrows back, too. Noise. Noise. All right, so now I'm going back to that one fellow. Yeah, that was easy, man. That was easy. Easy quest. If you got shot in the neck, what would you say? Probably, help me, help me! Roar! No, if I got shot in the neck 100%, I would say, pain don't hurt. Get away from her! And then do a wicked backflip, yo. By the way, the new Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal. I'm definitely going to be watching that over the week. Over the week we're gone. Brother. Your boy's going to be watching that. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Sounds like he's being sarcastic. You're being sarcastic to me, my guy? Good luck. And try not to get yourself killed. Whatever. Alright, let's go back to the main quest. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to get back to the main quest, my guy. Okay, what are we doing? Okay, let's pull up our... 
Where is it? Here they are. Hmm. What's the main quest? How do I... How do I know if it's a main quest or not? Wait, it's this one, I'm pretty sure. Is it this one? I think this is the main... Elder Knowledge. I feel like that's the main quest. If I remember right, that's what I was doing when I was like, uh... I think I'm underleveled, my guy. I think I'm underleveled. Bill! Thank you for the subscription, my guy. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate you. Yeah, I ain't got time to bleed, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Ain't nobody have time for that. I think we, I'm pretty sure we can fast travel to where we need to go. Huh? We're not. Well, we can get close. We're close. Steven, why do you push your hair back? I don't push it back. It's just the headphones are holding it back. So it's not all like flopping on my forehead. It gets me in the mode, okay? It gets me in my mode. Makes me feel more concentrated. It's a tick. It's a nervous tick. Like when uh, Gordon Ramsay says, calls something beautiful, I push my hair back. Okay? It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. We're gonna be okay, you guys. We're gonna be okay. Is this where the saber tooth is? That damned saber tooth. Yep, there's the frozen uh, mammoth. I almost called it a manatee. That is not the same animal. Ugh. You know what'd be really cool? Are you craving oxys right now, dude? Not even a little, man. Not even a little. I don't know. Those things are terrible. Those things are terrible, bro. I don't know how anyone likes that shit. I really don't. All right. Bet you got some close by, though. Well, yeah, just in case of, like, if I need it, but, you know... Like, I don't need it, need it. You know what I mean? It's like, I, I'm, I'm controlling it. I mean, I did a little bit today just because I don't want to, um, oh, your mom's recovery meds. Yeah, yeah. I'm craving OxyClean by Billy Mays. You know what? That stuff might get you high too. I don't know. I'm not sure. I've never been really experimental like that. Can't say. Wait a minute. See, like, I... This map sucks. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. The map in Skyrim sucks. Be honest, Jive. Now that Jack's not here and he's at dinner with his girlfriend and he's not in the chat, do you think his take on Elden Ring's uh, melee combat is kind of poo-poo caca? I think it's kind of poo-poo caca. In my opinion. You can say it. You're amongst friends now. I think it was a bad take. Now that he's not here, you can admit it, man. You can admit it. I'll say it. I think Jack may still be watching. Nah, nah. He's at, like, dinner with his girlfriend. He would have popped in the chat at least once sometime today. You can say it. Say what you really think, Jive. You can say it. 
I'll protect. I'll, I'll, I'll protect you. I'll protect you, my guy. I'll make sure he can't do anything to you. It was poo poo caca take, wasn't it? What are you playing, Steven? Elden Ring. God, that thing almost nipped me. Little brother is always watching. <laughs> Someday you'll learn that, big brother. The way he described it, it's the perfect game for you. What does that mean? Friendly mushroom. What's that supposed to mean? The fuck is that? Oh. Hey! Down, Fido! Did I not hit you? I think that's kind of bullshit. I think it did, but okay. There we go, baby. No, I can't. Fa Dude, I should always be able to fetch my arrow if it goes into the creature. I think he's right. You can't play it like Liza P, but it's a different game, yeah. Hit, run away, hit, run away. See, I. I don't run away in Elden Ring, honestly, though. Like, that's not... I don't hit and then run away. I roll... So when I first started playing Elden Ring, I would try to hit them and then roll back, and I realized that's not a good move. I actually like rolling towards them. I like being, like, on them the entire fight. I mean, depending on who it is, but for the most part, I think, like, being up their ass is a better strategy. Like, rolling towards their attacks, not rolling away. That's what he keeps saying. He goes, I don't like the hitting and running away or hitting and rolling away. It's like, well, don't roll away. Roll, you roll towards them, not away. When I tried rolling away from them, I, I died just about every time. Yeah, I like staying up their butt. Stay up their butt the whole, the whole time. Bro, is where I'm supposed to be up there? See, like, I didn't know that because of the stupid fucking map. I, I, I couldn't tell. God, I hate this map. I hate it. And then what? I have to figure out how to get up there. And, ugh. God. This just makes me want to play effing Elden Ring, dude. This just makes me want to play Elden Ring. I might just say fuck it. I might just turn this off and just pop up Elden Ring, man. I'm not even joking. Steven hates Skyrim. You know, I don't hate Skyrim. It's just... It's sometimes just annoying. Sometimes this game is kind of annoying. You know? I know some people think it's like the greatest thing ever and, you know. Oh, I have to get up there and go, oh, God. Did you skip my instrumental request because I jokingly asked if the drink makes your peens oft? Not gonna lie, that's hilarious, Lamau. I gotta hand it to you. Did I skip your instrumental request? Because I asked if... I didn't think I did. Did I, Dr. Seuss? Let me go back and look. What was your... Uh, record? Let me see when you said that. Summertime by Will... You know what happens, though? I didn't get like offended by what you said and, and like uh i don't think you play it. so what happens is i didn't get offended and was like i'm not gonna play your request sometimes i get so distracted by the message that i don't even notice there's an instrumental request in there like i didn't even notice you uh you requested that and look skyrim is also annoying as shit because i can't just like click off the game or open up a window like i have to like I have to, like, alt F4 the game in order to open up another window. It's so annoying! I was just weak. No worries. Yeah, no, I didn't purposely skip it, though. I did not purposely skip it. Bro, I'm about to skip the second game, though, man. I'm about to skip the second game. I would install qual quality life of mods like a map. Yeah, there has to... No, you know, it's just... I don't know. Alt F4? I think I might. I think I'm about to. You know what? Yeah, I'm tired of this. 
I'm tired of walking and looking for shit. Sorry. I rage quit. Oh my god, it's not even letting me alt F4. It's not even letting me alt F4, bro. I'm like trapped. What do I have to like? I borderline think this game is like too slow to stream or something, man. It's like too slow. It's too slow. Let's go to the desktop. It's too slow, man. It's too slow. You're stuck in... That's what it feels like whenever I pop up Skyrim, I'm just like stuck. Kind of boring, to be honest. I just... I feel like I would enjoy Skyrim more as an off-stream game. And even then, I don't think I care enough to play it off-stream. I really don't. Like, ditch the bow and use either melee or magic. I don't think that will change anything. I think the, 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 the bow is fine. It's not that. I just... What is it? Like, I can, I'm usually able to express... My meh for a game. So here's the thing with Skyrim. I find the game dull. Is that what it is? Okay, so... It's like... Okay, okay. Let me tell you what I... Okay, let me tell you what I love about Skyrim. I love the NPCs. I really like the way the game looks. I like how the game isn't like super, super amazing graphics. But still looks good. I love... Probably my favorite part about Skyrim, and I love, and I don't know why. Like even games I consider better than Skyrim, Skyrim does this well, where you see an enemy, and they have a bunch of armor and jewelry and a weapon. When you kill that enemy, you can take all of their shit. Everything you see somebody wearing, you can take them. In ninety nine percent of games. That is not the case. Even games I think that are... Like, I think Elden Ring is a better game than Skyrim. And in Elden Ring, you don't just get to take everybody's shit. In Skyrim, it's like, wow. Yeah, everything you see him wearing, you get to take it now. So, I like that. I think the combat is okay. It's okay. But it just... The game feels... that You took too long of a break from it, in my opinion. I think I think Skyrim's kind of boring. Like I I, I I I hate to say it, man. I hate to say it. I think Skyrim is kind of boring. Like, in, in, is this? In, does anybody else agree with that? Am I the only one that thinks Skyrim's a little boring? Hmm. Especially when it's like real snowy and blizzardy, and everything looks the same, and you don't have a horse. So you can't, so you have to walk everywhere. I just kind of get bored. I, I get bored whenever I play it, man. I do. I do. I think some of the, you're not wrong. True. I don't like it. Agreed. Where's the color? Yeah, it's just, I get, I, I get. I used to think as a kid it was the best game ever, but now it's just boring for sure. Look, when it first came out, that was like the game. I mean, that was like the game. But yeah, I just kind of, I just kind of get bored with it, man. I can't, I can't lie. I wanted to keep playing it just because I like to complete games. I like to, you know, I like to be able to rate them and all that stuff. But in this case, I know Skyrim's kind of a long game and I, I just, I, I, I'm too bored with it, man. I, I just, I just, I get bored with it i do i do wait i just stopped it stepped in is he quitting skyrim i'm not quitting skyrim i'm just having a heart to heart with it right now elden ring he's quitting it for the second time you put stakes on the game well i'm not saying i'm quitting it i'm not saying i'm quitting i didn't say that i'm not saying that okay but i'm just saying all you guys who put this game on this like S tier best game ever, I I don't know if I'm there with that man. I don't know if I'm there. Put it yeah, I'm just putting it on the shelf for a minute. You know, 
you know? It's just outdated, brother. You know what, though? There are other games I play that could be considered outdated. Like, there's other games I play that are outdated, but I still have fun with it. Skyrim isn't that fun to me. It's just not that fun. You know? I don't know. I don't know, man. It hurts me to say that. Because I was really excited when I first popped it up. I thought, oh, this is... I, I was genuinely excited to start playing Skyrim. And I'm just kind of having a hard time with it. I'm having a hard time having fun with it. I am. I am, man. You know? It's, I don't know. Like, even with a game like that I'm playing, like, the a, a, a difficult game about climbing, as much as it, like, at least, at least a difficult game about climbing makes me feel something. Sure, I'll feel rage, I'll feel hate, I'll feel like I want to break it, but it's making me feel something. Skyrim, I'm just kind of... Oh, that was pretty cool. Ugh, where do I go? Oh, man, I need to backtrack. Wait, wait, wait. How do you make your own arrows? No, I, I don't see where the shop is at. Well, I don't understand why there's not like a shop in front of the sign. Like, okay, is is this the end? Oh, it's too late. Alright, hold on, I'll rest for a minute. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Alright, well, I better go travel to all the shops and go buy more arrows. <laughs> oh, that shopkeeper's out of money, but he'll still take my arrows? Oh shit. There's a dragon out there. Pretty far away though, so I could probably avoid it. I I I just kind of I don't know. Like I I feel nothing when I'm playing. I feel nothing. I feel nothing while I play it, man. I feel nothing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. You don't have to convince me, man. Just play what's fun. Thank you. Thank you. You know, that's what it's like through my eyes. That is what it's like through the eyes of Steve. It's very dark, very desolate, very dark and very desolate. If you don't want to keep playing, then don't Steven do what you love. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I just feel bad. I, f I feel bad just because you know what it is. I really wanted to love it. I really wanted to love that one. I really did. I really did. I wanted to, but I just, you know, it's like a, it's it's like a it's like a stepchild. It's like you really want to love them, but it's just not the same. You know? No, I'm just kidding. If you're a stepchild or if you have stepchildren, I'm 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 joking. I'm joking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that was that was awful what I said. All right. Let's, um, God, I kind of want to start like Dark Souls or something. Dark Souls. Maybe. How long is Dark Souls? take? What's the, what's the runtime on Dark Souls? Or maybe not. Maybe I don't. Maybe I want to do something completely different. What's the next game? Play The Witcher. Work your way through all the Dark Souls games and replay Elden Ring on stream. Okay. Play The Witcher 3, The Kingdom of Hearts. <laughs> Should I play Kingdom of Hearts? Should that be my next game, Kingdom of Hearts? Am I going to hate that game? I think I might hate that game. I don't know. Do we have Kingdom of Hearts? Hold on, let me look. That'll be funny. Zell thinks I'm going to love it. Zell's convinced I'm going to love Kingdom of Hearts. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. I know you'll only play it for like a stream, but it'll be funny. Nah, bro. Just play Black Flag already. Nah, don't play... You think I should play Black Flag? Assassin's Creed back Black Flag? Is that fun? Will I like that? Is that going to be a good pirate game? Black... Edza seems to be hardcore in the Black Flag. Like, are you telling me to play it because you think I'll like it? Is that what you're saying? 
Or do you want me to shit on it? Yeah, it is good. Yes, do Black Flag. Yes. Never played it, but I think that's a good, fun Steven game. All right. Let's pop up Black Flag. Let me see how long of a game it is. Friendly Mushroom's not sure. But The Witcher is better. I'll get to The Witcher. I'll get to the Black Flag is great. Black Flag Playtime. How long? 23 and a half hours. That's not bad. That's not bad. You know? Ubisoft games are a hit and miss. Is that what uh, Assassin's Creed is? Is that Ubisoft? Assassin's Creed games are never too long. Very formulaic stuff. Okay. The Witcher 3 is amazing. I'm seeing a lot of Witcher... I'm seeing Witcher 3s and I'm seeing uh, Black Flags. I We have The Witcher 3. and I think we have both. I think we have The Witcher 3 and Black Flag. I think we have both of these games. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Let me look. Yeah, we have Assassin's Creed and Black Flag. The first Witcher game is bad. Well, I would do three. Three is the one that I always see people pulling pud to. You know what? I'm going to do a poll. Is my next game going to be The Witcher 3? Witcher 3 is Red Dead 2 levels of long. Holy shit. Let me look. What's the bounty at? Her bounty is at $451, Mr. Sauce. $451, my guy. Witcher 3 playtime. The main objective, if you just focus on the main objectives, it's 51 hours. But if you want to spend time around in the game and see all aspects, it's about 173 hours. It's worth it though, man. But is it worth streaming? Would that be a good streaming game? That's a long ass game, bro. That's a long ass game. 51 hours. You don't even have to play it every stream. Just chip away at it. I don't really like doing... I have a really hard time just playing, like, a game, like, like an hour or two a week. And, and, and like, I, 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 like... Especially when I'm going back and forth between similar games, and I, like, confuse the controls, and it makes me lose interest. That's kind of what happened with Skyrim a little bit, too. You know what I mean? That's kind of what happened with Skyrim. Hmm too long for a stream. I agree. I think, I think that's as much as I want to play the Witcher three, I think 51 hours is a little too much. Pop up Elden Ring. Let me just pop up Elden Ring. Let's just pop it up. I've played Elden Ring, but, um, let's just, let's, let's play some Elden Ring. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just chill, play some, make a new guy. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Because what I'm trying to do is I want to beat Elden Ring before the DLC comes out. Like, off stream, I'm going to beat Elden Ring. And then when the DLC comes out, I am going to play it on stream as soon as it comes out. Holy shit. Elden Ring opened up and it's like on three screens. What the hell, bro? Why is there a big black screen over here now? I don't understand. What is happening? What the F is happening? Oh man, this is getting weird. Hold up. Why can I not see anything anymore? God, why do certain games just, like, F up the screen? I don't understand that, bro. I do not understand that. Like, it made everything gigantic. Like, why? Why? Why would it do that? 
why would I why would it do that hold on let me fix this BS real quick hold on hold on Oh wait. Oops, I didn't even, what? New, wait, if I click new game, will it delete Jax? It'll delete Jax game, won't it? Bro, you know what? It was effing up the, Elden Ring was effing up the screen anyway. It just makes everything gigantic for some reason. Hold on. Like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. I don't understand what's it like rearranged everything. Fuck Jack, delete his game. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to get a game deleting war started, man. I don't think so. Each character has his own file. I don't know, man. It said new game in it. I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh let's start up Black Flag. Let's do it. Let's start up Black Flag. I think I'm gonna have to install it. Alright, it's gonna have to be installed. That's okay though. We'll be okay. Alright, let's install Black Flag. That'll be my next game. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You're a fat flag. Hey, Peter Cheeks, I'm about to hurt you. Not physically, but emotionally. I will emotionally wreck you, my guy. Watch it. Watch it, bub. Watch it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's download some FN um, Black Flag, my guy. We got a check mark. Oh, we got a check mark in the house. Let's check him out. Let's see if he's legit. Let's see if he's legit. Let's see. Go to channel. He has uh, 437 subscribers. 437,000 subscribers. Let's check him out, my guy. Nothing much. How about you, Sunstraker? Yeah, I'm pretty good. <clears throat> I've never played an Assassin's Creed game before. This is going to be my first one. I've always heard mixed things about them. Oh, they're dated. Oh, this one sucks. This one's good. This one sucks. This one's good. This one was almost good. Um, this is going to be my very first Assassin's Creed game. Um, it got donated because I said I wanted a... I was like talking about how I wanted a really good pirate game. Like I want a good game where you can sail the seas and do pirate shit. And uh, according to many people in the chat... This game is about, as, is about as good as it gets as far as uh, pirating, pirate games go. So um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, Timothy, yeah, Mu or Muffy. Muffy is actually the one that gifted this one. You are in for a treat. I'm ready. I'm ready for it, my guy. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm ready to do some pirate shit, man. I'm ready to do some pirate shit. Let's get in that booty. Let's get in that booty.
You're pirating the game. No, I'm getting it on Steam. It was a gift. No one's pirating anything. I'm a pirate in the game. My guy. Coleman? You're on thin ice. You're on thin ice. <clears throat> Skull and Bones is a new pirate game I've heard coming out. I've heard it's not good. I've heard it's not good, though. I have heard that. I could be wrong, but um, I've heard not good things about that game. It's shit. Yeah. I, I was excited when I saw it, too. I was like, oh, a cool pirate game. Cool, cool, cool. And then I just, people who got like a sneak playthrough of it and shit were like, nah, bro. No. You suck at this game. I haven't played it yet, Peter Cheeks. You weirdo. I haven't played it yet. We'll see. We'll see. We'll find out, my guy. We'll find out. You know? Come on. It's so close. It's so close. We're almost here. We're almost here. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Let's play some Black Flag. Ubisoft Connect? Bro, are you kidding me? What, am I going to have to make a Ubisoft Connect uh, account or some shit? Like, I swear, I'm getting sick of it. Okay, it says it's validating right now. Getting sick of it. I better not have to make a Ubisoft account. That will be BS. Bro, what the fuck? What's the issue, bub? Oh, man. Ubisoft's API is cancerous. Verify your email. Oh, you know what? No. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck Ubisoft. Bro. Why is it the bigger the game company, the more cancerous they are, my guy? The universe doesn't want Steven to play a game today. I, it's so weird. I pop up, I pop up Skyrim. I'm just like, I just can't do this. I pop up, I look up The Witcher 3 and it's like 50 hours. I pop up, fix Elden Ring display, bub. You can't, you can't play Elden Ring then? Will, if I make a new account, it's not going to delete Jack's account? If I make a new account, it's not going to delete Jack's? No? Are you just guessing, Coleman? Are you just guessing? Weed Shop? I'm going to play Weed Shop tomorrow. I think it will. Yeah, I... I think new game just starts a new character. But what if it doesn't? What if it doesn't? No, each character will be in the load game. Okay. All right, we'll see. I'll pop it up then. Why no one's given a saw that that I know, that's what's weird too. Yeah, no one gave a solid answer. They're just like, I don't think so. It's like, dude, Elden Ring's a pretty popular game. Uh, let me see. You know what? I'll just play a little Elden... Let's just chill play a little Elden Ring, man. Let's just chill play a little Elden Ring. No. I haven't played it recently. That's okay. Because Jack will ban if someone is wrong, LOL. <laughs> Elden Ring is a long game. I'm not saying I'm going to sit here and beat it. Just, you know. Saints Row 2. I've heard I've heard good stuff about uh about Saints Row, man. I've heard good stuff. I have. 
What about Dark Souls? I've never played Dark Souls. I've never played any of the Dark Souls games. What about Dark Souls? What about that one? Would I like that? It takes 60 hours to beat Elden Ring. Yeah. Dark Souls is good jank. Bloodborne is only on the PlayStation, I'm pretty sure. Timothy, Timothy said, please not Dark Souls. Why not, Timothy? Just wondering. Cyberpunk or Kingdom Come Deliverance? What's Kingdom Come Deliverance? What's that? Kingdom Come Deliverance? Jack plays that to death. Oh yeah, Cyberpunk. Do Kingdom Come. Let me, let me, let me look this one up. A medieval type game. Let's check it out. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh, wait. I think I remember Tim Leonard showing us this. Hey, you know, we're here with another episode of Before You Buy. The show, first and foremost, it, it, as possible. And that earns points for me. Mill Fantasy RPG, you know? If I be an adventure, you know, old real world Henry, he had a fight. I pray these guys might take us down. They're pretty popular. It looks like Skyrim. <laughs> said this deserves to be on my list of shitty games. I was so put off by these mechanics. I'd never experienced anything like it before. I love single player RPGs, but this one caught me way off guard. Every time I fought an enemy, I would lose, and I started to think, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. I just felt like an NPC in a world way bigger than me. Every engagement that I lost- This game is really hard and confusing. I began to think if I was even worthy of being considered an NPC. I ended up quitting the game that day like I imagine most people would after feeling so demoralized. The next day, I wondered if I should just refute hyper-realism. It didn't care what I expect from a typical RPG where I could- So that or Cyberpunk? Is Cyberpunk already on here? Is Cyberpunk already on here? Maybe I should start Cyberpunk. That's a controversial game. Cyberpunk is controversial, you know? People love it. People hate it. How long does that game take to be? Cyber... Jack might have Rage uninstalled it. Cyberpunk. You think so? You think he hated it so much he, he un uninstalled it? Hmm. We'll see. We'll find out. Cyberpunk playtime. Nah, you'll like it. I bet you'll last longer than Jack. That's what she said. Let me see. Um, oh, Cyberpunk's a short game, too. All right. Cyberpunk. Let's do it. Let's do Cyberpunk. The tutorial is just so long, LMAO, is it? That's okay. That's okay. I feel patient right now. I'm in a very patient... Actually, I'm in a very unpatient mood, to be honest. Chelsea Lynn. Jacob Goldie really, really, really wants you to check out Helldivers 2. Like really bad. He's DMing a lot of time. He wants me to check out Helldivers 2. I've seen... Um, I've seen that game. It's where you, like, go fight giant bugs. It's like a, a roguelike. I think that game looks interesting. I don't know if we have it on here. Helldivers 2 is the new trendy game. That's kind of the vibe I get from it. You know, I kind of get the vibe that it's like this, like, you know, kind of like, uh, shit, the one that I played with Pace and uh, Buttfinger a couple times where you go to the planets and get the resources and shit. It was kind of the vibe I was getting from. I was like, okay, this is like the new new trendy thing. Lethal Company. Yeah, I was kind of getting a Lethal Company vibe from it or something. But um maybe I'll place maybe I'll do Cyberpunk, man. Let me see if we have it. Pretty Oh yeah, we of course we have. Well, Jack might have uninstalled it though. No. He uninstalled it, but we have it. What do you think Jack's playtime on him on it was? I because I can look at it right now. What was Jack's playtime on Skyrim or uh, Cyberpunk? How long did he play before he gave up and decided it was a crap game? 
How long did he play it before he thought, no, this is crap? 32 minutes, 20 minutes, 2 hours, an hour, probably an hour, 5 hours, 2 hours, 48 minutes. He played it for an hour and a half and then decided that it was a piece of dog shit. He gave it an hour and a half. I don't think an hour and a half is long enough. You know, I played Skyrim. How long did I play Skyrim for? To be fair, so people are going, you don't like Skyrim no more. How long did I play Skyrim before I said, I just don't love this game? How long did I play it for? Let me look. How long did I put into Skyrim? Because I'll give a game a chance, man. I will give a game many, many, many chances. Where the hell is Skyrim? Oh, yeah, it's called Elder Scrolls. That's what it's labeled as, Elder Scrolls. Yeah, I put 20 hours. I put 20 hours into Skyrim before I said, you know what? I just don't love this game. It, it bores me. This game bores me. 20 hours. That is that is a fair shake. That is a fair shake. 20 hours is a fair shake. Dude, just finish Skyrim. But it bores like why do I have to finish something that bores me? Why, what's the obligation? You know, it's, it's, it's boring. It's boring. Can you rate it now then? I, I think I can. I think I can. I'm going to give Skyrim a rating. Come on, but bro, bro, I think 20 hours is fair. I started it and quickly got bored. You will play Skyrim. Yeah, you will play Skyrim. I mean, I'm sorry, dude. I think 20 hours is fair, man. I think 20 hours is fair. All right, I'm giving Skyrim a rating and a review. I'm getting skill issues. Well, either way, I'm giving it a, I'm giving it a rating. And a, dude, I beat Sekiro. It ain't no skill issue. All right, here it is. I'm going to give my review for Skyrim. Okay. <clears throat> so, Skyrim does a lot of things right. I like the way it looks. I like how big the world is, how the NPCs are very strange and awkward, yet also lively. I enjoy that. I, I enjoy how strange the NPC dialogue is. I like how similar a lot of the voices. There's some... Skyrim has a lot of charm to it. That, I think Skyrim put a lot of its points into its charm and charisma. I do. What is happening? Hold on. Ruby's like freaking out. Hold on. Hold on. What is it? Okay. Um, so yeah, I find Skyrim to be a very charming game. I, I absolutely see why some people love it and put 5 million hours into it and all the mods and the customization and the sort of comfort it brings people. However, for me, and it kind of comes down to a simple thing, I just kind of found the game to be boring. I think the traveling is boring. I think the combat is kind of boring. Um, definitely dated and boring. Um, I don't like the map. I don't like that. Whether you're indoors in a cave, whether you're outdoors and you're, you're looking at the, 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 the big world, I just don't like the map. I don't like it. I think it's sometimes like misleading and it, it, it just confused the shit out of me. That's probably just my fault for being a dummy. Um, I really tried to like it. I really, really did because there's a lot of stuff I do like about it. However, 
It's boring. It was boring to me. I just found it dull. I think Friendly Mushroom put it best. It, I found it to be kind of dull. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the fanboys. Um, yeah. That's all I really got to say about that. Um, I'm going to give Skyrim... I'm going to give Skyrim... For me, personally, six out of ten waffles. I'm giving it a personal six. I'm giving it personally a six, my guy. You know? It's not god-awful, because I put 20 hours into it, so clearly I didn't, like, hate it. But I didn't care enough to beat it. Just don't care. I'm not, like... I need to see the next boss. I need to see what happens next. I'm just kind of like, I don't really care. Don't care. I said the same thing, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, six. Six out of ten waffles. It's all right. It's all right. Just not for me. And um, I didn't want to give it any more time. I didn't want to. Skyrim with mods as well. I'm sure if I played it, off stream, got high on Sticky Icky, played with a bunch of mods, I'm sure I would enjoy it more. I'm saying in my current situation, streaming it, playing without mods, uh, Vanilla Skyrim is boring for sure though. Yeah, I was just kind of like, eh, it's kind of boring. Kind of boring, my guy. Six out of ten. Skyrim VR. Now that sounds like it might have some potential. Potential. Skyrim on VR. That. That sounds interesting to me. That that sounds like that would that would maybe breathe a little life into it, especially if it, if the VR is done well. Um, I think Skyrim on VR could um could definitely could definitely be be an improvement to me you didn't even try the thomas the tank engine dragon mod i bet you're not even making that up you're not even making that up are you that's real steven since you haven't played red dead 2 in a long time i think it's time you play the first red dead it's pretty good it also has a zombie dlc The first Red Dead is absolutely an option. The first Red Dead is absolutely an option. But you know what? I want my next game to be Cyberpunk. I'm installing Cyber Cyberpunk right now. It's not a very long game. I, I'm going to play Cyberpunk next. I'm playing Cyberpunk. I want to see what the controversy is about, controversy is about my guy. You know, that's one where... Like, going into Sekiro... Everyone loved it. Every, you know, I knew I was going to like Sekiro. They're like, yeah, everyone, you're an idiot if you don't like Sekiro. You know, Grand Theft Auto V, I knew I was going to enjoy it. This one, Cyberpunk, I don't know, man. I, I, I see people go back and forth with it. Um, Cyberpunk is great, but it has way too much dialogue. Hmm, that's okay. That's okay. Let's watch some yoga vids while we install. Play Hogwarts. Ugh. Jack said he thinks I would like that. I guarantee. I don't think I would, man. I liked it. Yeah, I'm. Ex I'm excited for to put to try out uh, Cyberpunk. Tim Leonard. No, I don't think I would like Hogwarts, man. Jack said that it wasn't mostly. Uh, I I still stand by. It's mostly Harry Potter fans that, that were the ones freaking out about that. You a Harry Potter fan? No, not really. Not really. You know? Play God of War. Are are those games... I know the newer ones are all like PlayStation exclusives or console exclusives and you can't get them on Steam. Can you get the older ones on Steam or something? Hmm. Steam has one. Okay. Okay. 
Cyberpunk is going to take forever to, it's taking forever to download anyway, so maybe we could like put that on pause. Yeah, we're put, we're, we're going to put the Cyberpunk on pause just because it was only like 10% done. 2018 is on Steam, you would love it. Really? Wait, the 2008 God of War is on Steam? Is it? Is it? Are you are you bull pooping me? Are you bull pooping me? Did you cancel the Assassin's Creed download? I didn't cancel it. I downloaded it and then it was like saying that I need to make a Ubisoft account. So I and I I'm not in the mood today to make a Ubisoft account, so I just cursed the game and closed it. Yeah, it pissed me off. It was like Ubisoft would like to make alterations to your app. And I was like, fine. And then it asked me again and it kind of pissed me off. And it was like, all right, tell us your email and make it a Ubisoft account. And I was just like, M bro, fuck off. Fuck off. All right, God of War. All right, you know what? Let's check out God of War, man. Let's check out God of War. I don't see it. Wait, is that it? Okay, wait. This one? Okay, I think I found the right one. Downloading a third game. <laughs> oh, it's 50% off too. Cool. All right. My next game is God of War, and then I'll do Cyberpunk. Next game is God of War. I want to play God, God Rest in Peace. No, no, Cyberpunk is still here. Cyberpunk isn't going anywhere. But um, I did not know you could get God of War on here, and I'm kind of excited now. I'm kind of excited now. Play RDR1 after God of War. God of War, Cyberpunk, Red Dead Redemption. Bro, there's just too many games, man. Too many games, too little time. You will be in love with God of War. We'll see. We'll see. All right, I'm downloading it. Or I'm, I'm installing it. Bought the game. Let's install it. Let's install it, my guy. I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one. Bro, I keep inst I'm in like a manic mood. I keep like installing and uninstalling and pausing and canceling and opening and closing. This is getting weird. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. It's the opiates. It's the opioids. You know, it only takes one pill. It only takes one, one opioid pill, my guy. It made me off today. It makes me off. F full moon coming. It's a... God of War is a father and son journey. Am I going to, like, have an extra connection to this game? Is there a little roguey in this game? Am I about to have an extra connection to it? Nah, more than one, bro. Okay, I had two of them. I had two of them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did. I did. How long of a game is God of War? Let's see. You ever play... You never played God of War... I had it when it for the 2018 one on my PS4, I think. I had it and I played it for very 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 short period of time. Very short period of time. I remember nothing. I remember nothing. Twenty to 25 hours. All right, God of War is the next game. God of War is the next game. I always hear people jerk the game off. I want to join the Bukaki. I want to join the Bukaki. I want to jerk the game off too. I'm all about it, my guy. Let's do it. Check out Days Gone. Thank you, Jacob Goldie. I've heard of Days Gone. Is that supposed to be a good one? Days Gone is a good game. 
I'm in this weird in-between game limbo right now. It's kind of freaky. It's kind of freaky. I don't like you guys to see this side of me. I don't like you guys to see this side of me. Top Super Dave continuing his membership. For 20 months! Said, hi, Steven. How are you doing today? I'm doing, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Doing good, brother. How you doing, man? How you doing? Doing cool? Doing cool? Good. Good. Cindy G! With the 20 gifted members, my guy! Cindy Mother F and G, baby! Cindy Mother F and G popping in on this rare Thursday stream, baby. On this rare Thursday stream, dropping a box of F and waffles, my guy. Dropping a box of F and waffles. Holy guacamole, baby. Holy guacamole. Thank you very much for the 20 gifted members. Cindy, you guys, that's how you support your boys, man. Gifted members, the donations, my guy. That's how you support your boys. And uh, Cindy G knows that, my guy. Which is why he just dropped a fat 20 gifted members on us, my guy. That is like $100. But better. But better. Thank you very much, Cindy G. Appreciate you, my guy. And if Cindy G just got you into the club, our very secret, very exclusive club, thank that man. Thank that man on your way in, my guy. Do that for me. Do that for me. Cindy G said, for real, I wasn't expecting this. Good to see. Good to see my G. Waffles. Heart, 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 heart. Hey, man. Very rare Thursday stream. A very rare Thursday stream, my guy. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Cindy G, for the 20 gifted members. Thank you very much, my guy. Very generous. Very generous of you, baby. Appreciate you. Cindy G, are you a fan of God of War? Because that's the shit I'm about to pop up. It must be a big... You know, it's, it says it's not that big of a game. Or not that long of a game, but damn. It's taking a minute to download. It's taking it a minute to download. It's 19% done. That's okay though, because we can wait. We'll wait. We'll wait for this one to be done. We'll wait. We got patience. It says it will be... Okay, there's uh, 11 minutes remaining. It's, it's worth it all, Steven. I'm excited. I am excited to play some God of War. I am excited to play some God of War, my guy. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to pop this bad boy up. I'm pretty excited to pop this bad boy up. The main story isn't long. Let's do it. Let's do it, my guy. Almost forgot Daily Dono. Thank you for the $10, Tim Leonard! Thank you for the $10, Tim Leonard! Appreciate that, my guy. Thank you very much. Thank you for the $10, Tim Leonard, and thank you for the 20 gifted, Cindy G. I love you guys. I love you guys. Tim said, you've let me down, Steven. How, Tim? How? What did I do? Tell me how I hurt you. Tell me how I hurt you. I want to know how I let Tim Leonard down. That way I can never make that mistake again. I do. I do. Tell me, Tim. Tell me. I was so pumped about cyberpunk. Oh, now I feel bad. Where's the patience for cyberpunk? He quit cyberpunk already? I was only gone for five minutes. <laughs> Dude, I gave it a tr Look, I gave cyberpunk a chance and I just wasn't feeling No, I'm kidding. No, I will play cyberpunk. I swear. I swear I will play Simulator, do you want me to... Do you I, I will stop downloading God of War right now and pop up cyberpunk. I, I will start downloading Cyberpunk again, my guy. I will. I will. You want me to do that? You want me to play some Cyberpunk instead? Pop it up. Well, neither one is fully downloaded. 
No, no, I can wait. I can wait. Okay. How about this, Tim Leonard? After God of War, Cyberpunk is a 1,000% God of War was literally made for Steven. Let him play it. I've heard people say Cyberpunk is made for me too, man. After I play God of War, I will 1,000% Cyberpunk will be my next game. Absolutely. Absolutely Cyberpunk will be my next game. The only thing that kind of scared me is someone said there's a lot of talking in it, which is okay with me, but I don't, don't want to like bore people with, with a lot of talking, but I mean, I could skip it, but unless the talking is, unless the dialogue is like, you know, important for the game and adds a lot. I'm excited that you're excited to play God of War, so it's all good. I was just busting your ball. Okay. Because I really want to play Cyberpunk too. That game, Cyberpunk has this like, veil of mystery to me because I've never seen gameplay of it. I have no idea what the game looks like. I I I think it's like a Grand Theft Auto type game. If I'm if I if I if I'm correct, I think it's like a Grand Theft Auto type game, I'm pretty sure. Um when it first came out, it, it was all this crazy shit where they promised all this shit and it didn't happen, but then they've slowly updated it to where it is at the point when they what they promised and now there's people that love it people that say it still sucks people that said it sucked but now they love it so i'm just um i don't know man i like controversial shit and cyberpunk falls into that category perfectly falls into that category pretty perfectly so no i'm curious about cyberpunk whereas god of war didn't god of war win like game of the year the year it came out like, this is a lot, like, God of, isn't God of War, like, a, um, I think everybody loves this one. Isn't it? Yeah. God of War won the game of the year when it came out. Plus, I think Kratos, I mean, he's just, he's just, he looks cool as fuck. It did in 2018. Okay. Okay. Hey, man, that's, that's pretty, it was a popular game. I think I just read that. If you love controversial games, you'll love Postal 2. I actually beat Postal 2. That was one of the first games I beat on stream, was Postal 2, actually. Good game. Good game. I don't remember what I uh, rated it, but it's a good game. It's fun. So that was a good streaming game. Postal 2 was a good streaming game. Absolutely. Postal 2 was great, yeah. Yeah. Very offensive, very fun. I'm gonna um I think I wanna grab a Yerba. I think I wanna grab a Yerba. I'll be right back. Be right back, and then we're gonna play some God of War. My guys, we're about to pop up God of War 2018. Uh I'm excited for this one, man. I I've been waiting for one to perk me up. I feel perked up now. I feel I feel a little a little meerkatty right now, my guy. I feel a little meerkatty. I feel like this is... I feel like I have to love this game. I feel like I'm going to have to love... What happened to Cyberpunk? I beat it. What do you mean? I beat Cyberpunk. Uh, I really enjoyed the story. Really enjoyed the dialogue, the characters, the vibe. I just felt the gameplay was a little lackluster. But the story more than made up for it. I gave it 8.5 out of 10 waffles. I, sp I sped run. I sped run. I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
Hey guys, um, oops. Um, Bree wants me to help get Rogi to bed. I'm gonna go get him dressed and stuff really quick. Um, do you guys want to look at the room, or do you want the BRB screen? I'll be gone for a minute. I'll be gone for a minute. <gasps> God of War just finished downloading. God of War just finished downloading. I see Jack is in the chat. Jack, if you missed it, I decided Skyrim is boring. I couldn't fake it anymore. Skyrim is boring, so I'm starting uh, God of War 2028. 2018. So, uh... Big Brother is up to big things. Big Brother is up to big things. Um... Be professional, Steve. BRB. You're right. You're right. Let me do that. Let me do that.
Waste a milkman, what deliver my milk? In the morning, I wish the milkman would deliver my milk. When I'm yawning, I wish the milkman would deliver my milk. In the morning, I wish the milkman would deliver my milk. When I'm yawning, I would like some milk from the milkman's wise tits. What up, my guys? What up? How you guys doing? Hey. <laughs> hey. Alright. No more effin' foreplay. Can't wait to see him cook the grilled cheese. I'm excited too, man. I'm excited too, bro. I'm excited too. Did you take all of Jack's yerbas? No, these are my yerbas. Bree got these at the store. I like these are my favorite. These Guyak, Guyaki Organic Yerba Mate Sparkling Grapefruit Ginger. This, the Pomegranate Cranberry, and the Classic Gold. Those are my favorite Yerbas. Those are my favorite Yerbas. They're very uh, refreshing. <sighs> All right. Are you guys returning on April 1st? Is that the day we return? Let me look. So we won't be here this week. Yeah, we will be back on April Fool's Day. We will be back on April 1st. There you go. Or is all this just a prank? And we actually are streaming next week. And my mother's knees are perfectly fine. I don't know. Would we do that? I don't know. Let's find out. All right. God of war. God of effing war. Um, I've been wanting to play this game for a minute now. I know a lot of people have wanted to watch me play it. I didn't know it was on Steam. I How am I just now learning that this game is on Steam? How? How? Does Meat Canyon give you nightmares too? No, he makes me laugh. I don't, I've, we told you many times, really? At least I did. Probably didn't believe you. I bet it asked for an email. Uh, you know what's crazy? Isn't it crazy how you can give a gaming company $60 for a game, download their game, install their game, and that is not enough. They still require your email. Is that not fucking ridiculous? I mean, is that not just like laughable? Like, it's just like, oh, so me giving you $60, I still technically am not allowed to play your game until I also make an account with you or give you an email address. I gave you $60 for a fucking video game, motherfucker. Games are already overpriced, bub. And it's always like the shitty AAA games that make you do that, too. It's never even like the good ones. It's always the shitty ones. Such bullshit. Such bullshit, my guy. Makes me sick. Makes me effing sick. Half the time I use the 10 minute email thing for them. What's that? I use burner emails. Y'all have burner emails? I don't think I have a burner email. I just get, I just rage and say no and press X. That's what I do. LMAO, I just saw Steven is racist. Oh, you found out? Been trying to hide it for a long time, but my hate just couldn't go away. My hate just couldn't go away. Rockstar does that same shit with GTA. I can't stand it. 
It's just, it's like, bro, if someone is paying $60 for your game, and you know what, if you're giving out your game for free, sure, ask for an email. Fine, whatever. But if you're charging someone $60, don't hassle them. Don't hassle them at all. In fact, the only reason you should be at, they should be asking for your email is for them to say, thank you very much for giving us $60 for this game that you have not played yet. They should just be sending you a thank you letter, not uh, uh, requiring something of you. Fuck off. Fuck off with that. All right, guys. Let's do it. No more effing foreplay. God of War! I'm excited. Let's do this. Let's do this, baby. Let's pop this bad boy up. God of War, my guy. Ooh. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Ugh. Uh, I hope this game is as badass as I'm hoping it is, man. I hope it's as badass as what I was what I think. Ah, let's do it, baby. Let's do it. All right. Look, it's not asking for an email address. It's just coming up. What do you want the brightness to be, motherfucker? That's what I when I buy your game and download it. That's all I want to see. What's the brightness, motherfucker? Before you say anything to me. What's your preferred brightness, you cunt? Let me see. Adjust until the details are barely visible on both halves. There we go. Wow. The combat in this game is so freaking satisfying. After this, definitely gotta play Ragnarok. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. All right, this is it. Why do I already have the chills? Why do I already have the effing chills? Tree hugger. This guy is clearly a tree hugging sissy. All right, maybe a little loud. Maybe a little loud. down a tree, baby. That's how a man cuts down a tree. Found some. Get in the boat, boy. <laughs> Bro, that voice, my guy. God damn. This man, this man eats nails for breakfast without any milk. He would definitely be let in the salty spittoon. Um, this is how he gathers firewood. Okay. 
All right. God damn, bro. Still want me to tie it to the boat? Yes, boy. He just gently sat a tree down. Boy. That is enough. Spoiler, Kratos says boy over a thousand times in this game. That's okay with me. That's okay. Am I just dragging that Father? tree around? What? Did something change? The forest feels different. No. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Yes, sir. So badass, bro. The way he just picks that effing tree up like it's nothing. Steven's gonna be taking Rogi on camping tri trips like that. Just like that. Bro, I, I better start getting more pull-ups in my guy. If I'm gonna be picking trees up like that. I'm gonna need to start maybe strapping some weight to myself or something. I love how the credits are rolling as you, as we're walking. Cinematic, man. That's a movie. That was the last. Kratos axe if he beats it. <laughs> I want all the weapons. No, I probably wouldn't be able to pick that thing up, man. Oh shit. Mother, do I see my mother? Hello there, do I see my father? Hello there, do they call to me? Hello there, do they call to me? Hello there, do they call to me? there do they call to me what is that his Hello mom they call to me damn I haven't even played She's the game yet and I'm already impressed how am I already impressed
know how they say if you have an erection for longer than four hours, go to a doctor? What if you have goose pimples longer than four hours? Do I go to a doctor for that? That's what I'm getting. What game is this? This is God of War 2018. Or I mean Cyberpunk. Yeah, my bad. My bad. Cyberpunk. Damn, bro. I'm sorry. Squeeze. This knife, it was hers, now it is yours. She told you to hunt. What she knew? Show me. Now? Now. Steven, this game was caught with one single camera shot that never stops. You are gonna love this game. Why? Wow. Okay, so there's no cuts? I thought something... There hasn't been a cut. There has not been a cut. I like that. I like that. What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh. This way. Alright. So we're. That's our first quest. We're gonna go hunt deer hunting. Father? Why so are we manly. doing this now? I need to know you can survive the journey. Then we leave for the mountain? Depends on you. Hunt. Alright. What did you find? Tracks. Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. Okay. What's this? Hack silver? Silver all over this place. Boy. XP. Okay. More tracks? Yeah. But they're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Oh! Now what? Press B to jump gaps. This way, boy. Hup. Oh. Wait. Deer tracks. They're fresh. This way. Holy shit! That's a deer right there, Slow my down, guy! Boy. Sorry. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. That was a that was a magical looking deer, my guy. What was that? A 12 pointer? He broke our bridge. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. Oh. The fuck? We're pulling out our axe, baby. Hold LT to aim. Press right bumper or right trigger to throw. Wow. Go. Well, uh. Oh. Press Not Y to recall the axe. That felt Hold. very nice. 
What are you doing? Now its guard is up. Only fire. Only fire when I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. <laughs> Do Find not it. be sorry. Be better. Oh, I can't <clears throat> wait till I can say that to Jack. Find. Although it. Jack never says sorry, so I, I probably will never have an opportunity. <laughs> Do not be sorry. Be better. Oh, bro. Bro. Ah, my bow! No! You are not ready! I, I've been kind of in a weird mood today. I've been a little off, honestly. I've, I've just kind of felt like meh today. You know, just one of those days that happens. This game has, like, lifted me out of that mood. Stay back! Oh, shit. Oh, oh, what's up, little bitch? Oh, I have a... Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. They've never come this close to our woods before. Keep moving. Man, bro. What did that do? Find health. Oh, that restored my health. I just like stomp. Of course you just stomp on shit. What brand of shoes do you wear, Steven? I wear um, Adidas. Um... Fuck are they called? Adidas. Up there. Hyper. Hi, Ultra Boost. Adidas Hyper. You went in the old temple. Ultra Boost. But mom told me never to go in. There. Ultra Boost. One. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. Dude, throwing the axe and having it come back <sighs> to you is very, very satisfying. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. I wear the Batman 300 MSs. Is that I went true? hunting with Mother a bunch of times. He never wanted to take me. Why now? It was her wish. And it was time. Okay. Dragger! During combat, an enemy's health bar is displayed above them when they take damage or when they target Kratos.
good, bro? No? Drop him! Is that Steven and Rogi? Pretty much, yeah. When me and Rogi go camping, this is pretty much what it's like. Something's gotta open that gate. Yeah, go crawling. Go crawl through the hole, boy. Go crawl through the hole. the gate, Steven? How do you do that? Oh. Oh. To your left? <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's open. I might have overthought that one. Okay, hold. Oh, okay, now I can hit oh. it. You froze it in place. Okay. Clever. Yeah, I'm very clever, boy. Clearly, very clever man. So nice. Okay. Mind your manners, boy. Bro, now I just want to get buff for Halloween and be Kratos for Halloween. Father. And have Rogi and have dude. I could be Kratos and Jack could be the boy. Bruh. Wait for my mark. Relax. All of Do a sudden, yeah. You know what? Now Kratos makes me feel like going bald ain't that bad. But as an animal, it is simply a target. Clear your mind. Steady your aim and breathe in. Exhale and release. I got it. Good. Good job, boy. <laughs> Bag that animal. I'm proud of you, son. It's still alive. Your knife. No. Finish what you started. Wow. I can't. Dark out of nowhere. Holy shit! Atreus. Oh. Oh. Holy shit! We're gonna fight that? <laughs> we have no choice. Press X to command Atreus to shoot arrows. Hold left trigger and then press X. Alright, right, so I can make him shoot arrows. Holy crap. Okay. 
Okay, just tell me what they shoot. Yourself, boy. I'm fine. Kill it. Bro. Get out of there. Bro. No, get up. Damn. God dang, bro. Do you pretty much just have to stand back and throw your ass? Anytime, if I try to get in this guy's face, he F's me up. Just tell me what you're doing. Oh, 
my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh, that was so badass. Oh, that was so badass. That's what you get! Boy. <laughs> Boy, look at me. Look at me, boy. Boy, look at me. We did it. Calm down, Rogi. You are not ready. What? Are you serious? I found the deer. I proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been Dang. sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. Damn. I am ready. Do not speak again. <laughs> The path home is this way. Uh. Wow. He did better than you. That's what I'm saying. I mean, he was pretty helpful during the fight. I don't know, man. Stunning enemies. An enemy stun bar is located below their health. Attacking an enemy in quick successions will inflict stun damage, causing the bar to fill. Once the bar is filled, the enemy is stunned. Press R S to grab this. Okay. Arrows and barehanded attacks inflict extra stun damage. Curtis can switch to barehanded attacks by throwing the axe or sheathing it. He just like grabs your head and your collarbone and just oh shit! He'll stun the shit out of you, bro. Just rips right through him, my guy. Wow! All right. Fucking love the finishers. Dude, that's badass, man. When he jumped on that big dude and just like grabbed his head and broke his neck, oh, oh, so cool, so cool. Still can't get the doors open, huh? Quiet. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Find a different route. I'm gonna go this way. Or is this. Is this where we came from? If it is, I still forgot shit. Okay. Go back up. <laughs> Wait, bro, is this God of War? This is God of War. This is God of War. And so far, I, I know I'm only like 20 minutes in, but mm. Mm. I'm, in, I'm into it. I'm into. I'm already into it. I'm already into this one, you guys. Sometimes it takes a minute to know if you're into a game. This one, this feels pretty instant. <laughs> Throwing the axe at some enemies would be impressive, honestly. <laughs> what barehanded? Let's go, baby. <laughs> Though. 
Lisa, that's a good question. <laughs> Some enemies are resistant to the axe. Oh, he's resistant to the axe? Well, we're just gonna have to punch him in the face, aren't we? I told you something was different about the forest. And I told you not to speak. Speak when spoken to, boy. Yeah, he had blue waffle, man. He was extra powerful. But why would a fire troll burn Mother's garden? And since when are Draugr so close to the house? And what was that frozen thing that attacked us? I do not know. Now be silent. We are almost home. Be silent, boy. Where'd he go? Hey, boy, how do we get home? Lead us home, boy. Probably here, right? The God of War series started on the PS2. Dude, I... Okay, so my only other memory of a of a god of, I remember being like 12 years old maybe even a little bit younger than that maybe like 10 11 12 and getting a god of war game renting one from blockbuster and the very first boss just not knowing what the fuck to do and quitting just being like this game I remember just thinking it was so hard and I just did not under like my my little my little brain it was just too much to wrap around I had to fight like some like big three-headed dragon or some shit and I couldn't I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Inside, boy. This one and the 2023 sequel are very different from those of the past. Yeah. Bro has been quitting games since he was a lad. It's in my blood. Quitting games is in my blood, my guy. Ah, I remember the very first game I quit. Good, good, good memories. Good memories. Control. That thing was trying to kill us. It's not like you don't get anger in a fight. Anger can be a weapon. If you control it, use it. You clearly cannot. When you I haven't been sick in a long time. I'm better now. Fine. Steven looking pale, you need some sunlight, my Come guy. On, Shut your mouth. Dude, you it's freaking I want you to try. 30 degrees outside. What do you want me to do? Go to a tanning bed. Ow! What are you- Try again. Why are you doing that? Too slow. Try again. Cut it out! Weak. Again. Again! Stop it! Again! <clears throat> Your anger. You can get lost in it. The path ahead is difficult. And you, Atreus, are clearly not ready. Who was that? Quiet. Come on out! There's no use hiding anymore. I know who you are. 
What's going on? Do you know him? More importantly, I know what you are. Boy, beneath the floor. Now. But you told me never to go down there. Who is that? I do not know. What's he talking about? I do not know. Get in. I do not know. Just tell me what I want to know. No need for this to get bloody. But... <laughs> Thought you'd be bigger, but you're definitely the one. Long way from home, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, you already know the answer to that. A SoundCloud rapper? Is this secret, is not what I was habit. expecting to be at the door. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter. And yet you hide out here in the woods like a coward. You do not want this fight. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. <gasps> oh, bro, really? This guy's punk weight, dude. Leave. Kratos. My. Pull his head off, my guy. This guy's a little punk. You are going to have to kill me for that to happen. I warned you. Finally. What is this dude thinking, bruh? You would not listen. No, 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 fine, my turn. <laughs> Disappointing. Come on, then. Oh, we doing this Point. right now? Oh, 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 Are you even trying? Come on already. We seem to have underestimated him. Yeah. Forget how to use a shield. Hmm? Good point. Thank you for reminding me I have a shield. That it? Not very bright. I health do I have a, something uh, a little health thing out here my guy I'm about to die yeah. oh shit oh shit oh my god damn tell me what I want pain stops real soon Why are there two beds in there? Oh. Oh. Come on, come 
Oh, bringing that health bar down, Mario. Oh, shit. Struck a nerve, did I? Slow and old, you should never have come to Midgard. Is this health going back up? Are you kidding me? So, care to try again? Oh. You talk too much. You won't talk? Fine. Maybe whoever it is you've got stashed in that house will. Who is it? Who are you afraid of? Fine. Let's find out. Oh, I'm in like a rage. I'm in like a rage mode. Red Dead Redemption 2 was the most testosterone-fueled game I've ever played. I was wrong. I was wrong, bro. This. This, dude. My god. Is he still alive? Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't now know. Now Steven can say someone showed up on his porch both in real life and in a video game, too. Right? Who do you got hiding in there? What's up, Warflers? It's Super King. Been away for a while since Jess's mansion defeated me. But I'm here to drop my lovingly crafted return to Twitch. We'll be exploring love, Discord drama, Malibu, electricity and band cartoons on Friday 4 p.m. EST. Ta care. Electricity? Leaving so soon? Bruh. This dude don't die. When Odin sent me here, I just needed answers, but you, you had to act out. 
They are making Bro, the grounds. They are splitting I'll the earth coming. right now. That old body will give out. Oh, but like, my goose pimples this, won't go away. I want you to know one thing. I can't feel any of this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so cool. Can't hurt me. Nothing can. This fight is pointless. Your struggle is pointless. You didn't have to be this way. Pathetic. <clears throat> you can't win. I feel nothing. But you, you feel everything. Yet you, you keep trying. I'm not my brother, and if you'd given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. But no. Am I gonna have to fight him again? Let's finish this. Oh my god. You can't beat me! of those phases again i'm assuming that would be ridiculous if i have to fight all those again that is ridiculous you can't okay good me. good good come on you freak oh i got like stuck in a corner come on <laughs> I feel nothing. Come on, you little bitch. Oh, I'm whipping his ass, my guy. He wasn't laughing that time. He wasn't laughing that time. Damn. Damn. 
Damn. <laughs> I still feel nothing. Did he feel that? He probably didn't. It killed him, but he probably didn't feel it. Bruh. Wow. Wow. Was he? He knew me. Did he know my past? How did they find me? After all this time. Faye, what do I do? Our son is not ready to carry your ashes to the top of the mountain. Wait, is that is is that like the premise of the game? Is that like the trying to take my dead wife's ashes to the top of a mountain? Is that like the premise? Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Oh. Bro, this is fucking fire. This is fire. I am playing with fire right now, my guy. See, okay, so earlier when I was saying I thought Skyrim was boring, I'm not saying Skyrim is a bad game, but just, okay, like, when you compare it to something like this, Skyrim is boring, bro. I mean, this has already brought me so much more excitement. This has already brought me so much more excitement in my life, my guy. Like, Jesus Christ. Neither am I. I do not know how to without you. I've been waiting to play this game for a while now. Now I really want to, dude. I'll tell you what, man. It feels good, too. It feels good. When, when they're rushing, when he's rushing at you and you at the last second pull that, that shield out to eat each to, each to your own. You know what? Skyrim, okay, okay, let me rephrase it. Skyrim isn't, it's a boring game to stream. It's a boring game to stream. I would play Skyrim off stream. I really would. I really would. If I'm just like by myself, it's dark, maybe there's some sticky icky, I could sit there and play Skyrim. Just um, streaming, I don't feel good about it. Streaming, I don't feel good. Off stream, Skyrim is a good game. On stream, I don't think it's the best. I don't think it's the best. <laughs> Do you feel like you are Kratos? Abso-fucking-lutely. You absolutely feel like you are Kratos. <laughs> absolutely. But we cannot stay here. Skyrim doesn't have the storytelling and depth God of War has. I, I just, I already feel like more emotionally attached to this game. And the gameplay is funner. That's just me though, man. That's just me. <sighs> Boy. There was so much. I, I thought. A lot of noise, huh? You're all right. I am all right. Come. Jesse said, "Is it really promise this promising, Stephen?" Because Wes said, "It's like Dragon Ball Z with their fights." I see what you mean as far as Dragon Ball Z is, as far as, like, they're two very, like, overpowered beings, and, like, when they're sitting there doing, like, that, and the, and the ground is splitting, but no. No, 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 no. Dragon Ball Z has, like, a goofiness to it. This is just badass. Like, I don't think there was anything goofy about that fight. That was just, on paper, it might sound goofy, like, because they're just so both overpowered, but when you're actually watching it and playing it, there was nothing goofy about that. That was just bad fucking ass. <sighs> Gather your things. We are leaving. Epic, oh, overpowered epic fight is what I meant. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thought I wasn't ready. I mean, the dude like just picks you up a not. tree like it's a little log. So we have no choice now. <laughs> Prove me wrong. 
Yes, sir. The mountain. It's gonna be a long trip. Yes, but an important one. Whoa. How did this happen? Don't worry about it, boy. Kratos should just be like, <laughs> I like how Kratos, when he goes, when the boy goes, how did this happen? Kratos doesn't say anything. Kratos should have been like, dude, it was crazy. So he was like, pow, pow, pow. And I was like, Wisha! And then me and him went like this. And dude, he was like a lot stronger than he looks. And the earth started like splitting. And I thought I had him. And then he thought he had me. And then I grabbed him and I broke his neck and I threw him down. Like, dude, it was nuts. Kratos should have just like geeked out for a second. Who was he? I do not know. But Kratos just got to be all cool about it, though. He's just like, don't worry about it, bub. Don't did you worry kill him? Th this was here before. I did what had to be done. You could have died. Never leave me alone again. All right? All right. Huh? <laughs> oh. That's precious. Right. You've had to kill people before, haven't you? You're used to... So this boy really don't know Kratos. Do it. We do what we must to survive. You've had to kill Animals people Animals I get. They're food. Draugr, they're supposed to be dead. But people, they're trying to survive too. Bro, that Close wasn't your no heart to it. On our journey, we will be attacked by all manner of creature. That wasn't no person. Close your guy. heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. Do not allow yourself to feel for them. Ray will not feel for you. I understand. Wait a minute. Aim the camera. Press. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Is this a Has this been here all this time? I love it when Why don't you help me up there? I can get a better look. I love it when Kratos just doesn't answer him. Shut up, boy. Hup. Asking the god of war if he's had to kill people, LMAO. Dude, that guy, okay. dude, the guy I just killed wasn't even a human. Clearly was not a except human. Across this bridge. I think he, that's a good exception. Think you can lower it from there? Go. Made it. Boy. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. No, okay, that's right. That's right. Boy. Wait. How are you going to get across now? Good point, boy. Good idea. Yeah, I'm kind of smart. That hanging bucket. An offering cask? Mother said Odin's disciples fill them with gifts and hang them where thieves can't reach them. That one looks really old. Foolish. What is? Worshipping the gods? The gods care nothing for them. <laughs> Men should not pray to monsters. <laughs> Damn. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I took my axe out. I'm an idiot. Hold on. Do this again. It was worth a treasure, my guy. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be calling Jack Boy from now on. I kind of like that. kind of like that. Hold on, boy. Ugh. 
So wait, is, is is Kratos a god or is he like a half god? What is he? What what is this guy? Does Kratos make you want to go bald? He doesn't make me want to go bald, but he makes me feel more comfortable with the idea of it. Father, will we see others on the road? Yes. Friendly? No. They'll try and rob us? Possibly. Yes. Oh. He's son of Zeus. We will find out, you're right. Spoilers. Play the previous six games for the story. Goddamn. Six? Oh, of course he just kicks that bitch down. Of course, instead of just opening the chest, he just punches, he punches right through it, my guy. I do everything badass. This game is based on, around Greek mythology, right? That is, that is the vibe I'm getting. That is the vibe I'm getting. Hmm. The time. previous games were, but this one is Norse mythology, so it's like Nordic. Okay. There's been a protection cool. stave around our entire woods. But the stave's broken there. Did you cut those down? She had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? Come. No looking back now. All right. God, the fucking soundtrack too, Chef's Kiss. Oh, dude. Everything, man. Everything. So, how long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Bro, how... My axe was pretty far back there. How far can you leave your axe behind and then, like, send it back to you? Like, can you, like, leave it at the beginning of the game and then go to the end of the game and bring your axe? Read Laz's comment. Shove this game up your ass. How about I shove it down your mouth, you kiwi? Hey, you know what I do with kiwis, Laz? I throw them in the fucking blender with some Greek yogurt, bitch. Infinitely? Wow, that's badass. Should I fire? Wait for my mark. Wait for my mark. How about... Now. <laughs> Focus! 
Threat indicators around craters point towards off-screen enemies. Gold indicators signify nearby enemies. Okay. Okay. Oh. Here they come. I see them. is not my focus should be yours but only when safe to do so i can do that you understand boy you understand here boy sir there's a yetnar settlement ahead yetnar giants you can read the writing some just the language his mother knew but they're all sort of connected, so sometimes I can feel my way through stuff I shouldn't know. You know? Come, boy. Let's get out of here. your shots. Speed costs accuracy. Got it. Hey, I think there's a chest over there. Extremely quick burst of energy that interrupts and knocks back all nearby. Oh, so you learn moves too. You have acquired the Hell's Touch Light Runic Attack Gem. Runic gems allow you to customize your weapon to enable light and heavy runic attack. The weapons tab is where you can slot runic gems to your weapon. God dang, bro. God dang. Steven, do you like having sex with Filipinos? Bro, Kiwi, what is actually wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you? Use the power of the up dog. I will use the power of the up dog. Acquire light runic attacks. Gems can be equipped from here. Okay. Runic attacks have associated... Okay. Use XP to upgrade runic attacks. Upgrading runic attacks improves their attributes. enough XP.
You have equipped an armor that contains enchantment socket. All right, so I, I'm increasing. I, oh, so I can. I'm putting new armor on my guy. Okay, you have six. Mm -hmm. Damn, there's a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit you can upgrade and customize. Holy crap. Wow, and I'm actually like wearing it? Am I actually wearing the shit I just put on? It looks like I'm actually wearing it. Dude, there's a lot of shit, man. Wow! You actually put it on, too. Damn. Cool. Right, this is clearly better. Dude, we're upgrading all of our shit, my guy. Wait, can I up... Boy, you need upgraded too. That tunic is pathetic. There you go. There you go. Alright, now my weapon... Alright, I need more, uh... More um, XP before I can upgrade that. Bro, there is so much shit to upgrade. Alright, wow. Wow. Like, I wanna. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna stick my axe in there and see how far it'll go. I not jump down there? You scared the shit out of me, bro. Can I not jump? What, do I have to recall my axe before I can jump down there? <clears throat> oh, I see. I see. There you go. Pretty badass. Pretty badass, my guy. Oh, okay. Here's my new thing. Hold left bumper and then press right bumper to perform a light runic attack. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa! How'd you do that? Cause I'm badass, bruh. What do I have to wait before I can do it again? Oh, I see. I see it charging. I see it charging. I want to do it again. <laughs> Steven not reading my comment because he's so ashamed. What? What happened? What happened? Steven, Amber wanted me to tell. Wanted me to tell you she misses you. I miss you too, Amber. I'm sorry it had to be like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. We'll get those people that hurt you, Amber. We'll get them. We'll get them. I want to see what that does in combat. I'm really curious. Color me curious. Move. Thanks. Oh boy. There's the mountain. Let's go. Not yet. It's fine. See? Oh. Help! Father, help! Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! Oh, oh shit. That was so bad. Slow down. Your haste will cost us. Sorry. Mm. <sighs> Ugh. More drawler. But these aren't moving. Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy. Not dead, not dead! Oh, you dummy. <laughs> Remember, accuracy him. over speed. <laughs> That's a good stuff. That's a good stuff. 
your rage I'm gonna save one. it I'm saving my rage it? for a Take real challenge time. I'm Does waiting for a big boy to approach before I whip once. that out show me control look at this look at what look at what boy Read it. Oh, this used to be a marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. Wonder if Odin was ever here. Above us! Something's breaking through the wall! Oh shit. See? This is what I was saving my rage for. I knew I was saving it for something. What wall? Something's We're breaking through the wall! Right there, baby. Here's my guy. Go, little bitch. Oh, you ain't nothing. Oh my god, there's like a million of them now. Oh shit. Oh, they don't get, they don't get staggered, my guy. Go! Let me go, you bastard! Damn. These guys are pretty tough. got me. Damn. Those guys were tough. Alright, we'll get them this time. Above us. We'll get them this time. Something's breaking through. Do I still have my rage? Oh, not. Alright, now I'm gonna save Something's my rage for when they the all come out. We know to save the rage. I blame boy. BTW Salvatore Sicano, who was here during your playthrough of Mafia, has not been back. He used crappy translated Italian phrases, assumed a video game character role, and overall backseat game. Bottom line, he has not been back since Timothy Unbound. Warner Viking is, aka Pace, is convinced Timothy was Salvador. You're kind of convincing me, my guy. You're kind of convincing me. Like, you make good points. Uh, make good points, my guy. Watch out! Oh, 
thousand percent. What say you to these charges, Timothy? What say you? Like, I didn't believe it at first, but that was, that, that was, a, that was a convincing argument. It was them back to gaming. Yeah, I didn't believe it at first, but that kind of convinced me that Timothy was Salvador. I have no idea what Pace is going on about, said Timothy. If he comes back in the chat while Timothy is here too, then I will admit it wasn't him and donate Look, 10 members. There's an opening up there. Good point. Good point. I see I see where you're going with that pace. Yeah. If Salvador comes in the chat and then in, in the next, you know. However long, uh, then we'll know. Do you hear that? What is it? We will see. Stay close. What is that? So we're going towards the scary singing? <laughs> Oh, you gotta get up. One more hit and I was dead, my guy. Woo! Wow, so he's he was like critical in that fight. Is this God of War? Yes, this is God of War. The boy, the boy was I still don't understand why that man attacked you at our house. I told you, boy. I know nothing more of it. Fuck those things. Like a witch. Look up there. Come on, look over here, bub. There's a chest. Batista! Hey. Uh. <laughs> Saved by a boy. What? He can no longer use it. We can. You're not looking good. Ah! That wasn't fair. That was BS. I better not have to fight that witch again. That little freak just walked up and just whacked me, bopped me with a stick. All right, all right. Look up Bro there. Where did he even come from? Stood in the cave sounded like this Lamau. Stood in the cave sounded like this. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Salvador pop in the chat. Has Salvador popped in the chat? I sent a media share. Check it out. The media shares have been a little asshole. But we'll check it out. Let's pop up the media shares. We have quite a few of them. Still no Salvador. Salvador. Yeah. That's what I thought. All right. It, hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, it's trying to eat. My, it's trying to eat through all the media shares. Hold on. All right. It's not. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. It's not letting me play them right now, but I'm not gonna. If I try to play it, it just skips right through them because of the ad blocker. Jack will have to take the ad blocker off. But thank you for the five, my guy. It's not going anywhere. Timothy was a thousand percent Timothy and Salvador. Timothy, were you were you faking? Were you were you Salvador, my guy? This is Timothy the liar. Of course, he won't admit to it. Well, I'll give him a chance right now, Timothy. Were you Salvador? We'll see. I don't think he'll lie. Timothy, were you Salvador? He said, I have no idea where this is coming from. Timothy's claiming no. Timothy's, Timothy's claiming no, my guy. And he says he's not a liar anymore. He said he came back a brand new Timothy. So I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Timothy, are you lying to me? Are you lying to me, Timothy? Are you asking me, Steve? Yes. Yeah. The lying was just part of his character, but not the feet stuff. Well, no, no. He said, yes, I was. You, oh, so you're now you're admitting it? You were Salvador? I knew it, LOL. So you, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Timothy, you were really Salvador? Are you kidding me? I fucking knew it. <laughs> Timothy, were you Salvador? Wow. Bro, you are going to love, love, love this game. After you beat this, you have to play Ragnarok, the sequel to this. Thank you for the five, Kyle. I am already very into this game. And yes, abso effing lootly, my guy. Abso effing lootly. This game is awesome. This game is awesome. It was so obvious. I wish I could say I knew. I did not. Uh, I, I, yeah. Yeah. Because he came, he would like speak Spanish and he, I got away with it though for a while. Yeah, I didn't know. I did not know you were Salvador. Wh can I ask why, why did you turn yourself into a Mexican? Is it, is it to make it, is, was it to make it less obvious? Why did you make yourself Mexican, may I ask? Was it just to throw us off even more? Italian, not Mexican. Weren't you speaking in Spanish? Italian, bro? Wasn't he speaking in Spanish, though? You were playing a mafia game. Oh. Oh, wow. I thought you were typing me in Spanish, my guy. It was during mafia. Okay. No, that was Italian. Dude. It's a romance language descended from Latin. Dude, that was Italian, LOL. I will tell you something, man. I know I'm uncultured swine. Spanish and Italian sound very similar to me. It really, like, I, I, I could have swore it was Spanish. Like, Spanish and Italian, to these redneck ears, sounds very similar to me. Sounds very similar. Because they are similar. Yeah, I yeah, I thought he was speaking. It kind of does. Same family. They share 70% lexical similarity. Wow. Well, Timothy, you fooled me, my guy. You fooled me. I will say. Are you a redneck? A little hillbilly-ish. Hillbilly-ish. You know? Nothing wrong with that. It's true. You know? I don't know what to believe anymore, honestly. What's that over there? Shut up, boy. Hmm. 
It's sealed by rune magic. I want my identity back. Morthy, please. You can stop this madness, you can make me whole again. I've seen much of the rest of the world. It is brutal, cruel and dark. The waffle poo streams are the light. I will have my vengeance, in this life or the next. There you go. T.I. T.I. wanting uh, Muffy to, uh, to, to join with him again. I think they want to fuse back together. Well, T.I. Wants, wants to fuse with Muffy, but Muffy wants nothing to do with him. I'm pretty sure. Muffy wants nothing to do with him. Let's save our game. Oops. I didn't mean to do it twice, but whatever. It's okay. Muffy. Sorry, Muffy. Muffy. Is it is it pronounced? Do you guys pronounce it Muffy or Muffy? What do you guys think? Muffy or Muffy? Muffy. I kind of like Muffy. Moth, Muffy. Yeah, I like Muffy better too. Muffy. Kind of like that. Muffy because the light is the puss he is attracted to. Yeah. Yeah. Muff cabbage. Meth? All right, we're getting weird now. We're getting weird. All right. Muffy sounds like the spoiled brat from Arthur. That was a good show, man. That was a good show. That was a good one. Um, all right. I'm going to hop off here, my guys. I'm hungry and tired. Um, I'm hungry and tired. But let me just say something. All right, guys. It's getting late. Let me just tell you something right now, man. Let me just tell you something right now. Um, I felt kind of meh today. I've just been in kind of a meh mood. It's probably because I took my mom's pain painkillers yesterday. And now my uh, serotonin's all fucked up. But it's okay, because tomorrow it'll be back to normal. But what brought me out of that funk, out of that, it wasn't even really a funk, it was just kind of like a, meh, meh, you know, mood. What brought me out of it was, number one, the support from you guys today was awesome. And number two, God of War, bro. God of effing, stop bragging about the pills, bro. I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry. I won't talk about it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. God of War, though, man. God of War is the only painkiller I need. Are you pushing, are you pill pushing on us? No, I thought it was, it was a terrible experience. I hated it. I hated it. It was not fun. It was not fun. But um, God of War is amazing. I am very excited to continue God of War. I am very excited to continue God of War. I can't wait for it, my guy. I can't wait for it. I am, I am pumped. And you know what? I have the next games lined up. This is what it's going to be. I'm setting it in stone right now. After I beat God of War, I'm going to do Cyberpunk. After I do Cyberpunk, I'm going to do... What did I say I would do after Cyberpunk? What was it? What was after Cyberpunk? Until the... Oh my god, you know what? All right. You said Until Dawn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What system is Until Dawn on? Play Until Dawn and do all the wrong choices. Is that on PlayStation? PS4? Well, can I get it on the PlayStation 5? I can get it on the PlayStation 5, right? All? It ain't on Steam. Well, let me check. I mean, unless they just updated it, it ain't on Steam, my guy. Hold on. Let me let me just check. Maybe it's on maybe it's on here now. Until dawn. Okay, so it's still not on Steam. It's still not on Steam. Alright. I will bring my PlayStation up here and we will play until dawn. Just because I've seen so many people talk about it. So many people won't shut the fuck up about it. Wait, 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 no, wait, hold on. Wait, Mafia is right. There's a remake coming to PC this year. We're going to wait for the remake to come out this year then. That's what we'll do. We'll, when it drops on Steam, I will drop everything I have. 
and uh, do until dawn. So that's what we'll do. So um, yeah, so far the two games, I'm gonna do God of War, and then after that we're gonna try Cyberpunk. But God of War, man, I am effing with this game, bro. I am effing with God of War. Heavy, heavy I'm effing with this game. Thank you for pointing that out, Moffy. I appreciate that, my guy. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much. Um, will there be call-ins tomorrow? We'll see. We'll see what happens, you know. We'll see what happens, man. You know, we'll see. We'll see. But um, thank you guys very much. Appreciate y'all. Um, remember, we are not streaming next week. We are not streaming next week. We're going to uh, help our mother heal. You know, make sure that we're I'm able to help her, help Bree, for at least the first week of her getting her knee surgery. Then after that, she's on her own. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, just just um, just help. Just help out the next week. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. And um, off week, is she okay? Yeah, she got knee surgery. She had a, a knee surgery. But um, she seems to be doing pretty good, though. She seems to be pretty doing good. The first week is the worst. That's when you have the most pain and the most trouble getting around. So um, we're going to help her out. We're going to help her out. But thank you guys very much. It was a fun stream. Thank y'all. Love you guys. Um, have a good day. See you guys. Everyone have a good night. Say stay. Say stay. 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 No way of selling when living in the country. Felt so hopeless and just wanted to quit. Seemed like my friends even didn't give a shit. Whether I would make it or lose this rap race. Climb to the top or fall flat on my face. Said it's pointless, why waste your time? Writing down all those symbolic rhymes. Got pushed to the edge, knocked off the curve. Hanging on a ledge, strength in my nerves. Pull myself up and gain the courage that'll give me the strength to fight my own battles. Wake up now, hear me out. Not what it seems, not what it seems. Fame and gain, love and shame. It's all a dream, all a dream. Step two, growing weak. Bet that I regret the words that I speak. Take it all back and throw it away. Bury it today and hope it decays. Block out the words already said. They'll come back and haunt you like the living dead. Scratching out rhymes till my paper rips. Liquid inspiration got the massive drips. Tripping on words already rehearsed. Pumping in thoughts, my brain will burst. Fell to the ground, arms are broken. Can't make a sound, words can't be spoken. Stand back up, the pain you can't ignore. Time to fight this battle and win this war. Shut up!
always apologize. So I'm sorry. Look where we're at.